grab your biscuits, grab your cake, grab your biscuits. Uh, so it's beautiful, it really is. And something like this is nice to have, of course, wearing. And it's also nice to have maybe thrown over a chair. So that when you're sitting in that chair, you can then just put it over your knees, which is really nice, so warm. Um, now, I think if you were to buy that in a shop, yes, it would be a lot more than 26 99 The instructions, and you've got your yarn as well, 26 99 absolutely fantastic, and very, very easy to follow as well. 005790, and for this, you need a 6mm crochet hook. Fantastic. Now, we've got a handbag for you here. Now, this is a knit kit. So, with the kit, you get your yarn, you get the handles. They're lovely, like a pearl, pearlescent finish on your handles. Very nice. And then you can just open that up. You can put your crochet kit in there, because when you open that up, you've got enough space to go inside. And then you can pop that shut, which is lovely. And you also get this lovely little beret. How lovely is that? That is gorgeous. Nice colour as well. And let's face it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we kind of need something like this at the moment because our hair's, well, yeah, it's getting a little bit longer. A little bit longer than it should be. Um, if you want to go for this kit, it's only £16.99. 909323 is your item number. Now you'll need your 6mm knitting needles for these. And that's what Barbara recommends. Do like that. It's going to give you inspiration when you put your cap on and then you can take your bag with you and take your knitting and go and sit outside or go to the park. We're allowed to go to the park now on your own or meet one other person. Um, now, that is your bag and that is your hat. But how about going for a backpack? How about going for a backpack? Let me pop that pattern just there. We've got three options. Let's start with the cockapoo. So you've got your cockapoo just here. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that great? And then you can open it up and you could pop perhaps the dog's biscuits in there, maybe some water uh, or maybe a snack for yourself. Pop that over and then let's pop that onto my back. I remember I had a backpack like this and it was a panda. I got it for my 18th birthday. My boyfriend bought it for me and then I fell out with him on the same day. But I got my present anyway. Oh, so that was so bad, isn't it? But you know, you're young. It's what happens. Hello, Ruff. hello. How are you today? Walkies. Love that. So that's your uh, that's that's your cockapoo. Oh, what? now Meg, our producer. Meg is producing today. Andy is directing, and our lovely Matt is on floor. We've got Taz in tech, and we've got Dougie on reception. Uh, Meg, what would you like me to do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's great to have your company. Oh, shouldn't point. That's what you do now, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to go and I'm going to introduce you to my other friend, the fox. <laughs> nice colours in that. You get everything in the kit, by the way, including the eyes, the straps, <clears throat> and the stuff in for the little... Oh, little nose look at that look at that little nose look at that little nose anyone that loves dogs hello oh so cute sorry uh right 372 864 29 pounds and 99 pence next up well come on leicester city fans if that's not the bag to take down the football when we get the football back to put your flask in to put your snacks in to put your season ticket in if that's not the bag i don't know what is that is absolutely fantastic. 372864. I do like that. Of course, it's going to be my favourite. Let me just model this as well. They're, they're very comfortable because the straps, there are good thickness to the straps, which is really important when you've got a backpack on. Because you've got the weight here, you don't want to have thin straps. So the straps themselves are very, very comfortable. Really like that. And I guess you can adjust the size as well. Actually, I might leave that one on and then go home. No, I wouldn't do that. But yeah, kind of suits me, doesn't it? That, right. Foxy, foxy, foxy. Oh, no, I tell you what, I'll, no, I'm, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to try the owl. I'm going to try them all on. 
because I do like these. I do like these. So that's your fox and your cockapoo. And here is your owl. Now, this is amazing, is it not? This is going to be fabulous. Look at this. Opening this up, pop your items in there. I think going into the autumn and winter, you're going to love this. Because with that extra little bit of warmth as well, um, this is how you put the, the strap on the back. And let me just pop that on there, pop it on the back. I bet the instructions are easy to follow as well. I saw an owl on the way to work this morning. I think it, oh, it's a barn owl brown. Yes, because it wasn't a snowy owl, it was, a, it was a, a brown, it's a barn owl. And it just swooped across the road. Are you ready? Look at that. Have I got that right? Yeah, there you go. There you go. There he is. I'll be seeing you, little wise owl. Well, funny. They call it a parliament of owls, don't they? Does that remind you of anyone at the moment? Stay at home. Go out. Go to the park. Don't go to work. Right. Parliament of Owls. Just doing the best we can. £29.99, 372 864 is your item number. Uh, we're going to head back now to Barbara. And Barbara is going to demonstrate the wall plaque for us. Here she is. Enjoy. Hello again. Now, I'm going to show you now how to create one of these key lead holders, doggy ones. Um, I've produced a kit of these and there's five different ones that you can choose from. We've got the Shih Tzu there, the Spaniel, the Dachshund here, the Cockapoo, there's the base there to show you, and the other one is the Husky which is there behind me and I'm sorry you have to excuse my Tilly here who's decided to come and have a nap on the settee right in the middle here while we're working but there we go. Right so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do this one the Shih Tzu here and how to put this together. So in your kit you will receive the wooden plinth all cut out for you with the hole on the top there. You will get a cake board which is the main base to put the crochet on to stick to the board. Then you'll have your three hooks to go into the pre places here for you to put them in you just need to screw them in so that's quite simple and a, a nice little doggy bone to go on the collar when you've done that all the yarn and you will also get with you the eyes and the noses for these so first of all I've done I've started so far to get the main base done and the nose and the eyes so we've got to this so far which is just double crochet in rounds and just tipping around the edge and this will fit onto your base ready to go onto the the main plinth at the end so that's fine so we've got that far then so let's put this to one side so you need to put the fur now round for the nose and for the ears so what I've done is I, I mix the yarn slightly just to give it a, a little bit of a character there so we're going to take for the nose the fur on the nose we're going to take one of each colour, the brown and the white. So you just take two pieces there and with your hook you're going to go into the top of the nose there and just put the two pieces round, pull it through so you've got it like that, round the hook and then pull it through the loop like that and then just give it a nice tug to get into a nice place there. So you carry on like this along the top of the nose there, the same with one colour of each or you can use, if, you, if you've got a, color, a dog that's just all the one colour then obviously you wouldn't put the two colours in but you can mix and match however you'd like with that. Right the way along here and then again here. There we are. Then you do the same on the other side of the nose there. So you're going to go in there, into here, 
can pick up your two colours. There. Round the hook, pull it through, and you just need to take your colours off the hook like that. And then pull it tight. So there we are. Just two more here. Round and in your two colours. Like that. And then take it off, round the hook and pull it through. And just give it a nice tug there. And one final one here. One brown, one cream. There we are. Round and through like this. There we go. So there's, you, you can see the basics of it starting to form here. So then you'll take your brush. Any pet brush is good or any sort of brush, old brush you've got there. And just give it a good brush through. I use this technique on a lot of my pet doggy patterns here. So if you've got some of the other ones and you'd like to know how to do it, this is exactly how it's done. And you can see the two colours are starting to merge in together. You've got quite a nice sort of fur bit forming here. Then you do the other one the other side as well. You, lose, you do bring out a little bit of fluff as you go along but I always keep hang on to this because it makes very good stuffing to use again so you never waste any of this. It's always good for stuffing if you've got a nice brown colour or cream or something like that. So there you are, there you've got your two pieces done there. So what you need to do now is just trim it to the length really that is required like that just trim it across like that and you can see it's now starting to to form there around the thing and what i do is just to keep it into place nicely and so it goes like that i use a little bit of hairspray and that holds that into a lovely position if you look that just keeps it nice and into the sort of position you want it to be in so there's your your wool there over the nose now for the ears uh, pieces like this so then you would start up here above the eye to make your first ear and go in the double crochet stitch so you go round and just pull it through right the way round and pull it through again exactly as you did with the nose and pull that tight so you keep on doing that round on all all of these um, these these the, out of the different the five ones i've got here the dachshund's the only one that doesn't have the the fur that you brush it's just a plain double crochet stitch on it the others all the same technique all the way around the spaniel and the husky are all done exactly the same way so i just need to pull that through there, there we are, that's two, you need to do that about three or four times so you can build up a nice bold ear there, just do that one there, go around and put it right through, there we are, there, now I'll just do that with three just to for quickness just to show you so the, the eyes just fallen out so didn't expect that to happen so we just put the eye back on again there we go so now you would then need to just trim it slightly before you brush it because it's a bit long here so like that. then you'd need to brush it again exactly the same way you did the nose just brush it so it's nice and soft and fluffy and you're able to then form it into the shape of the ear. As you can see the colours are starting to come through. And you can see it's starting to form now. So you do that on the other side. And then obviously you do um, a quiff up here which is slightly shorter to go up the top there. As you can see as it's been done on this one here. So, you've got, so once you've got all your colours done, your other ear done, and your forehead hair done there so you need to do that just, just 
cut that off slightly there you can see you can gradually do that you then take your cake board so this fits nice and snugly onto your cake board there as you can see this fits in there nicely you would need to glue this just on the bottom there and round the edges there onto the cake board so that you've got that nicely secured on there so there we are so that you do it so that it's secured like that on there there's that piece done obviously once it's done round there you then take your wooden plinth here which has all been cut out for you and then you would need to glue that onto the wooden plinth like that like so so you would end up i'll show you one i've done already from the cockapoo so you would end up with something looking like this so after that you then you've made a little collar which is just two rows of double crochet you make your little collar and you just glue that underneath his chin there so that would go on there and with each kit there's a little bone just to go on the end of his collar there just to give it a little bit of decoration finally you would then take your three hooks which are in the in the kit here and then you just screw these into the places provided for you for your three hooks for your keys or for your lead holder just glue the just um tighten these up here there two and one last one here and it's all ready to hang on your wall for you if that didn't fall off so it's all ready then to hang on your wall and that one's finished let's say there's uh, five different ones available so um you choose which one you like and whichever color thank you very much for watching oh thank you bob so cute so lifelike as well and it's easy to put together the instructions will talk it will talk you through will take you through step by step so if you've never ever crocheted before give it a go and then you will have something at the end of it that is so super cute on your wall um, and it really is handy actually to have somewhere where you always put the dog's lead somewhere where you always put your keys so you know exactly where they are and it would look really nice on the wall you can imagine that you know whatever your wall decoration is very very easy to hang there on the wall I love that now the options for you and there's a, there's a little hook on the, well not a hook there's a little hole on the back as well so if you put um, a screw in the wall or a hook you can just hook that on right the options you have the cockapoo which is just there so you've got your cockapoo you've also got your husky dog your husky dog if you want to go for that you've got your spaniel Oh, look at a spaniel. And you've also got uh, your dachshund in there. I've got another couple to show you. Just need to separate them. You've got your shih tzu, which we've just seen. And you've got... I think that's the last one. Oh, no, it's another one. And do you know what? I'm so used to just licking my fingers and uh, turning pages. And think, you can't do that now. So it's like you automatically go go for like that and flick and you can't so you, you struggle uh, that's the last one so your um, shih tzu your spaniel your dash hund your cockapoo and you've got your husky so those are the choices for 16 pounds and 99 pence and you get the whole kit to put those together nine eight nine one five nine is your item number some other items on the show we've got the handbag crochet kit now there's two options in that you've got the highland terrier look at that oh these are fabulous that's the that's the brown cockapoo that you're seeing on your screens at the moment that's your brown cockapoo uh for your bag that's really cute that's really cute and then you've got your highland terrier um so you've got those choices 29 pounds and 99 pence uh the west highland terrier and the highland cow are the options those are the options that are in stock at the moment. You don't have the cockapoo. So sorry to tease you with a cockapoo. 
Not the kind of sentence I ever thought I'd say this early in the morning. Uh, the cockapoo has been on before, but you've got the Highland Terry and the Highland Cow, which I think are fabulous anyway. So head to the website and see those. Right, now the shawl has been very, very busy. First of all, the yarn is gorgeous to work with. It really is. And you've got those fantastic colours in there, pink and grey and white. I think they work so well together. I do love pink, grey and white. You've got the instructions. Again, very, very easy to follow. So the pattern. Once you've got the first hook and stitch done, you're off. Let me show you what it looks like because this is lovely. It's a good size as well. So you've got that lovely ombre effect of the pinks and the greys and the whites, which is lovely. You could have this draped over a sofa, a chair, or maybe you need to go out in the morning with your dog. Um, I, I always I can't help it. I know you probably shouldn't, but I always put my fingers through there so I can still sort of like move it and use it. You'll do and have yours however you like. I really like this. Nice colours nice colours and then you could put it over your, your head if you want to just to keep you nice and snug and warm it'd be good to go over the knees as well 005790 is your item number just £26.99 pence. brand new today and proving to be very very popular Ooh, I'm going to keep this on uh, right we're back to Barbara we've got a great demo coming up with the backpacks that we've got available here she is hello everybody I'm going to now show you my new um, crochet backpack kits. Um, I've made three which is followed on from my handbag kits in the same sort of design. So I have three different ones. The first one is the cockapoo here in the brown. Then I have the owl in the cream with the brown eye surrounds. And then the last one is Mr Fox which you can see in the rusty colour and the white. Now, the, each one of these is made in two parts. Your first part would be your, your main base, which is like a bucket, sort of, you, you work at. You work in a round and work all the way around both pieces. And then at the top, you're going to have um, a, a thread which will go through and draw, make a drawstring to keep everything compact in there. So you would have that. And your main flap you would sew on afterwards because that would be the piece that you would work on with all of the fluff and the eyes and the nose etc so that was how you would do that and then you would sew that on afterwards with a little hook for hanging up afterwards if you wanted to now you also get with the kit some webbing here which you can uh, do to your own length whichever length you'd like uh, unfortunately, due to the situation at the moment, I wasn't able to get the adjusters for it. So I've actually put in two metres of this for you. So you can adjust it to whichever length you want to sew on the back and have for your backpack. So there we are. We have the, the fox here. Then the owl. There. And lastly... The cockapoo. So I say there are three kits. Each kit has four, four, four hundred grams worth of um, of yarn. So you would need need to do these in double crochet, and then you would do these the same way. You would put together the the fluff and thing the same way as I showed on a, another demonstration where I made the Shih Tzu key rack. So that would be the same way you would do the ears, and you would do the nose. So I hope you enjoy making it. Take care, everybody. You see, it's really easy, isn't it? Oh, <coughs> did my throat did when I did that. Yeah, not feeling rough at all. Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It really is. You can see just how easy it is to put together. You've got a choice of the cockapoo. There's the owl, which is nice and snug and gorgeous. And then, of course, my favourite. Guess what that is? Well, it's got to be the fox, hasn't it? It's got to be the fox. £29.99. Uh, sorry, 372-864 is your item number for the full kit and caboodle, because you get everything you need, including the eyes and the stuffing for the noses. Right, let me pop those down. Now, the best seller of the hour are the wall plaques. Now, we were just talking about this. They are a wall plaque, a plaque for your wall, but they're made of wool, so they're also a wool, wool plaque. Yeah. Uh, right, we've got options for you. We've got the husky dog. We've got the cockapoo, 
we've which is still in the lead i like i like where you went there in the lead get that we've got the dachshund the sausage dog we've got the shih tzu and we've got the spaniel oh these are so sweet they really are and as a dog owner i know that having somewhere to pop the lead to pop their collar sometimes because it's nice just to take the collar off when they're at home let them run free um it's nice to have somewhere where you know the lead is going to be because that's where you left it how many times you go out for a walk and you're like where's the lead where's the collar you spend half an hour trying to find them. And by that time, the dog's gone back to sleep again. Um, these are really easy to put together. And the kit, you get everything you need. You get the wall plaque itself. So, oh, shall I pick one? Yes, here we go. You get the wall packet, uh, plaque itself. There's a hole on the back, so it's easy to hook onto the wall. You also get the hooks as well for your keys to go onto. And then you get the round disc, if I just lean through there, not knock anything over. And that's what the head of the dog goes on to. So, very easy to put together. Give it a go, even if you're a novice. You will need your needles, of course. And with this, which needle did we say? Was it the six mil? Five mil crochet hook. Um, and it is very easy. And I think you'll get hooked onto crochet when you get these home. £16.99, 989159. Thank you, Barbara, for all your lovely demonstrations. Stay where you are, though. Check out your baskets first. We've got more coming up. Right, we're heading into the one day special now. That's crafty. One day special. We'll be talking to Joe Channon on the phone. All in Create. Abs is here in the studio. And then Pink Frog Crafts with Hazel. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilise within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind. So they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects. And paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons. So tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. 
Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So, don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family good morning everyone we have your one day special for you a one day special is launched every night here on hochanda at 6 p.m and it's a product or products that are reduced in price for 24 hours that's why it is a fantastic deal and a one day special now, we've got a fantastic deal for you, we really have. This deal is everything you need right here to dip your toes into the wonderful world of That's Crafty, but also into the wonderful world of mixed media as well. It's a great price. Let me talk you through what you're getting, then we're going to be chatting to the lovely Joe Channon. You've got your multi-surface paint in different colours. You've got green in there, orange, light blue, grey, black. We've actually opened ours to give you an idea of the colours. Yours will be nice and clean, uh, but we've got the colours right here for you. Now, these will go on to a whole array of different surfaces. That's what's great about this. It's one paint suits all. So you can go on to the wood, you can go on to metal, you can go on to glass, you can go on to your MDF with this if you want to. It's great quality and you've got a fantastic fantastic palette I'm sure you'll agree there is white just there included now if you were to go for those 12 on their own they're at the bottom of the screen they're 35 pounds and 88 pence but your one day special is only three pounds 87 more than that and you get your extras included you've got your acrylic liquid wax which is always so super busy I'm gonna let Joe talk about this in a moment's time but it gives you that lovely wax effect on your projects You've got your multi-purpose glue. Again, it's one glue suits all. So you don't have to have a whole array of different glues to do your projects, to stick your MDS, to stick your embellishments on. You've got it right there. And then you've got your texture paste. Uh, if you've been watching me on Facebook over the past couple of days, you know that I love texture paste. And I've been using some to upcycle, and I don't mean that by, by going on a bike, I've been upcycling some furniture using some texture paste. So I'm really into that at the moment, and I know you are going to be too. So your saving is £10. It's 39.75. It's available on Flexibuy, everyone. £19.88 today. We'll get everything sent out to you. And then another £19.87 in a month's time. But it, just think about 88 pence. But think about all the projects that you would have done by the time your next payment goes out. And who knows, you might have made, created and sold something as well. Now we've got Joe Channon on the line. Hello, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, lovely. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. I was going to say I'm super. I don't know where that word was going to, came from. I'm very good, Joe. It's always lovely uh, to chat with you. And we were chatting last night about this one-day special. And uh, you are very, very enthusiastic about this, aren't you? I am, absolutely. Because it's, it's been a long time coming, really. Because we've been asking and, and saying, oh, I think we ought to have an essential kit. That's Crafty products are so, so popular when I bring them onto the That's Crafty shows. Oh, no, and other shows as well, because um, these are a, a stable um, item for me that, uh, that I 
pick up and put down all the time. So with regards to the paints, I mean, 12 different colours, fantastic opportunity to actually dip your toe into the acrylic paint, you know, sort of um, ideas and using them for your mixed medias. Colours are beautiful, aren't they? Really fantastic. I love the I love the way that Laura's chosen them. So of course you've got the white as well, so you can create those lovely pastel colours if you wish, and the, and of course the dark, the the uh, the black, to make things darker, of course, if you want to. Do. Now, Joe, these will go on all kinds of different surfaces, won't they? Yes, they will. Absolutely, you name it, they will go on it, and I have dried it just so that I'm just inquisitive, and um, this is what. A oh, true crafter is, isn't it? It's very inquisitive. And I tried them on all sorts of services. Um, I love dry brushing with them. The colours are so uh, so strong for dry brushing. They really make a, a, a fantastic mark as well. So, um, yeah, really good. I love the palette. Definitely. Now I was doing yeah. a bit. I was doing a, a little bit of dry brushing yesterday, and it, re saw. it really did you. But doesn't yeah. it doesn't it finish everything off? But to have the right paint yes. to do that, I know, and you know, yeah. it's very very important, isn't it? The right quality. It is absolutely. You have to have the right consistency to start off with, and, and you have to have the vibrancy in the colour, um, the strength of the colour, because if you don't. It's just a wishy-washy mess, basically, and you don't really get the true colour coming out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, with your one-day special, along with the acrylic paints, you yeah. are also getting. It's only with your one-day special. It's only an extra three pounds and eighty-seven pence, oh. and you're getting your little mixed media bundle here. So, can we talk through first of all of the liquid wax? Yes. So the liquid wax. Um, well. It's been something that just completely exploded, not literally. I mean, exploded with, with people wanting to buy it because every single show that we bring it on, um, it sells out because there's so many different things that we can do with it. But not just that. We, we're finding more and more each time that we play as well. I say we, the, the amazing design team with Zax Crafty as well. So we've um, on some of the samples, you'll be able to see on some of my demonstrations, We've been testing it and pushing it to its limit. We've been um, splattering it on the project, then putting embossing powders on top, then heating it. It looks like molten wax. It's beautiful. Of course, it's a water-based wax, which is called something that is, um, I don't know, what, what do you say, an oxymoron, is it? Is that the word, Janice? An oxymoron? So. Yes. I, th I, thought I thought you were describing I thought you describing me there, Jo. <laughs> oh, that's the description there. Now, as you can see there, that beautiful, that sample that you've got there, yeah. you can see that's using it in its basic format um, as, as what it was actually made for, to coat surfaces, to give them a protection, to give them a shine. It's giving it a satin finish. It doesn't give it a gloss. Um, now, the other thing that you can do is, once you layer it off, it creates a crackle. So you've got, a, you've got another exciting medium within that as well. You can mix it with your acrylic paints. And you'll see on one of my demonstrations, on the video demonstrations, that that's what I've done. And, and of course, you can drip it onto projects. You can um, layer it on. So it gives you that lovely transparency as well. It does. Quite, it, I, yeah, yeah it, it looks fantastic, Joe. And again, it's yeah. something that you can experiment with. We also get Definitely. the multi-purpose glue, which kind of speaks for itself. Yes. But then we've got that lovely textured paste. Yes, yeah, so the paste is... Um, Laura's chosen very well uh, to put this, um, this kit together uh, because the texture paste that we've actually got in the kit, it's, a, it's an excellent size to, to start off with, obviously. Um, you'll get so much out of it. But um, also, it's um, a matte finish, like a chalky finish when, you've, uh, when it dries. So, of course, what we can do is we can also bring in our acrylic paints into it. It's white in the actual pot as it is, but if, because they're two water-based products, you can t uh, take a small amount of the acrylic paint, put it into a separate, obviously, separate amount that you can from the main one, make a different colour. So, therefore, you've now got not including the white, of course, you've got 11 different colours of texture paste. So also, you can drop different things into the texture paste once it's on your 
actual project to make that even more textured. It's huh. one of those that I use on a very regular basis. Well, you get that included in that one day special. Yeah. And with That's Crafty, it's top quality products, UK company as well, isn't it, Jo? Yes, it is. And that's uh, uh, obviously that I, I, I do bang on about a little bit. Um, I love it that it's a, it's Lauren Graham, basically, husband and wife team uh, down in Essex. Uh, they just do an incredible job. I don't really know where to find the hours of the day. I really don't because they they keep producing some in, incredible items, and uh, and these of course they are our, our saviors. The ones that we've got there in the one special are the ones that we constantly go to, back to. So um, yeah, I would highly recommend this kit uh, for that price. It's exceptional. Yeah, it really is, and they have a great ambassador in yourself. We've oh, got some demonstrations. Oh, you. <laughs> well, we've got some demonstrations coming up uh, from yourself, yeah. Joe. Can you tell us uh, what we can expect to see? Yes, yeah, so basically what I'm doing is um, uh, we've got some uh, craft board journals um, that uh, I know were very, very busy last night uh, that they come down the counter, which I'm sure you're going to chat about. Now, I'm working through one of the, uh, the, the uh, slightly bigger journal, the 8-inch journal, and what I'm doing is I'm doing different pages but with different techniques on them. So um, I'm doing a complete project on the actual journal page now, once I've finished all these pages, at the end of the day, we are actually giving this away to uh, a viewer that's purchased during the uh, one-day special throughout all the hours. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just basically showing you what we can do with all the paints, different different things to use the paints with, the structure paste, the wax, of course. I bring that in, I think, on pretty much every single one. Oh, and, of course, we're using the, uh, the glue always because that's my glue that I go to all the time. Perfect. Uh, well, that's exciting. So, in the demonstrations, Jo will be giving away what she's working on and we'll announce a okay. winner in the 4 o'clock show. In the 4 o'clock show. Okay. So all you have to do is buy something in the shows. Um, jo, it's been an absolute pleasure again to talk to you. Hopefully, we'll see you, you soon. Uh, stay safe, yes. stay well, and keep crafting. Thank you very, very much, Janice. Thank you. And, and love to see everybody in the studio. See you later, Jo. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. 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 Uh, that's Joe Channon. That's Crafty One Day Special. Two payments of nineteen pounds and eighty-eight pence. Two nine one nine six four is your item number. What a fantastic deal! Remember, if you want to go for the paints on their own, those twelve acrylic paints, you can do. But for three pounds and eighty-seven pence more, you get the extras within that one day special, and they are well worth it because, of course, the value of these is far beyond three pounds and eighty-seven pence if you were to buy them separately. Uh, right, we've got more for you on the show. Let's have a look at these stamps. You've got two options in the stamps. Now, you can see on the front uh, the images they depict. You've got the RT wings. Let's just turn that around. So you've got those light bulbs hanging down. Uh, you've got your dragonfly, the butterflies, and you've got those lovely wings with the text. So that's one of your options. And these are only 13 99 524 is your item number if you want to go for those. So then you've got the clear stamps so you can see where to put them on your projects. You can use these with perhaps um, your stamping platforms or you can use these on your uh, blocks. And I believe, if I just double check, yes, the butterflies have been used on this particular sample, which I love. I love that teal colour in the background with the butterflies flying on there. So let your wings fly and get creative. Now, the second option, you've got numbers and script. Always popular because it's great to add different elements. Uh, you've got your alphabet in there as well. That is on one particular stamp or are they separate? Yeah, that's one particular stamp. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could always mask off some and just use one letter or stamp them and then cut them out. So that'd be quite good. Then you can make up lots of different sentiments. Uh, you've got your numbers on there. You've got your pointy finger, which is always popular, isn't it, with steampunk style. And you've got your script. Love that. Fantastic. Uh, so that's your second choice. 524521 is your item number. And you've also got some background papers. Now, these are lush. Love these. You've got set one, set two, and set three, $9.99, you get to choose. So one of the sets is $9.99, and you get to choose which one. Shall I run through them? Uh, okay. Now, you've got 14 sheets in each one, and they're designed 
by uh, Amanda, Amanda Southern. Um, incredibly talented lady. Now, let's take you through your first set. Um, it does say perfect background, set number one. That's what I'm looking for, set number one. So, if you've always wanted to do a grungy background, then here it is, all in one go, but without the mess. And trust me, you can get into a mess, as I found out yesterday. All I'm happy about is that the acrylic paint came off my blinds quite easily. Wasn't a pretty scene. But here it is, all for you without the mess. So we've got lovely bright backgrounds here. These remind me of like a volcano. Uh, you've got your lovely rusty patina style there. Lovely effect. That's gorgeous, isn't it? You can use these in different orientations. You can use these with your die cutting machines. You can put your texture paints on here if you want to. You can put your acrylic paints on here if you want to. That's gorgeous, isn't it? How vibrant and bright. That to me is the sea coming in to some land, maybe. Oh, that's nice with the white in there. So you could probably add a little bit of white to make that pop. Um, again, if you wanted to fold these over, this could be the outside of your card. It could be a project which you add your different elements to. You could cut these up and put them in your journals if you want to. And they are single-sided. Do you know why that's great? You don't need to choose. So you're not going to sit there thinking, which side should I use? They're only one-sided. So you've got the design right there for you. This is set number one. If you like bright colours, if you like grunge, set number one for you. Beautiful. And it has been the most popular, actually. 874626. I'll run through the next one for you. Oh, you're in for a treat with this one. You're in for a treat. Yes, just making sure this is set number two. Set number two. Oh, like that. Isn't that lovely with the different colours on there with that wood effect or tree bark in the background? Like that. Well, that's nice. Again, you can use this in different orientations. Almost, it, actually, this reminds me of Big Ben, the clock face. It's not, but it just reminded me of that. Nice rusty look there. That's nice. I like that. Very cool. Oh, that's nice with the bubbles on as well. You've got your nice grungy background. Very nice. These remind me of my little mini arts that I've been creating. Very nice. That's my favourite. That's my favourite. I love wood. I really do. And I love the old effect. That's nice with some interest around the edges. Remember, you can use your texture paste on here and pop your acrylic paints on there as well. Uh, back to the beginning. One-sided, single-sided. Uh, you get to choose. There are 170 GSM. Now, 9.99. If you want to go for more than one, you can do. If you want to go for the whole set, it will just change in price. Um, right, let's go for set number three. It's like a dating show. Set number one. Set number two. Set Number three, what's your name and where are you from? Um, lovely backgrounds. These are funky. Nice and funky, nice and bright and pastel colours in here as well. Well, that's a nice effect, isn't it? Very nice. Again, you're getting the lovely backgrounds, but without the mess. Without the mess. So you might have some stencils. We've got a great show coming up for you from All and Create. And uh, we've got some great stamps and stencils. I'm just thinking, you've got an instant background right there for those fabulous stencils and stamps that are coming up, all the stamps that we've got on the show for you right now. It works out to be 71 pence per sheet. Love these. Oh, that's nice. You can divide that if you want to and use them however you like. Back to the beginning. And that is set number three. Set number three. 874626 is your item number. Now, if you can't decide and you want all the papers and you kind of fancy those stamps as well, let's bring those over. Well, how about this? £52.95 gets you two stamps and all three of the paper packs. Two payments of £26.48. If you're going for your one-day special, you can add this to your one-day special and divide the cost of everything into two. 902202 is your item number if you want to go for the three background papers and those fabulous stamps as well. It's a great deal, it really is. Now, as promised, we've got Joe Channon on the show with some demonstrations. Here's your first one. Sit back and enjoy. For this journal page, um, I'm going to show you how I've done this using the wax and the acrylic paints. Um, I've got some stamping of one of the stamps I haven't used just yet. And uh, to see how that all comes 
together. And this actually could be my front page of my journal. So we'll see. Um, so put that to one side. I've already gone ahead and put some paper on. Uh, now this is, um, I'm going to grab the papers again and see which set that's from. It's the one that I haven't got in the hand. There we go, set two. So that's the uh, one of the papers from Amanda Sutherland set two. You can see this one here. Okay, um, this one's got some fantastic splatters in the background. This is the one that we use the um, the steampunk idea from. You've got the cogs and gears on that one. Um, quite retro these as well, aren't they? So yeah, great, great, um, great combination that one. And again, you're going to get 14 A4 single sided sheets. So um, what we need to do first is we need to do a little bit of um, background stamping. So I've chosen this, um, the letter one again. Um, the combination of all the letters together. So I'm just doing, just turn that to one side a little bit. No, I want to go over here, that's it. Put a little bit there. There we go. There we go. And a little bit at the top. too much I just want that accent of the stamping going on really a little bit down here and then maybe a tad just in that corner there just there oh no that didn't come out very well so I'll just do that again that was my own fault for trying to be too gentle there that's it lovely so without anything else that looks fantastic because of course the papers do so so much already um but what i also want to do is i want to add this fantastic art stamp that says art it's got that those brilliant um bulbs hanging down from it as well so i do want to actually emboss this I'll get my embossing powder out. Ready? There we go. And I give it a good, a good coverage to make sure we get all that fantastic detail. And then let's pop that just a little bit lower. There we go, just there. Right, now we need to give this a good lot of pressure because I want to make sure I get all that detail. Of course, if you feel happier using stamping platform, that's not a problem at all. Um, you do whatever you feel happiest with. There we go, now that's lovely. Yep, so I'll pop some embossing powder over the top of that while it's still wet. Yep, we'll put the lid on that so we don't waft it all away once we put the heat gun on it. There we go, so just warming that up and then you'll see that fantastic detail pop in. It also makes it stand away from the papers a little bit when it's been embossed. Because there's a different feel to it. There, right, so just pop that back like so. Now I want to just put a little tiny bit of, not, not a great deal, but a little bit of stenciling just in this bottom corner here. And I've got my black paste for this, which as you know, I'm a huge fan of. So just pop in 
just some black paste. I'm not filling it in completely. I just want to add just that little bit more to that bottom end. There we go. All right. We'll pop that into some water. Just scrape this back because I don't want to waste any. As you know, I'm very, very big fan of the black texture paste. And when that first came out from That's Crafty, oh my Lord, it was so, so, so popular. It still is very popular. But um, yeah, that was quite incredible when we first, first launched that. So what I want to do is, while that paste is still wet, I just want to just take a few grains of the embossing the, the gold embossing powder just a, a few grains just to take off that solid black and you need to do that by pink you know just a little pinch a little bit like you would when you pinch salt and and then just start off on a slightly slower Speed so that you're not going to bubble the actual the black paste, okay? Okay, I'm happy now. I'm going to speed that up a little bit. I'm going to try not to bubble that. I think it gives it that little bit of extra interest. That bubbling, it, that will go back, that will go down. The bubbling, it won't stay like that. It will go down in a second. But I think it just, it just gives that little bit more of an interest to the um, to the black as well when you just put that on. But you've still got that pattern, and you've also still got that fantastic colour coming through from Amanda's design on the paper. Now, the one thing I do want to show you, and I haven't shown you as yet, um, this this particular um, idea with the wax. So we've gone through lots of different um, ideas, what we can do with the wax from just, just using it straight onto our products um, to mixing it with um, uh, the, um, oh, what do we mix it with? Oh, yes, the, we've used it with the embossing powders. We've splattered it. Um, yeah, some really great things. Also, we can make it crackle as well. Now, to make it crackle, what you need to do is you need to put a couple of coats on, all right, and it will naturally crackle itself. It's not a crackle wax, but it will actually crackle if you make it do that, which is so great, so clever. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, I'll just put that to one side. I'm actually going to take some of the wax and put it onto my glass mat. I'm going to use, I want three different colours. Okay, so I'm going to use really nice, vibrant colours. I'm going to take the purple and whilst I'm getting these colours mixed together I'm just going to break and then if you come back and see how this comes out. Here it is, here it is and Joey's giving away the pages that she's making in her demonstrations we will be giving them away in the four o'clock show today. All you have to do is buy something during the shows we'll put your name into a virtual hat and then we'll virtually pull it out. Well, we will pull it out. Well, we kind of will. We'll generate it. Something like that. And we'll announce the winner at four o'clock. Right. Busy this morning. You're up early and it's great to have your company. Uh, we've got something else for you. This was busy yesterday. Uh, this is your crafty board. You get four A4 sheets. Now, what's great about this, they're already cut for you. So they're already die cut. 
um, or kiss cut as we like to call them and they're very easy just to push out and this is your first option you've got your light bulbs as you can see very steampunk-esque you've got your cup uh, <laughs> cocks and your wings I was going to say clocks <laughs> and you've got your tags and your alpha belt as well alpha belt oh dear me <laughs> alphabet let's hope we've got no sticky dots on the show uh, right now when you pop these out it's always a good idea to keep the elements to keep the elements because you might be able to use um, those for something your crafters you will find something to use them for here's a great example so you've got your light fittings coming down like that which is fantastic um, here's another one this is by Shelley uh, which is really nice and this is using set number two paper isn't that lovely very very nice very nice but these elements are great for adding to your projects and adding dimension whether it be in your journals or whether it be for a little bit of artwork and they're absolutely fantastic now look at that it's great isn't it that light bulb moment half the stock has gone of this option 10 pounds and 76 pence as a freedom member you get great discount 11 pounds and 96 pence if you want to go for your light fittings your cogs and your wings and you've got your alphabet and then you've got your plaques there as well uh, the second option let's have a look at that this is the windows a little window there peeking through hello hello i'm like a giant peeking through the window it'd be quite scary if you woke up and seen and saw me peeping through your windows i was gonna say poking but peeping through your windows Peeping Janice. No, definitely not. Uh, let's not go there. Uh, right, your windows. Now, these are great. Lots of different projects. You could even put some uh, acetate behind here and colour it in and make stained glass windows, which would look really nice. Uh, you've also got the frames in there as well, which are really nice. That dotty one's good, isn't it? Uh, so you've got those lovely ornate frames to use. Then you've got your bookmarks just there and then you've got that alphabet as well uh, i've got a lovely sample here of the window and the wings because of course you can mix and match these sets if you want to 10 pounds and 76 pence and it's a great deal for freedom members it's a great deal if you're not a freedom member but if you are freedom of course you're making that saving and you're not paying any pmp 945948 is your item number all oh, the journals these are great uh, we've seen a couple of samples using the journals because you've got the lovely rings at the top and you do have the actual uh, crafty board as well to start to make that journal but you're also going to get the three rings as well so uh, Joe has been demonstrating with this now here's your chance to buy that blank canvas it's a blank canvas for you so you get your different pages the pages themselves you've got the tabs on there pages without the tabs You've also got the eyelets as well. You've got alphabet included in there. And you also get the rings as well, which are really easy to put together. And you can make two. So you've got two different sizes. So you've got your smaller one. And in here, you've got the pages with little tabs. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Look at that. This is your four by six. It's just something nice, isn't it, to make and create. We're getting really busy for this, by the way. Oh, look at that. Time to shine. That's using the alphabet from the previous collection. Uh, and again, all of these will work so well together, so you might want to consider that. Um, and then your larger one is a lovely example. Of course, you can use this um, in either orientation. This is your 8 by 4.15, to be precise. Um, this lovely. Oh, look at this. Fabulous. 70% of the stock of this has gone 9 99 It's a great price and you get two albums to make. So here's a thought. If you want to go for more, you might want to make and create and sell or make, create and gift. You might want to go for more than one set. It's entirely up to you. If you're going for your one day special or the other deals we've got for you on the show that are available on Flexibuy, you can divide the cost of this into two. Uh, 425145 is your item number if you want to go for the two sizes in those journals. Excellent value for money, isn't it? Uh, right, let's go back to Jo for part two of her demonstration. I've now mixed three of the colours. So we've got the purple, um, the Christmas red, and the ocean mixed with the same amount uh, in quantity paint for wax. 
Okay, mix those together. No water. It's important you don't put water on. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just take as much as you can without dripping it everywhere of the paint and we're going to just place it on top of our project like so and we're going to let it run. Now what I want you to do is I want you to move it also and then uh, take it so far and then try and stop it if you can. Just be my if it goes too f a little bit further it really really doesn't matter. All right you don't want it going too far down and then another colour which is the purple. Now I only want this to go so far. Let's see if I can manage that. That's it. I'm quite happy with that. Lovely. And I'm going to make another purple one just here. So load your brush up and then whilst you're also pulling these down as well, being careful not to take those any further than what's necessary. I know you need about three different pairs of hands for this, don't you? Uh, take that. Now the red. You must also make sure that you wash your brush in between, okay? Because if you don't, you're going to get a mixture of colours, which is not really what you're looking for. Just encourage that down a little bit so we're not tipping that too much to spoil the other runs that we've got already because they're looking really cool. Now, oh, that's a good one. Just wiggle that round a little bit. Of course, you'll never get two the same, obviously, <laughs> with anything like this. And then just another one with the teal, just in this middle part. There we go. Just encourage that a little bit with the with your brush, okay? And then I think just one more, just on the end there. If I'm hopefully not going to push me luck there. There we are. I don't want it to run into the red. Okay, right. Well, that's great. I like that. So now what we need to do is let's just wipe this away. Maybe if you're at home, you could use that on some other project, but. I'm afraid I am limited for space where I am, so I don't have anything else to use. So here we go. I'm going to heat this now. All right. And then you'll see what we get this through. So what's happening is, can you see the bubbling? Which is really, really good. So what's happening is it's giving me, um, it's now giving you a coloured wax because what you've done is you've added in um, the acrylic colours into the wax itself because they're both water-based products they're, they're mixing in together really nicely. Now obviously at this point Please, please be careful because this is really seriously warm. Okay, but what will happen is it will look as if you've got yourself a candle. You pop the candle, a coloured candle, at the top of your project and actually run it down. Okay, so you've got that wax now, that coloured wax running down your piece of work. I think that's really cool. Now, the other thing that I found, and I'll really quickly just show you this because I know that I need to wrap this up, is I've, I've got some, um, what have I got here, Mark? Some pigment powders. And um, I also found that if you take a little bit of the pigment powders, these were the Daily Art ones I had the other day on a show, so you may have these. And also bring in some of your wax. Be careful not to um, put your brush with the powders into your wax because you don't want to contaminate it. But if you mix this together, this gives you a fantastic, obviously really beautiful metallic 
um, wax as well, which is really nice. And then what we can do is we can just add little bits of that in between the others just to give it a little bit of metallic feel to it. There you go. So using your mica powders or pigment powders, whatever you've got, um, just with your wax as well. So run that down. If it's not quite running, just, just encourage it a little bit, like so. And, um, and then heat it up just as we did before. When that runs into that one, that looks really nice. Right, so leave that as it is, stop playing around. That's it. <laughs> uh, what we can also do very, very quickly is with this little bit of, of mica and wax that we've got left, we could, if we wanted to add a little bit into or over our black, just here and there, just, it, it's like, um, it's now, um, like a, a wax that you would actually rub into so we can then put it onto the edges if we wanted to like a gilding wax type idea so we'll just introduce that so that's again using the wax another idea for the wax um, and then just finally just with these letters that I've already stamped out now the stamp is this one which is in um, this set here okay the numbers and uh, letters set um, I've stamped it all out and embossed it and then cut the individual letters out so I'm just going to put the letters just down the edge here so I've actually got let me just pick that up that's it I've got explore, so what the idea is that you are exploring art. You're exploring different ways. Let's spell it correctly because that would be really cool. There we go. Here we are. It's, I'm sure if I spell it wrong, Mark will tell me. <laughs> yeah. It's not Mark's forte spelling. There we go. Just put that down like that. Actually, I'll just take a tiny bit. I, di I don't want them equal, but equally that one was a little bit too long. So, and just press them down like so. A little gap between each one, because I think that looks rather nice. And then, there we go, sit still. There we are. And I'm going to leave that just as it is because I'm exploring the art of using the wax. It's marvellous, isn't it? And you're going to get a chance to win that. Right, your one day special. Proving to be very, very popular. Now, some of you are going for the paint on their own, the 12 acrylic paints. These will go onto all kinds of different surfaces. And if you do want to get them separately, you can. But here's the thing. Your one day special for an extra three pounds and 87 pence. Look at the value that you're getting because you get these extras included, which are far more than three pounds and 87 pence. You get your textured paste. You can add your acrylic paints to this. You can change the color of that, adding texture to your projects through your stencils or not through your stencils. You could use this to do a little bit of stippling with or add your effects. It's entirely up to you. You've got your multi-purpose glue as well and you get that gorgeous acrylic liquid wax. This really is superb. So first of all, the colours that you can use on all kinds of different surfaces, they're included in your one day special. I know you can buy them separately, but your one day special does add the benefits of the glue, the textured paste and that wax as well. Uh, this you can see just leaning forward, you've got that gorgeous waxy effect on the stamps that have been stamped and then cut out. You can use it on all kinds of different surfaces. Your one day special dips your toes into That's Crafty, your one day special allows you 
to express yourself with all of your different medias that you've already got at home, whether it be um, canvas board, whether it be MDF, whether it be glass, for example. You've got the one paint that suits all. It's an amazing deal. 291964 from That's Crafty, UK company. Two payments of £19.88 pence if you want to pop it into your basket. Right, we've got some more demonstrations from our Joe Channon. Have a look at this. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using um, the Craft Board Journal, which is the eight by four and a quarter. And um, so you can see, you can get really fantastic coverage on this using different um, different items that we've got in the show. And I'll talk those, uh, tell you what I'm using, obviously, as I'm going along. So this is how uh, one sheet of the journal will come to you, two, two in one piece. And you can see that the holes have been punched at the top there already um, so obviously you've got the other page ready for another project and of course you can use back and the front so you get maximum um, use out of it so we'll pop that one to one side just for the time being now the other thing um, oh the other amazing product that we've got on the show um, which I have got to say I would highly recommend uh, for you to be getting um, are the paper packs so these are these are the perfect backgrounds. We've got set one, set two, and set three. So you can see there's quite a difference between the three of them. The, um, the one thing that is standard throughout each of the packs, they're all A4. They've been designed by Amanda Southern. Now Amanda is one of our amazing design team members, designer in her own right, and she has made such an, an incredible job of these papers. Um, they are 170 GSM matte but they're on a silk paper so they've got that stunning finish and of course they are acid and lignant free. Also made in the UK by That's Crafty which is always a bonus. So you can see there for set one. Set one is, is actually the one that I'm going to be using uh, for this project. I'm going to bring that piece in now just to show you. So you can see there, look at all those incredible colours. You will see as we're going along, um, you'll be using different papers from different sets and you will notice that the paints that are in the one day special, of course you are getting 12 of the 60ml uh, pots which are super super size for you to be having um, a go with if you haven't used the multi surface paints um, before but also uh, with with having the 12 of different different colors you've got such a variation as well so a, a great set to be buying to be having um, for your um, all all of your crafty projects we'll talk more about the paints as we go along now this is uh, the paper obviously that we want to use um, in the one day special as well you will be getting the uh, the multi-purpose craft adhesive now this one is actually uh, you can see that it's got a fine top to it it dries really quickly and also dries um, clear and there's no discoloration after time as well because I've found in the past that some craft adhesives they're absolutely fine they will dry clear as they say on the label but after a while you do get that um, discoloration which is not ideal especially when you're making an item uh, for longevity so you also see here it's non-toxic which is fantastic obviously so we're going to be using our glue to fix our paper down now it's a good strong glue you will have seen you will see me using this all of the time try using a paintbrush start as I mean to go on and try and keep clean spread it out um, what's really important when you're doing something like this journal pages and you pop in paper on the top give it a really good coverage but especially around the edges where the paper needs to be stuck good and firm because you don't want that lifting off okay so that's done that of course, it's a water-based um, craft adhesive, so pop it straight into some water afterwards. And then we're going to place this on top of, of our journal book page. Give it a really nice press down, like I say, especially around the edges. We're only going to be using part of this, as you can see. So the other part will be used for lots of other projects. So 
be mindful where you're placing your journal page because obviously this will cut out wastage as well. Now, something like this, just shot over there, don't get rid of because we can be using those in bits and pieces on other projects as well. Now, I like to um, take my sanding block and I do like to just sand around the edges to make sure it's all nice and crisp and clean. And also, I do like this white core that comes through. That is obviously personal choice. So there we go. I'll just take that back like so. Also, it does round off your corners nicely when you sand it. So that gives that nice extra little bit. And then um, I've also got my cropper down here that I'm going to just pop the um, holes back in. Okay, through the paper, which is most important because you want that to be nice and clean and crisp when you're looking at the actual journal page. You wouldn't need, actually need a cropper doll or heavy duty one, um, but this is the one that I, I tend to have near me, so uh, I use that. But it will, I would think a normal hole punch will do the job through the craft board. So we'll pop that to one side because obviously that's amazing for something else at a later date. Right, so I'll just uh, show you a couple of things on the actual um journal page that we're doing. So we've got some stencil in here. This is one of the That's Crafty stencils. You will find all the That's Crafty stencils on the website. Um, so um, please have a look there. I'm sure some of you have got uh, some of them that I'm going to be using anyway. And now we're going to bring in our multi-surface paint. So the multi-surface paint, as we've said, obviously the name suggests that it will go on all surfaces. Um, you've got glass, obviously paper, cardstock, grey board, canvases. Um, you know I use it all the time for my projects. Find the coverage excellent and um, yeah and, and I know again that lots of you do use it as well. So I'm using actually um, a sponge here and I'm going to sponge it through the design. Um, I want, uh, what I wanted was I wanted something in the background, but I didn't want it too prominent, taking it away from the main focus as we carry on. Okay, so I'm just sponging that lightly. I'm not being too fussy about making sure every single piece has got covered because I want it quite light. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we've got that uh, the white on now. Now what I want to do is I want to take some of the mustard yellow. So all of these colours are in the one day special. So you don't have to worry about looking for any other colours that I'm going to be using in all the demonstrations. And the other thing is, of course, we can mix colours together to make a variant, so don't be afraid to do that. So on top of the white, I'm just sponging on some of the mustard yellow to bring that, bring those tones in also from the papers. Okay, so when we take that off there, you'll see you've got that fabulous stenciling going on, but it's only on the same level as the papers but it looks very, very dimensional. Okay, pop that sponge there, we'll be using that later. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just going to pop that again, just to one side while we um, bring in our elements. So the elements you will see, um, we've got um, a, a few options on these and you do get um, a lot on one sheet. In fact, let me just bring in the actual sheet as you can see I have used obviously quite a few of these on my um, the demonstrations as I'm going through and but you can see that um, you do get that's just one sheet of many that you do get in the option whichever you choose now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop these bits out 
And then I'm going to paint them in the black multi-surface paint, one of the 12 colours, and uh, then we'll pop back and uh, place them onto our journal page. I was just looking at some of these journals that uh, Jo has created. Very inspiring, isn't it? And it's great to see those demonstrations. And remember, anyone that buys from the shows is going to go into the hat. And at four o'clock, we will select a winner that's going to win the journal pages that Jo is creating in her demonstrations. Right, let's have a look at the one day special. A one day special is at a reduced price for 24 hours. We've got a live show right now. Of course we are, we're here. We've got another live show at 12 o'clock today and then final call at 4 p.m. You can, of course, buy in between the shows, but we can never guarantee how busy we're going to be in between those shows. So here's your one day special. 12 acrylic paints which will go on all kinds of different surfaces. You've got some great colours in there. It's a great colour palette, it really is. You've got the white, so you can mix that with some of the colours to make a more pastel effect. You've got the black as well, so you can make some of the colours a little darker if you wish, or use that on its own. If you want to go for the paints on their own, you're more than welcome to do so. However, think about this. Your one day special is a reduced price. And with your one day special, you are getting that liquid, well, your acrylic liquid wax, your textured paste, and your multi-purpose craft adhesive that's glue to you and me and that's only an extra three pounds and 87 pence on top of your paints it's well worth it go for your one day special and divide the cost into two payments of 19 pounds and 88 pence that means one payment this month and another payment may due can you believe it we're almost in June. Um, it's been fantastic having your company. Do check out your baskets for all of the different items that we've got available on the show. You can head to the website and see all the items from That's Crafty. We'll have more demonstrations and part two of that demonstration from Joe at 12 o'clock today. Check out your baskets, everyone. We'll see you in a minute. Uh, right, coming up next, you're in for a treat. We've got All and Create. Abs is here in the studio with us. Pink Frog Crafts after that with Hazel. And then we're letting Leone loose. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion, and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on the Crafty Kitchen. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet. 
either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals and then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. How are you? Have you just joined us? Well, we've had a very busy morning here at Hochanda and we've got another fantastic show lined up for you today. We've got the innovator, the originator, the master of all arts. We have got Abs in the studio. <laughs> Hello. How are you, Abs? Good morning, Janice. Good morning, everyone. It's great to have your company. It's lovely to have you here. We've been working hard at Hochanda to make sure that our guests are safe and as long as it's safe for them to travel here we've been able to have a few of them back as well so it's lovely to actually see you abs albeit from a distance thank you and lovely to be back to the studios and lovely to be here with you and see you again all here at Hachanda now we've got some great demonstrations coming up with abs as well and I know you love those demonstrations but what can we expect to see in today's show abs you expect a lot of layers, it's a lot of mess and a lot of colours and textures, but mainly a lot of layers and layers and a lot of fun. I love that, I love that. And remember, if you've got any inspirations that perhaps you've made already using the stamps and stencils from All and Create with that lovely inspiration, then please send them in. I'm sure Abs would love to see them and I'm sure the design team are watching as love. well and they would love to see them too, to see what you're doing with them. Uh, so email them in, it's studio at hochanda.com. Let's start with some news today. Let's start right here. I love these. Uh, you have got five stamps here, for £34.95, and pence, but look at these designs. What I like about these is the size. I love the designs, but I love the size because when you're journaling, when you're putting together your design, sometimes you only want a small part of an effect and then another effect on another part of your project. So to have a stamp of this size is absolutely perfect. It's going to give you that inspiration to maybe create smaller cards and have that as your background or maybe on the inside. How about making and creating repeat patterns as well using these stamps? Now that is your splodge. Love that. Do you know what? You can never ever get a decent splodge when you do it yourself. I've tried. I've tried <laughs> flicking, it goes over my shoulder. I've tried splodging it on and it just goes <laughs> So to, and that was a good sound effect. So to be able to get a stamp to give you that effect is fabulous. Then you've also got your quirky cobbles. I'll just turn that around so you can see the stamp itself. That's your quirky cobbles. That would make a great background. If you were using your embossing powder with that, oh my word, 
absolutely fantastic almost yeah mosaic to color each element in be fantastic um, you've got your intersecting circles right there and if I just take that and just turn that around just so you can see the actual stamp itself there you go the next along you've got your ice flows again I really like that actually do you know what that reminds me of it reminds me of a map with all the counties you know when you have a look at map and it's separated by counties and instantly actually when I looked at that that does look like Leicestershire it really does um, which is fantastic so you can again you can use this for all kinds of different ways and then you've got the roundly and let me turn that around for you there you go 34 pounds and 95 pence five excellent stamps for you from the all and create team uh, 062421 is your item number if you want to go for that set now stencils I've been stenciling I've been getting into the world of stenciling and I love it I really do because it gives you a base it gives you a layer that you can build upon or you can add to your project uh, you've got four stencils here you've got splatters crazy paving broken circles and ice cracks as well uh, let me get one of the stencils to show you and I'll place it against some black card so you can see there you go so with your inks with your paints and with your texture paste as well you've got these fabulous stencils to start creating and adding detail sometimes when you've got a project on the go you think I just need something something but I'm not quite sure what that is and you try and add different elements but you're never getting it right well use the stencils to add that pattern now that's gorgeous isn't it that for me is like being underwater and looking up at the surface and seeing all the white on top of the water uh, I do like that it's absolutely fantastic um, let me show you the other two as well because it's nice to see what you are getting let's go down to the bottom here and grab this one let me pop that there and pop that there now do you know what I like about that is the fact that it's got the open sides to it as well so if you want to continue that pattern it really does leave that open space for you and then the last one let me show you this grab that there and we've got more that lovely crackled effect I remember I did say that look looks like all the different shires that being Leicestershire. Um, now these are going to be dispatched on the 26th of May, which actually isn't that long to wait at all. £23.96 and pence is a great investment for you. 260536 is your item number if you want to go for those. Now, if you want to go for the stamps and the stencils, because these designs are fantastic and they go so well together, here's the deal we've got in place for you. £53.91. pence. With Freedom members, you get your discount. It's only £48.52. You're saving £10.39, uh, which kind of is a why not deal, would you say? It certainly is. If you're not a Freedom member already, become a Freedom member. That's £6.97 a month. Make the saving of £10.39. So you kind of got your membership for nothing this month. It's a great deal. And you can divide the cost into two, £24.26. Pence, and it's going to be dispatched on the 26th of May. So again, not long to wait. But if you want the whole uh, package right there, those are your details. 474019 is your item number. Now, can I share with you? Oh my goodness! When I came into the studio and I saw the samples for these, I was like, wow, mind was blown totally. Um, these stamps and stencils are remarkable. Look at the size that you're getting. First of all, let me turn these stamps around to show you the size. Now, our Leone has been using these, hence the black already on there. But doesn't it show you? Doesn't it show you the detail that's in there? Uh, so you've got those huge stamps. What's great about this is that you've got the butterfly, but you've also got the butterfly with the wings separately. So you can use half the wing. Uh, you can use both of the wings it's going to be entirely up to you so I like the versatility in that and oh my word let me show you these two samples here I mean look at that that is incredible so you've got your butterfly on there and you've got the gorgeous flowers over the top there beautiful bright and vibrant absolutely stunning stunning use of colors look at that 
this could be something that you're doing at home so your stamps are your larger butterfly and then your butterfly body with the two large wings which is br brilliant idea to have those separate then you're getting the stencils as well let me show you the stencils and the detail on here is remarkable um, the stencils themselves very very strong and resilient so you can put your paste through here you can put your pens through here as well and your paints and your inks what I love about this is that the whole of that image is remarkable but if you just wanted to use the image at the bottom you can if you wanted to use the top part you can and that's the beauty of using stencils use as much or as little as you like and then the other stencil that you are getting with the wing and the flowers my word look at that isn't that beautiful and I have got a sample of that wing if I just bring this in there you go isn't that marvellous? That's what we mean by just using part of the stencil. But you've got the beauty of having it all together. Now, it's available on FlexiBuy, two payments of £23.49. That gets you your A4 stamps and also your stencils as well. And these are going to be dispatched on the 18th of May. That is well, it's a few days' time. Now, you can get the stamp on its own if you want to go for that. That is a great investment. It really is. And if you want to get the stamp on its own, here it is, £24.99. A great deal, 567479. And that's going to be dispatched from the 18th of May. I find that stamp absolutely remarkable. The detail in those wings... It's absolutely stunning. And when you get it home, you'll see what I mean. When you stamp it out for the first time, when you put your ink to that stamp, when it reveals all of that detail, you will be blown away. You really will. It's, it's a fabulous, fantastic stamp uh, to go for. And if you want to go for it on its own, you can. Or you can go for it with the set of the stencils as well. But definitely worth uh, the money to pop that into your basket. Now, we've got abs here in the studio and we've got some great demonstrations lined up for you. So I'm going to hand you over to our lovely abs for your first demo. Abs. I'm back. Hello. Um, okay, so thank you, Janice. Um, um, so for today's demo, what I have for you here, we're going to create a lovely um, XL large tag um, with different layers using the different stamps and the stencils. Um, but also, um, we are going to, I, I will be also working on some of the project that I had done before, but they need um, some finished touches. And yesterday, I explained to you how these beautiful stencils and stamps are perfect for those finished touches. So I want to show you how you can add those layers of the finished touches without having that much or without making the project very busy okay so should we start with um, the tag yeah let's start with the um, the first demo so I'm working here on a large um, on a large tag I'm not sure about the size but it's I would say 10 inches maybe anyway um, so I'll be working also with some um, stencils here from the show today so I'll be working with that beautiful butterfly and they'll be working with the um, the broken circles and um, the um, also, they totally dotty. All of them are in the show today, but also some of the. Um, I think I believe that one is number ten. I forgot the name. Okay, so I'll be using some distress oxides. I think I need also some orange, and I may go with some. Yeah, yellow. Okay, um, so I'll be applying some cut. So I'll be just working on one section of my tag first. So I'll be applying this just oxide straight away on my stencil. That's the first color. And then I'm adding a second color and try to do it like here on the, the edges, maybe. And then um, I may add a little bit of the blue, some parts of my design. Yeah, like so. Um, now I'm going to grab um, water. I'm going to just make sure I have... Um, oh, sorry. Oops. Yeah, a good layer of water. And then I'm going to turn the stencil straight away on my tag, use it as a stamp set. Like so. And I have here kitchen roll. Just 
and then make sure you press well so the kitchen roll will absorb all the excess of the water. And then you can see here is my first print. Okay, I'm not going to waste any ink left on my stencil, so I'm just going to um, spray again and see if I can get any more um, pattern and any more prints. Um, should I just use that section here? Or um, maybe just that bit. And let's see if we have any ink left. <laughs> Yep, that is fantastic. Okay, so I'm putting my stencil aside. And now I'll be using um, more stencils. So I have here the broken circles, and I'm going to use it with the matching stamp set that is on the show today. So I have here both the stamp and the stencils, and I can I will add more layers now um, using my distress oxides again. So um, I'm going with a little bit darker colour now for some contrasts. So I'm doing some reds. Like so. Water. And then and I just use it on some part of the tag. Um, let me put for example here one section. I'm using it as a stamp to get that negative effect of the stencil. I'm trying to use it in a different way. And then you have that nice um, print in there and that red really pop. And then um, I need to, I want to add the red to the other side um, of the tag to balance it up and add the same pattern, but instead of using, um, so I need to, um, I'll be using the same pattern, but instead of using um, the stencil, I'm going to use this time the um, the, the stamp set and it's create a nice contrast in terms of size as well. As you can see the stamp set is slightly smaller than the, um, the stencil. So I have a good layer here of ink and then I will be just stamping it um, in this corner here. Happy with that. Yeah, that is perfect, just a small detail. Um, I may just add a little bit, maybe somewhere in there, so it works in. I like having three. Okay, yeah, just in here. I'm, I'm not using the acrylic blocks because I'm just stamping part of the stamp set and I'm not I'm looking for perfect prints. Yeah, that is perfect. So now I have um, a good um, balance of color and design. I'm going to put that one aside and I'm going to use um, the stencil now um, and the stamp set from the main bundle as well, which is, I do believe, it's the ice cracks and the matching um, stamp sets, which is a quirky couple there. Okay, um, I'm going to take another color now. So, um, so either, should, either we go with one of the color that I already used um, on the background, uh, the first colors. Um, for int I'm, I'm not going to add another dark color. I'm not going to add another contrast color because my red is enough. Otherwise, we're too busy, and then we lose the balance of my tag. So I'm going to go with. Um, I can go either with the green because I have some green here, or maybe I should go with some blue. Let me go with the blue. Yeah, peacock feathers because I had some blue there. Um, okay, so. Just doing it a part of my, just a section of my tag, uh, of my stencil, sorry, and over it, and that add that texture of cracks, like in here. Wait a few seconds for the print to, to before remove it, and then you have that nice crack in there. It's really, really nice. Um, I hope they can see properly there. Um, oops, sorry, I forgot I missed it. And now I'm going just to do um, another section of my stencil, just a small part. Spray it, and then do the print in, let's do it here. Okay, it's perfect. Put the stencil back, and now using the stamp sets to add those small details. 
again I'm not using the acrylic block I'm just as I'm stamping just part of it and it's easy for me so I can um, choose what I'm putting the ink and what I'm adding the callus part in there um, let me do part in here and last one maybe in um, here better yeah have that nice balance okay What I'm going to do now is I'm adding another layer to my background using again the stamps and the stencils. Okay, so um, I have now the stencil here with the matching two stamps. So that one, as you can see, that stencil here, the six by six, has two different parts. Have um, two different parts. We have the splodges splatters here, and then we have those kind of um, coffee stain or the stickers aside. But also we have those beautiful lines, and we have the two matching um, stamp set to get with. We have them here on the show. So you have the two stamps set together. So that that stencil is to match the right hand side of the right design of the stencil and that stamp set here and the 366 is to match the um, the left part of the stencil and it, this is actually one of my favorite in this bundle because so many possibilities and so many um, choices okay I'm gonna start with the left hand side with the left design here so I'm gonna do it um, in two parts so the first part is I'm gonna add some of the details using my distress crayons so just let me grab on my distress crane. As I said yesterday, if you don't have distress crane, uh, crane, sorry, you can use some gelatos, you can use um, uh, other details, all the stuff that you have at home. You don't have to have exactly the same product. And then what I'm going to do is, so basically for this step, is just to add um, small details and small um, texture to the background because they, um, when it dries, it's always in 3D and it's nice how it dries in 3D. So this is this one. And then just with my finger, make sure to apply to all the designs. I have a nice lines. Can you see how it adds really, really nice, um, nice detail that in the background. And I'm going to do the same thing, only one this time. So I have three. You don't have to have three. You can have five. You can have seven. We can have only one. I like working out number always. I'm not a fan of even numbers. Do the same thing here. That stencil is really, really um, beautiful and I really like it. Okay, so I have one in there and it's really nice. What I'm going to do now, um, just um, quickly, because I'm going to use some white texture paste and I want to try white, so I'm just going to clean that section of the stencil only because I don't want to have that yellow on my stencil left. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, again, using the same stencils, and now we're going to work with some texture paste. So I have here my palette knife. I have here a good um, texture paste. This is a matte one. Actually, I do have a lot here on my um, lid, so I'm just going to use that one. Don't waste it. Okay, oh, that's a lot. And then I'm going to add some um, more of the texture. Let me use now... Um, some of the circles. So I have here three. So I'm going to either add one or th or um, I'm either going to add sorry two or four or um, so. Let me see. I may do those four here, and I want them to be on the edges. So as I mentioned to as I said before to Janice, it's all about layers and layering and adding more details and depth and creating dimension at the same time, both fake and real. And when I say both and fake and real, so um different colors here give you like sort of dimension even if it's not um, that dimensional and now with texture paste we're giving the 3d effect and a nice dimension okay so let me just get rid of that line here i don't know if they can show it here from the sides yeah you see the dimension here and the depth and now what i'm going to do is just let me get you know, Ads, that looks absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that you're adding that layer of texture and it makes all the difference. And I love the tip as well about working with odd, not even numbers because it really does make a difference, doesn't it? Indeed, yeah. I love working with um, an odd number. I found it always, and um, the result is always nice and better when you have um, three or five or seven instead of having four or two. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to use the other part of the stencil, but I think before using it with the texture paste, I'm going to use the stamp, the matching stamp first to add to stamp some of those. Um, as you said before, 
sometimes you can never have them perfect so but because you have the stamp set now you can have those beautiful details and now I'm gonna stamp it in a black because I still need a little bit of black I need a little bit of black so far I've been just using um different colors but we always need the black touch in a project I think that black touches always give it that um balanced and finished look so I'm just gonna do um let me just put one in here Okay, so let me do those together again. I'm not using any acrylic block because it's easy for me to just stamp them this way. Okay, and um, we just add one here, just a small one. Oops, sorry. Not you, sorry. Okay, let me add that one. That is my final one here. Perfect. I'm really liking it. Now I'm going to do is using the matching, um, and now I'm going to do I'm using the matching stencil and working on um, this section here to add dimension now. And it's nice contrast because you have the same design, um, one stamped and one with a stencil. So you have different size, different dimension, and different look. Let me do the first one here. Now, whilst you do that, Abs, if we could just yeah. recap some of the items, because we're getting quite busy now, and I want people to get them into their basket to check out, if you don't mind, just for a moment. Yeah. Um, I do need to show you the items that Abs has been using. Oh, my goodness. These are absolutely fantastic. We've got a couple of options for you. Uh, so, we've got the set of five stamps and the stencils as well. So you can get all of them together, which is brilliant. And that's what Abs has been using. So if you like the textures, if you like the designs, if you like the flow that was going on, and you want to do that, because it's so inspiring to see. I don't know about you, but when I watch Abs, I'm just like, I want to go now. <laughs> because it really is inspiring what he does. And the results are incredible. But that's all down, of course, to the design team designing these wonderful stamps for you so you can use them at home. Now, Freedom members, you get a discount of £10.39 and you can pay on two payments if you want to. So you can divide the cost over two months. So you've got your set of five stamps right here. And if you want them on their own, they're at the bottom of the screen for £34.95. But because that price for your stencils is saving you five pounds freedom members saving over ten pounds it's worth going for both because you can split the cost over two so the first payment 26.96 for both is only a few pounds more than the stencils themselves so it's worth going for and dividing the cost into two. Uh, so the stamps, great size as well. Great for adding the detail. That's the splat. Let me get uh, the piece of paper that I was using to show you these. I think this could possibly be my favourite. Because to get that particular effect can take quite a bit of doing. And I don't know about you, when I've tried to do it, I never really get the results that I want. But with your stamp, you've got those elements, either as a whole or using just part of it, maybe the corner, as Abs was showing you. You've also got those fabulous crackle effects as well, which are great. I think something like that with your embossing powders will look amazing. You can start to build up your layers with these, and you can start to build up your backgrounds as well, uh, which do look remarkable. And just adding that extra detail when needed. So those are your stamps, your stencils. I'll just run, run through these. We're starting to get really busy, actually, everyone. So if you do need to make the decision to check out your baskets, I'd do it right now. Uh, I like this one, I really do, because you've got the open um, round, the open edges to this, so you can continue in or you can add details with your stenciling or use them uh, to print. Because you can use these stencils not only to stencil the detail out, but also to put your inks onto the stencils and then to use it in a print. We've seen abs do that, so that's a great inspiration from abs. And just showing you again, I'll just turn that around, the remaining of your stencils. And if you want to get the stencils on their own, you're more than welcome to do so. But most of you are going for both. Why not? Dividing the cost is the best way to do it. Now, they're going to be dispatched on the 26th of May.
26th of May. So think about your budget each month that you have for craft. And if 20, just over £24 suits you this month, then that's your first payment. And then you've got that payment in a month's time. But we'll send everything out together. It's only the cost that you're splitting into two interest-free. Uh, 474019. Now, the butterfly set, this is also proving to be uh, very popular as well. It's, apps, it's magnificent. If a word was to describe it, it's magnificent. The stamps themselves, you've got beautiful large stamps. So you've got the whole of the butterfly and the flowers. I'll show you a sample in a moment. And then you've got the body of the butterfly, but the two wings separate. I love that. I love that. Um, you could, if you wanted to use just one wing or you could stamp and then cut out and bring those wings forward decoupage those wings onto the stamp but isn't that remarkable that's the largest stamp with the flowers on there it's been stamped and cut out i do like the fact the white line has been left on there as well it's gorgeous look at those flowers uh, and you can change the color of the flowers and make it look different each and every time same stamp there but different coloured flowers makes it look different with the detail in the background. Now, the stamp on its own is at the bottom of the screen, £24.99. pence. But, of course, this deal that we've got for you on the side of the screen with two flexi payments includes the stencils. My word, take a look at these stencils. Look at the detail that you're getting in there. If you wanted to use part of that stencil, you can do. And that's been used in this particular project right there that you can see. And you can also take that part and use it separately or use them together it's absolutely gorgeous isn't it it gives a good message on butterflies and flowers and then you've got the stencil right here which again is a, a good size stencil and you can use as much or as little of that as you wish two payments 23.49 and dispatched on the 20 on the 18th of may um, so that's only a few days to wait isn't it a marvellous deal, absolutely marvellous. This took my breath away when I came into the studio. Now, I want to show you another bundle, if I may, one you've not seen yet. And this is your Blooming Poppies. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I can see so many elements in here that I love already, already. Uh, which is your favourite? Maybe all of them. This is a great deal for all of these stamps. I'm going to turn them around to show you so you can see the size of the stamp really does match the artwork on the front. So you've got your poppies, you've also got perfection only exists in our minds. You make everything more beautiful and you've got your script and your other sentiments as well. Love that. Remember, poppies can be any colour. Red, they could be blue, they could be pink. Um, you choose, you choose the colour. It really makes a magnificent piece of artwork out of that. Um, you've got your window here, this lovely scene that we've got with your steampunk-esque elements on the side. And then you've got that lovely key as well. That could be a really nice card for somebody. Maybe they're moving home or eventually moving home, eventually moving home. You've got that wonderful stamp on there as well. And then I think this is my favourite. Of course it is with the robin. Why would it not? Uh, you've got the robin just there. And you've also got the flowers to boot and you've got um, a pocket watch. I'm going to turn this around so you can see the stamps in their entirety because we have that exclusive logo at the top. But let me just turn this around so you can see. There you go. So you've got the robin, you've got the clock in there as well, which is remarkable. So however you want to use these stamps is going to be up to you. But there's so many different images in there that you can use and mix and match. You're saving £10 and it's available on Flexibuy, £24.99 today and £24.99 in a month's time. That gets you your three stamp sets, your Blooming Poppies, your Shuttered Window and Flourish. Marvellous, absolutely marvellous stamps for you, as you can see there in their true beauty and design quality. Uh, right, we're going to head back to ABS now. I did want to just run through those items. I was aware that uh, we were getting busy, so I just wanted to remind you, if you didn't mind, ABS, so we're going to head back right to him. Thank you, Janice. Um, so what I've been doing in the meantime, um, well, I just did um, more details on texture paste here, as you can see here. Um, I added um, using the same um, splatter stencils, so I did more of the texture paste here and there. And also I thought that it needed a little bit of red in here, so that's why I added another print of red. Um, except that, yeah, that's all what I did. And now what I want to do, I'm just going to pop my and put my background here just aside for a few seconds. 
while I do some stamping for the focal point and the rest of the design for my um, project. So here I have here some um, 250 um, GSM cardstock, white cardstock. Okay. Oh gosh. Yeah. Let my magnet out. So I have here already my butterfly stamp sets from that A4 um, stamp set, the new one, that stamp set here is the Floral Wings by Olga Haldvein. Okay, dokie. So, I forgot to put those aside. And what I want to do now, I instead of stamping um, the butterfly, so this is when you stamp the butterfly show in, in black, you have already that nice print um, uh, image here, it's already gorgeous. But what I want to do, you can always um, fussy cut it, or you can add some colors like Janice showed you, to, to, two different examples before and make everything pop and that beautiful but also what you can do instead of stamping in black you can straight away go with colors straight away to give it some um, shape and some beautiful dimension so that's the black version I'm gonna put it aside and now I'm gonna do some stamping with different colors and for this I'm gonna use um, some versifying um, clad but instead of the black I'm gonna go with some colors and what I'm going to do is just add in some layers so just a gentle touch of a first color. I didn't press a lot. I don't want to have that um, a dark color or that a lot of um, details in it. So I'm just adding a very light color. You see, you can see some part of it, but still not in there. And then do the same thing with the second color and try to add, for example, I have some gaps in here. So I will try to do um, the colors in those sections there. You don't have to do it exactly like that, but um, it's better if you can add colors in there. So at least you fill those gaps and you have a nice layer of color and then build in a nice background. So that is second color, you see. I'm already, um, my butterfly is already coming to life, but in beautiful different colors. And now I'm adding just um, one more color here, a little bit darker, because I love playing with shades of different colors in there. And so I can see that I have a section missing here, which is just a little bit. And also tip when I'm adding this, just when I want to work in a small section, instead of putting my stamp set straight away directly, I will have a lot of big stamped area. So I'm just working on, um, just using the edge of the ink pad. So it can go um, where the details, um, where I want it to be, sorry, um, without having that much ink everywhere, I think here. Let me stamp, and th that's the beautiful thing when you use um, the stamping platform. Even if you miss part of it, you can still come back and add ink on that area that you missed. So let me see what I'm having here. Yep, I think I think for now it's is is perfect. So I'm gonna stop now. But as you can see, some of the line are still. Um, um, I need to refine more of the lines because some details are missed. So why I, I want also all this color to come um, live together. So what I'll be doing is I'm gonna use some distress oxide brown. I'm not gonna to put too much brown because otherwise it'll be dark and I will not see all this layer. So again, just a very like a gentle touch. I'm not pressing at all. Just put in some colors and then go and stamp on the top of that butterfly to give it some depth this time, to give it some depth because it looks so far, it looks flat image, but we want to make it more dimensional and to put more depth. And now you see it's already highlighted some of the colors. I can see that part of it is a little bit missing here in the middle. So I can come back. Sorry, I think my ink pad is a bit dry. But it doesn't matter because I'm not looking for um, a dark color or a um, very busy stamping. Yeah, that is perfect. You can see you can still see a little bit of the green that we use on the first layer. So this is my butterfly here already um, stamped. As I said, you have this version or you have the black one. So either one you prefer you can use, either the, um, the, the black one or the, um, the color one. And that will be my focal point. You'll be happy to hear that I did some fussy cutting before the show, so I'm not going to do it now in front of you for hours. Um, let me put my stamping platform aside. And then I have here um, that butterfly that I did the same thing, same colors, just a different um, way. And then did all the fussy cut that butterfly here. So I've just tried to a little bit with the wings to make it a little bit more dimensional. And then I will come back to, I will bring back my tag. And I want it to be here somewhere here on the top part of my um, top part of my tag, so it's already in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to distress a little bit the edges, 
and for this I'm going with the um, a color that I've actually already um, one of the colors on my background and I think I will use again the the peacock feathers I'm just going to distress some of the edges and when I did fast cut it, I kept um, like a tiny, tiny millimeters around the edges. So I did not fast cut to show it where the stamping lines are. So I kept that small um, white space. So when I add the blue now, the blue will um, go straight on that white section instead of having the blue on the top of my other colors. Some part I did not leave that much um, space, but it's already fine. Yeah, it's better just doing maybe a little bit this section. And then of course when you home, take your time, do those small details and make sure you highlight all of them so you have a nice beautiful finish. Um, look. Okay, so yeah, that's it. And then what you can do is maybe just add in some of the, actually I need to distress part of the tag as well, forgot. So I'm just distressing some part of the tag in here. And you can do a second color also to give it a nice, yeah. In here, the yellow. Okay. Let me bring my, bring my bag. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my uh, black and white pen and then add some um, frame a little bit to my tag. As I always say, I don't like having um, straight lines and a perfect frame. So just adding some details in here. Some. Okay. Sorry. There. Just some line if my pencil wants to work if my pen okay now it's perfect that those lines help me to um frame more my work so i know what to add and where to add most importantly details in there more in here that bit section Okay, and this part here. Just some detail. And I will stop here. Okay. That's my tag, as in here. And now all what you have to do, and um, because you have already um, a very busy um, background here, you need to highlight more of the parts. So I'll be using now my um, two stencils here from the show today as well. Um, we have them on the counter. Um, it's the Totally Dotty and the Lotto Dots. Those two, um, they um, work very well together. It's the same design. We have it in A4 version and we have it in 6x6 size. And I'm just adding some details. So I'm going to go with, let me put my butterfly back just to see where I'm going to add those more um, spots. So I'm going to add one here using my distress crayon that I just used. So I'm just adding a color and then with my finger using it here. As you notice, I'm just working on one part of the circle because I want to add another color to the other side and I'm going with um, olive, a little bit dark green here to have that nice contrast. Okay, can you see my circle here? It's really at that depth. And now I'm going to add um, a tiny one, so a small one, I will be using it from the 6x6 um, the six six stencil. I'm going to add that one here using the same color. A little bit more. And then add the, con the darker color for a nice shading and a nice ombre from light to dark. 
Yep. That's it. And I need a third one because I said I like working in threes. Okay, third one. Um, I don't want it to have it to be that big and I don't want it to be that small. So I would go. The good thing about those two stencils is you have different size of circles. You have so many circles and a lot of different size. So it's easy for you um, to see which one you want to add and where to add it. I think I may go with... Oh, decision, decision. Okay, just this one here. And I want it here on the edge. Just using a different finger because the other one is a little bit dirty with all different colors, and they want a nice yellow hair. Just a little bit of green. Okay, brilliant. I'm liking it. Now, I'm um, quickly taking a uh, grab in my. Um, white gel pen and just add in some finishes that just to their circles to make them look again more dimensional and more real and then just some of this okay so let me put that one in there and now what all you can do is keep adding more layers of um colors and details bring a little bit more of the black and then you can add some sentiments for example i have here um, a lot of sentiments i have also some black and then add the sentiments the way you want and then i, you do I love that wasn't that a great demonstration i've got a question actually abs yeah. because when i was watching you i started to get some inspiration myself so okay. i'm thinking with the butterfly with the different colors that you had yeah maybe and i don't know whether this would work once the colors are down if you had the right ink pad, spritz it with water so it all blended in and then go back with like a sepia colour or a black to outline the butterfly. Indeed. So you can go with this chest oxide, for example, as the first layers, different colours. Spray water, you have that nice beautiful colour spread all around your butterfly and then um, stamp again with something permanent so to highlight all those lines of the butterfly without losing that beautiful colors on the background so use your you use your stamping platform and then so you can stamp exactly on the top where um or exactly the where the stamp where the first butterfly was isn't that fantastic isn't it great to have abs here in the studio and to be able to ask him questions i'm very lucky but you guys are lucky too because you've still got time to email in if you want to ask abs anything it's studio at hochanda.com i don't like saying this but take advantage of him whilst he's here <laughs> i'm Please here do. yeah i'm here <laughs> uh, now the um, stencil and stamp set that abs was using is totally dotty and lots of dots this is brilliant it really is 18 pounds and 96 Seven pence. You've got your stamp set and your two stencils. It's only eighteen pounds and ninety-seven pence, saving four pounds, and it really is a go-to set to have. So do consider that two zero eight seven one three. It was great the bubbles that Abs made and created with those. Right. Also using that butterfly stamp set. I'm in love with this. It's absolutely fantastic. It really is. And it's a good size for a stamp, isn't it? It's a good statement project. Here it is in colour, absolutely magnificent. And I think this is something you're going to enjoy colouring in as well. Whether you are going for the effect we were talking about with water and splashing it on there, or whether you're going for that colour effect right here and then maybe defining with a deeper, darker background. But something like this, it's, it's almost mindfulness, isn't it? Just sitting down, stamping out this beautiful design stamp by Olga, and then colouring it in. And you can change the colour. So we've got some lovely lemon colours in there, yellows. Um, but then change the colour up. See what it looks like. Choose your favourite colour. Absolutely magnificent. 351570. That's for the stamp and also for the stencils as well. Two payments of £23.49. Gives you a chance to divide the cost into two. And it's going to be dispatched on the 18th of May. The 18th of May. So... That's only a couple of days away. It's not too, not too, um, not too far away, uh, which is a great deal. It really is. Forty-six pounds and ninety-seven pence. Oh my goodness! You know when you get it home, and like I say, when you stamp it for the first time, whenever you get any stamp out, it's when you first put that layer of ink that it all starts to come to life. So you wait till you get that butterfly home. You see it just explode with detail. In your home now we've got some more stencils for you 
this is your perfusion oh look at this now let me just um pop that on there wow now in this design i can i can start to see things instantly now that the design in itself fabulous uh, but i can see maybe a little township at the top there can you see that some buildings maybe like a skyline like new york or, or another uh, city that little cityscape that's what i see there and then maybe this park could be like an underwater world maybe um, then you've got these lovely designs in the middle i'm thinking maybe that could be like a peacock's tail or something um, again use the whole of the design if you want to or just take elements out from it it's only 9.99 use it as a stencil or use it with your inks on it to print S uh, 407771 is your item number if you want to go for that one the next one oh my goodness this is abundance wow look at this using this with um different inks but also maybe with your embossing powder that would make a rather remarkable impact onto your projects again you could use the center part to that or the center part or even the center part and then you've got all of the lovely designs around the outside 647164 is your item number if you want to go for those and these have been designed by Olga yes absolutely fantastic designs absolutely remarkable we must get Olga in the, has Olga ever come to Hochanda apps no we no, must not yet <laughs> well not yet but we must we must because um superbly talented love love to meet the designer at uh, 9.99 your twirling tendrils my goodness take a look at the detail it's the detail isn't it um on here absolutely remarkable absolutely remarkable maybe use this as well if you're doing any kind of upcycling of furniture you could at uh, 975463 another one for you which i think is going to be popular always the best seller look at that the sunflower such a lovely image it really is and it's almost I don't know if you can see that at home smiling Can you see that smile in the sunflower and the two eyes maybe that's a little nose as well that is beautiful really really is and also proves to be the best seller 999 771552 if you've gone for anything in the show already that's available on Flexibuy now adding and adding any of these will also be divisible by two on your Flexibuy uh, we've got about five minutes left, so we'll head back to Abs for some more demonstrations um, to go to the end of the show. Back to you, Abs. Hi again. Um, so, okay, um, what we're doing here, as I said before, we're going to add some finished touches. I want to show you how um, sometimes either you have projects that are sitting on the side of your desk because you don't know how to finish it off or you don't know what to add to it. And then because sometimes you don't have to add more stamping or more focal points. Everything is in there. You just need some focal, uh, some, sorry, some finished touches. Um, or sometimes your project looks like it's already finished, but it happened to me many times. And then after a few days or a few weeks, come back to say, like, actually, I can still add more things. And they keep playing and adding more layers on the top so that's what I'm going to show you now so I have here a tag and I have here this journal um, page here and um, they both have focal point stamps from today's shows they're also on the counter and um, the lovely flourish and um, with the bird stamp set here we have some circles and all the details so what I'm going to do is to show you how um, versatile that first bundle is and um, the first uh, with stamp set and the matching stencils but also to show you what was my idea when I designed the stencils and the matching stencils and the matching stamps <coughs> okay, so let me first, for example, work on that one, like we did on the tag that we created the first time. For example, this one, I was thinking it just needs a sentiment, it just needs something, a sentiment or a saying, and it's finished. But now I'm looking at it, and actually, I can add a lot of layers on the top without losing any details, without um, making it look very busy, and without... Um, Stayed in the shell from the focal point, if you can say that. Um, okay, so I have here my stencil, and I'm going to add some um, details using the distress crying again. Just with my finger applying that here. So you have that nice, yeah, you see the nice um, depth. So here, for example, for me, I'm sitting in real life, so I can see that um, we have circles, nice contrast, but those are a little bit raised up. They have 3D, and I'm going to do another one in here on the top, cor oops, sorry, on the top corner of my tag. I 
Okay, and now I'm going to do exactly the same stencil. Sorry, first I need to do the matching um, stamp. So I have here the splodge one. Do you remember the number of that stamp set? And add in some, because I think it needs a little bit of black. My tag needs a little bit of black, because always I think the black is one of the best finished touches for any project. Um, so I'm going to do the first one here. So it's around this nice, okay, this way. Yeah, and then add in um, hmm. just small design, there's small ones here. And that big section, maybe I should put it around hmm, here. Yeah, because that's the best place for it. Yeah, perfect. Can you see what I just added here? And then, um, because I like working threes, so a tiny bit, the small splash here on the stamp set, around maybe here. So it's not, and everything is around my focal point. Oh, I had a small line, so I'm going to do, don't worry about it, it's just add another one here, so you will hide it. And now, yeah, everything is around my focal point, so it highlighted more, and I think this stencil is really, really, really cool. And last thing what I need to add is some real dimension now with texture paste again. And where is my palette knife? There you go. And just add in one or two around one here. One there. And then a final one just behind the um, the bird because we didn't add anything this We've got party. just under a minute left, um, abs of the show, just to give you a quick time, to actually 45 seconds. Okay, so, and then what you need now, as I did, after adding all these layers, what you need is just a small sentiment or a small um, title here. And for the other one here, quickly, quickly, I'll be doing it quickly. So to, to a little bit to balance because it's too busy here and a little bit empty the other side, I'm using here the stamp sets. Do um, first print here. Okay, so Perfect. That, to really add um, a nice depth and a Abs, nice. We lift. are running out of time. I don't know where the hour's gone. I could stay here all day. Simply fantastic and so I'll be, inspirational. I'll be posting um, the finished project, the finished pictures on social media. Abs, thank you so much. Always great to see you. And what an inspiration! Check out your baskets. There's never enough time. There just isn't. But Abs will be posting those uh, finished projects on his Facebook. You can follow him on Facebook as well. Uh, we've got Pink Frogs coming up next with Hazel. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. 
So three years ago, we decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows on Achanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. I'll be covering lots of areas of soft crafts like quilting, dressmaking, sewing, knitting, even printing your own fabrics. I'll even be bringing some items from my own Handmade by Haley range. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. Very good morning to you. I told you you were in for a treat today. We've had some great shows so far here on Hochanda. And Hochanda is live all the way through until 9 o'clock every night. Now, if you're viewing on Freeview, if your televisions connect to the internet, if you've got a smart TV connected to your internet, then you should be able to continue watching by pressing the red button. If not, you can watch us on your computers and on your smartphones, your tablets. You can download the app now. We have got Hazel Eaton in the studio with us for our Pink Frog Crafts show. Uh, hello, Hazel. How are you? Morning. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really, really well. Um, here at Hochanda, we're working very hard to make sure that our guests are safe when they come into the studio. And uh, as long as it's safe for them to travel here, then they're coming in. So it's great to see you. It really is. And we've got some great demonstrations coming up in a moment's time. But I'll just let everybody know what we can get first of all, and then we'll have a chat um, Hazel, this is an incredible deal. Now, if you've ever wanted to make or create those elegant style cards for weddings, or maybe an elegant style frame to put a photo in for a wedding or a special occasion, then we have got the die and the card just for you. This is an incredible deal. This is your Elegant Edge, £10.99, pence, saving £7.50. Now, if you head to the Pink, Frogs, uh, Pink Frog Crafts website, you'll see this die for £10.99 on their website. But hang on, look what we've got at the side of the die here for you on Hochanda. We have got 25 300 GSM Super Smooth card and 25 260 gram Wedding ivory card so that's 50 sheets of card 
you're kind of not paying for if you look at it like that. This is an incredible deal. And when you get it home and start to play and make and create and extend that detail out, you can start to make not only fabulous cards, but also frames as well, which really do make a difference when you're making and creating cards. If someone's commissioned you, for example, to make a card, it will make all the difference because you've got that beautiful edge on there. It's only £10.99. Oh my goodness, but a quarter of the stock has already gone. 322033. It's a great deal. I told you it is. That's for the die and the card. Now you do get instructions included when you get this home. So when you open it up, you'll get the die, you'll get the card, but you'll also get instructions as well. So it will tell you how to make and create those fabulous frames. And we've got Hazel here in the studio with us to take us through those demonstrations. Now, essentials to that. When you get them home, you die and the card and you've got the instructions, you'll start to make, you'll start to create and then you'll start to want to stick things down. This, by the very word of our demonstrators here at Hochanda, is some of the best double-sided tape on the market. £12.59 is a Freedom member. That's a great discount for you. And you are getting your 3 mil. You're getting your 6 mil you're getting your 9 mil and you're getting your 12 mil. So you've got 30 meters on each. So that's a lot of red tape <laughs> that you're actually going to enjoy using. Who'd have thought red tape would be so enjoyable? Uh, 12 pounds and 59 pence, 825810 is your item number. 13.99 if you're not a Freedom member. Uh, right, you might want to add that to your basket. And We've got some wedding ivory card for you. Let's take you through this now. Beautiful card. You've got 50 sheets in total. And the size of this is excellent because you can tri-fold this. You can fold it three ways. So you can make a gate folding card if you want to. You can fold it in half if you wish. Lots of different size cards to make with this. Lots of different uh, designs as well with your different dies. 430558, 14 pounds and 99 pence. 50 sheets, it's 15 centimeters by 42 centimeters and it's 200 and 60 GSM, a beautiful design there. Hopefully you're getting that gorgeous ivory, luxurious finish to that. 430558. Now the same size card, but you've got true black. And true black is very, very important, especially when you're adding certain colors. You really want those colors to pop. So this is true black. And this is acid and ligament free, which means you can use this for your journals as well. Uh, scrapbooking, so you can add your photographs. And actually, just the seam that you're seeing there looks really funny because that looks like a continuation of my leg. Or, is, or, is, or is, if I move that to the end, <laughs> you see that shot of me, it actually looks like my leg. See that? <laughs> but, oh, no, it's that leg. There you go. Oh, that's, that looks a bit weird. It does. It looks, and if I do that, it looks like I've got a really long leg. <laughs> Sorry, who'd have thought card would be so funny? Um, it's a great deal though, £14.99. True black. I'm just going to ask Hazel actually, if I may. True black to the core, Hazel? Absolutely. Oh, and yeah. that's important, isn't it? True black to the core, which means the fibres go all the way through. £14.99, £491,887. Next up, if you want to go for the card, there it is, there's your details. And you can pop that into your basket and that's your uh, super smooth uh, card as well and that's what we're going to come back to and see gonna gonna shouldn't be saying that going to come back and see going to uh, 11.99 this is your unscored card which means you get to score this once twice thrice as many times as you like depending on what you're making 75 sheets oh i love that sound at the end 75 sheets see if we can do it again Oh, no. uh, 75 sheets, 300, uh, there you go, 300 GSM, it's 15 by 42 centimetres, absolutely beautiful. And when Pink Frog Crafts say super smooth, they mean super smooth. That, that's gorgeous, great for stamping. Oh, superb, that really is smooth. Oh, lovely, love that. Broke that all day. 
531388. Uh, now, we've got a different size for you. This is in the true black right through to the core. This is 15 by 30 centimetres, 18.99, 280 GSM, you're getting 100 sheets. That is a gen generous, generous, generous deal for, th for 100 sheets. Really, really is. So I guess if you were just to fold that in half, you'd make some really nice cards. Very good. Uh, next up, we've got 15 by 30 in the white. And this is also unscored. And this is 150 sheets. That's a substantial amount, isn't it? Quite heavy. Wow. Imagine postman coming up your driveway. You'll know when he's coming up with your Pink Frog Crafts card. Um, 150 sheets, 300 GSM, only £14.99. It's a great show. And you can wave to him through the window. Um, it's a great show to stock up with cards so you can start to create your projects. Uh, 906395 is your item number. Now we've got to pick a mix on mirror card. Oh my goodness, you ATCDs. My word. Um, the pick and mix, you've got your different designs in there. This is my favourite. Actually, I've got two favourites. This is my first favourite. Look, that is incredible holographic so pick and mix you choose any four if you just want this one you're more than welcome to have just this one uh it's 12 by 12 19 pounds and 99 pence and that's your mother of pearl the next one up is the steel weave I do like that really nice isn't it that's your steel weave as you can see just there let me pop that there so you can see that your steel weave uh next up You've got your holographic spark, and let's just give you an idea. Wow, look at that. Wow. This is fabulous. Great for layering. In fact, just hang there a moment and just get some of that black card. Um, this would be great for just having in the background your matte and layer. Make that black card pop, would it not? Or even white, if you were going for that and you were building up your layers and you're just putting that in the background, that would also add that great frame as well. Uh, next up, you've got your gold, that's limited stock everyone, gold is limited. You've got your red there and your green, very Christmas colours, your green is limited as well. Oh, the gold has just sold out, I'm going to take that away. Um, and let's pop that back, so those are your options. Uh, choose any four, stay. And that's 1999. Uh, right, 052269. Let's have a look on the website. This is where you can pick and mix. How many is there in, in the colourways? Five in each option. So if you can choose any four and there's five in each option, you do the math, you're getting 20 cards. Uh, 1999, which is great value for money, it really is, for holographic mirror holographic card top quality as well so 20 sheets you choose the colors gold has sold out um, and the others are getting busy so head to the website and check out your baskets with that right the die deal that we've got for you um, this really is an incredible deal 10.99 if you head to the pink frog crafts website that's 10.99 with us here at Hochanda, you're getting 25 300 GSM super smooth card and 25 260 GSM wedding ivory. 322033. It's a great deal, but 40% of the stock, 40% of the stock has now gone. Right, I've told you what you can get on the show. It's now down to you guys to pop them into your basket and check on out because we're going to head to Hazel now for a demonstration. And remember, you do get your instructions with how to do your different cards. Hazel. Thank you. So these are the instructions. Now, first of all, when we launched the 15 by 30s, I did you 10 concepts which look a little bit like this. I'm not going to get them all out because you've seen them probably lots and lots of times. But it gives you the freedom to make lots of different cards from the same blank which is what we were all about and it, it's all about no waste which is brilliant so further than that we went on to frames which is if i just bring this one in this is our 30 centimeter frame we had um, a 15 by 30 frame 
and then we also had the 15 by 15 frame on the card blank ne these are all made from the 15 by 30 cardstock without any waste at all and you will get a full instruction sheet double-sided to help you step by step to go through and make all of those so tying everything together that's where I thought the edging dies would work really well because all of the instructions you've got on there to make the 10 designs these edging dies work too so just bring a few samples in for you to see this is the gatefold and I've just done a simple die cut on each side this is using the daisy edge which was on yesterday and we do have it on the show as well today um, but it could be a z fold card this is just your basic half fold so you can see you're getting the idea of how they all work together and that was our idea so what I'll do is I'll just show you how easy it is to cut them and we'll just do it maybe a little bit of inking because on this cardstock um, because it is a really great deal it, it, on the wedding ivory it inks beautifully and you get some really nice effects and I'm also going to show you how to use your die cut as a mask and ink through it which is quite effective as well so to start off with I've got 15 by 30 wedding ivory and I'm going to bring my scoreboard so centimetre side and we will pop down a 15 centimetre that's our half fold and what I want to do is I want to mark a little notch at the top at four centimetres and the same at the bottom now all this is is for me to line my die up I think it makes a big difference doing that because it allows you to get it straight as opposed to on the wonk and <laughs> um, so this is the elegant die and you'll notice You've, you can really clearly see where the cutting point starts and finishes. So they're the line-up parts. So we'll put those onto, just on the marks there, and tape that down nice and tight. And we'll cut that edge. So they'll go through all different cutting machines. It doesn't matter which one you use, there'll be a layer format for you to go through. Um, I'm just going to pop that on there and whiz that through. <laughs> now Hazel, if you, if you don't have a scoreboard to yep. actually mark out, mm -hmm. is there anything else that you could use to help you create these designs? Okay, so if you haven't got a scoreboard, maybe you're a beginner and you're just thinking coming into the craft, just use a ruler and um, one of these ball tools because that's enough to score down or if you own a trimmer you can use the the channel as a as a score guide so you can there's your measurements across the top there and you can score down some of these you can get little scoring tools so that's a good that's idea a, another way of doing it excellent okay so we've got our cut you can see how easy that's all just popped away now I do like to come in with scissors and just snip it's only about one millimeter but it does make a big difference just snipping it so we'll take that to the side that gives you if I fold that in half okay so that's our simple half fold card now using the wedding ivory if I just grab a piece here um, let's cut that down so it was 15 I marked it at 4 which means there's 11 there this is the science this is how my brain works so if I cut this at 10 and a half by 14 and a half that should give me a perfect matte and layer which it does fantastic so on to here then if we just use some distressing so I've just picked three out I've got um, Shaded Lilac, Blueprint Sketch and Seedless Preserves and I'm just going to randomly ink over that background. Now there's two ways, so what I might do is, I'll do you another one afterwards maybe. If you ink the card first and then bring in, this is just a Sparks card, um, which the mirror board, if you cut it out of the mirror board, the ink glides over the top. So um, it lasts quite a long time if I use the this on here now 
an ink over, I'll get a white background. If I ink my background first, let's show you, I've got a couple of samples here. So you can get this kind of effect there. Now, Hazel, can, I've got another question. Yes, Sorry fine. for putting in. Um, you're using the pearlescent card. Yes. So is there, is there any rule of thumb with certain types of ink on pearlescent card as opposed to super smooth card? The only thing I would say is it takes a little bit longer to dry. But if you've got your heat tool, then just heat set it and it will be absolutely fine. Um, I don't get it too wet, but that, <coughs> excuse me, that's not to say you can't flick water at it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks. So we'll proceed and I'm actually going to do it plainer. I'm just going to level that up on the edge. Just tape it down because if I don't, I know what will happen. It will move. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just going to glide over there and you can see it moves across the cardstock really easily. We'll just have a bit of a mix. Now when I take this tape off the side, I know I will have stripes, but I'm going to just ink over. We'll have the... And that takes that away. You can see, I'm just going to put this over so you can see where I'm going with this. When it gets layered on, you're going to be matching up and creating a pattern. So for the other side, we'll do the same sort of thing. Just line it up. And then I'll try and reverse it so it looks a bit interesting. It's nice to use it as a stencil as well as to use it as the main feature of the card, isn't it? Well, yeah, don't forget you can um, emboss it as well. Maybe this piece of cardstock here... Um, the die cut piece, if I run that through my embossing my machine with my easy emboss mat, the results are stunning and oh especially nice. into the mirror board it's um I've done that higher look. <laughs> it's fine, we'll get by. So I'm just gonna ink this side piece. I do need to tell you though, uh we're very busy for the die and sixty percent of the stock has gone. Sixty percent just need to recap on that for you. I don't want it to sell out and you don't get it. So if you have just joined us, this is what we're demonstrating with now. It's a fantastic die, 10.99. You're saving seven pounds and fifty pence. We've got the card extra for you. You're not paying anything for it. It's included. Three double two zero three three. That's your 300 GSM super smooth card and 25 uh, 260 GSM wedding ivory and that's what hazel is demonstrating with now very busy uh do bear with us if you're giving us a call uh you can head to the website of course and you can buy there and you can add any other item to your basket uh thanks for that hazel sorry that's just needed okay. to remind people at home so i'm going to pop this on the top there now normally i probably would have put this over to the side and i could have let's just quickly spray that you can just to show you you can add water to it and we'll just mop that straight back. It just gives some really, really nice effects. And it would be good in your mixed media as well. You can you could tie this in. Now I've popped on the back some 12 mil tape to pop this down. I do find the 12 mil quite handy to have. Well, you can see I go through all <laughs> all of them, especially when you're making your frames, you do need your red liner tape. And am I right? Did I see it's on a freedom price, the red liner tape? Yes, the red liner tape is on a freedom price. It's £12.59. pence. You get four reels of that, 30 metres on each reel. And the details are at the bottom of your screen for that. And you get your different sizes. You get your 3 mil, your 6 mil, you get the 9 mil and the 12 mil, which Hazel has been using there. So that is a great deal. It's going to last you a long time as well. Who would have thought red tape would have been so fantastic to buy? And it is the kind of red tape that you will want to use. Uh, 825810 is your item number. Back to Hazel. OK, so that's finished for you. If I hold that up. And it just gives you a little insight as to how easy it is to create, tying it into your original 10 folds that we've given you. But it's important to us that you get all the education with it. And even the 15 by 42s, you'll get your instruction sheet with that with six. I think there's six different folds on there. But if you look at it, 
all of the 10 designs I do with the 15 by 30s can quite easily move over to the 15 by 42s and you kind of start and move and use them together so for instance on my samples I did yesterday with the lattice edge these are actually on a 15 by 42 and you can see that they work in exactly the same way um, like this one this was one of my demos on the true black acid and lignin free so really really effective um, it just gives you freedom and and that's what we like freedom and no waste and I think you'll really enjoy your cardstock and your dies Oh, thanks, Hazel. Um, it really does make a difference, and we've got lots of cardstock for you on the show, including a pick and mix on the holographic as well. This is a great design. Uh, if you don't fancy getting your fingers all inky, but you like cutting and using paper, here's a great example of what you can do. And as Hazel said, it's all about the education, all the different ways that you can use card, and all the different ways that you can take advantage of that marvellous, beautiful die that will add detail. I mean, that's magnificent you could almost see that as like a key and a lock if you've got a key that would look great on there and then you open up the door to that um, my goodness we are three quarters of the stock gone this is your elegant edge now think beyond card making take a look at that that's remarkable and from a distance when I see that on the monitor oh my word that is so effective that really is so we've taken the die I say we, the royal we, sorry, Hazel has taken the die and made that on repeat. But isn't that fantastic? We're nearly 80, we're at, well, we're nearly 80% of the stock gone. Oh my goodness, that jumped very, very quickly. This is a superb deal. Maybe you're doing a bit of research, I don't know. But if you head to the Pink Frog Crafts website, this is 10.99 on there. And it's 10.99 here, but hang on. You've got all this card stock to go with it so that when you get this home, you've got the instructions, you've got the card, you've got pearlescent, you've got super smooth, you've got 25 of each, and you've got all of that for £10.99. 322033 is a superb deal. And with that education, you can start folding, you can start cutting, you can start reshaping that card to make and create some fantastic projects. Now, we have got some more dies for you on the show that you can head to. And uh, we've got the ones that were on yesterday's show. Uh, this is the Lattice Edge. Um, this is really nice, actually. See all the detail in there. It's absolutely remarkable. Again, we're going to give you some cardstock to get you started. The Pearlescent and the Super Smooth, along with that Trellis die. £14.99. pence. That's a great deal, don't you think? Uh, 25 300 GSM and 25 260 GSM in your pearlescent and your fabulous, well, it's a wedding ivory and your super smooth card. That's a great deal, 14.99, remarkable. Uh, the other die we've got for you is the, the daisy edge. Yes, let me just move that out of the way uh, so you can see that. You can see the daisy um, in the middle got like a daisy edge to it and that also comes with the card 25 300 GSM super smooth and 25 260 wedding ivory that's a magnificent deal it really really is and that is 14 pounds and 99 pence for the whole kit that you're getting there it's a great deal 353 630 is your item number now you might with the price that we've got on everything you might want to go for all three now the elegant edge is now limited stock so the time that i've told you about that we must have jumped up nearly 20 percent of the stock gone oh my goodness right we're nearly limited because we we're on 80 and then we went over there we've come back it's limited um, pop these into your basket and check on out you're getting the card as well it's a superb deal it really is and remember you've got all the different designs all of the education that goes with it as well to start making and creating these wonderful designs look at that that's pretty cool and that is the embossed detail on the center that hazel was talking about do you like that that's very good. Uh, £10.99, pence, you're saving £7.50. pence. Right, we've technically sold out. We'll see if we can get any more. So stand by your beds, hold your horses, and don't drink your milk till you get to the stream. Maybe I made that last one up. 
Uh, right, let's have a look at the website. You can shop by brand. There it is, that pink frog with the crown on. Uh, right, so you can head down the website and you can have a look on the website so you can see all the different items available. And if you are spending £60, then you can pop it into your basket and you can turn it into a flexi order. Uh, Marvellous, what a great deal. And then have a look at the five-star reviews. Plenty five-star reviews for you on the website. Marvellous, marvellous. And if it did sound like I was laughing then, I was chuckling to myself. Because, uh, let me just tell you this, we've got a lovely producer and uh, director. They're in a studio behind a wall, through a corridor, behind another wall. And they're, of course, uh, socially distancing. And we communicate through an earpiece. And sometimes things are said into my ear and... It, it's my brain takes it totally different and I just chuckle to myself sometimes and then it goes through the mechanisms in my brain and then go ah oh, that was the word instead so sorry about that I can't say what I was thinking of uh, and I know you're intrigued at home you're going oh please tell me please tell me it was it was something about a basket um, but it just went into my brain as something else <laughs> Right, uh, seven day savers, can we talk about those? Now we did have a pink frog seven day saver, but it's sold out. So we do have some Le Blanche papers. I'm gonna very nervously show you these. I don't think there's anything that I don't like in these. I think it's just beetles. We'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. Yes, you've got those rather large beetles in there and you've got more beetles. And you've got some moths, which is great. This is gonna be interesting, everyone. Beetles, that's good, and balloons, and these are double-sided as well, everyone, double-sided if you want to use them. Um, not just that, though, not just that, you've got some um, elements as well, some ephemera, you've got some ephemera included in that. You've also got your sheets to cut up more, so that's really good, Ooh. and these work really well in the cavachons that are Le Blanche cells and you've got the 12 by 12 paper my word this is a fantastic deal for 11.99 all of that 11.99 and they'll work remarkably well with all the different papers that we've got from pink Cro uh, pink frog crafts on the show 11.99 that's your seven day savers saving 10 pounds 691768 now you can see the other seven day savers that we've got for you on the show uh, saving up to 70% on some of the deals and you can have a look on the website do check out those MDF rainbows they're lovely with the love hearts and the clouds right have I got some good news to tell everybody not yet I don't know whether we have so what we're gonna do we're gonna still see if we can try we're gonna head back to Hazel for some more demonstrations okay so I want to show you how to make this um, triple flip flap using the edges down the side. Now, when I started to make these, I've made them for quite some time without die cuts. And I thought, hmm, let's see. So it's from 15 by 30. And this, this is the elegant edge one. This one here is the daisy edge. And I've used some of the mother of pearl to layer up with there so that looks really effective and then this one is the lattice edge now because the lattice edge is a bit wider I've gone on to the 15 by 42 because I needed the length and it was when I made this one that I realized and I've split and I've put one on the front and one on the back and I personally think that that works better so that's what I'm going to show you how to make so to start off with then you would need two of your 15 by 30 card blanks and you will need your scoreboard now you can go ahead the piece that I want is 23 centimeters so I could go along here and I could mark 23 at the top and 23 at the bottom which leaves me that gap on the edge to pop my die on like that so that and that would enable me if I've got the elegant edge, the daisy edge, or the lattice edge, it would all fit. Okay, so let's move that out of the way. And if I just show you, I've cut one because I thought I'd try and save some time because there's quite a lot to get through. That's how it cuts on the edge, and you can see you can see the little markings on the side where I lined my die up. Okay. 
So that would be our back piece. So for the front, I can't go ahead and die cut that because I need to kind of gut the middle. So you'll need a trimmer for this or you could use a knife and ruler. But the measurement you need to remember is 23 centimetres because that's where, where we're going to cut up to. So I'll start on here and my frame is going to be two and a half centimetres. So I'm going to put my left edge on two and a half. I'm going to put my tool on two and a half and I'm going to cut down to 21 and a half, 22, 20, no, 20 and a half. I'm adding up in my head here, look. 20 and a half, 21, 22, 20, yes, I'm right, 20 and a half. <laughs> and then I'm gonna slide this through and I'm gonna put the right hand edge on the two and a half that's just past the cut line. And I'm gonna do the same thing from 20 and a half up to two and a half. Then we rotate around and we'll pick up the same two and a half on there. That's going to be two and a half down to twelve and a half. And then on this one, I'm going to turn it round, but I'll need to add on this bit. So the edge will go on nine and a half, and I'll pick it up at twelve and a half up to two and a half. So nice and easy, that gives us our aperture there. So now we can go in and pop our die on, let's turn that around, just line the edge onto the little marks that we did at 23 and stick that down nice and tight in place. And then we're going to pop that through to cut it onto there and through our machine. Now this little bit that popped out, let's just see, no I'll use it on the other one, but you can use this Let's just get this out. Right. So let's just tap those little bits out and snip it away. Just make sure that's crisp. Okay. Let's get rid of those bits. So that gives us, that's our back piece. This will be our front piece and you'll have an edge on each side. Now for the, the gap in the middle, we need to do some little flips. So we need three pieces of card and they need to be eight and a half centimetres by 15. And what you'll do, you'll use your scoreboard on the centimetre side. You'll score at two and a half all the way down. You'll rotate two and a half and rotate two and a half. So you've got like a U shape. Put the open edge now on the side and do two and a half, but stop when you hit the score line. And the same at the bottom. And what we're doing is we're just creating some tabs there to cut away. So using your scissors, I'm pausing because I wanna show you with the trimmer. I need to cut this line, it's, it's better if you use your um, trimmer because you're going to get a better finish. I'm not brilliant with scissors, so I'm just going to cut from two and a half to twelve and a half. And that gives me, so now I can come in here, snip up each side. That takes that piece out. And then on these sides you need to snip up and then take a little V out. And that's just so that it doesn't interfere with your frame. So that gives us one of the tabs and I've got two more here. So the last thing that we need to do is using a piece of the black 15 by 30. I've cut this down to 22 and a half by 14 and a half and I need to cut a frame so I can stick it on the top. So I've reduced it down by half a centimetre and I'm going to reduce my frame down by half a centimetre. So it's a two centimetre. So I'll cut from two down to 20 and a, um, 
that's 22 and a half. When, when you're on black card, it's harder to see. So a little top tip, if you put a little bit of white card in there, you can see the measurements. So it measures 22 and a half. It's two centimeters, that's 20 and a half. We'll do the same on this side. I bet you didn't think you'd be listening to a maths lesson. <laughs> It's fascinating though, Hazley. It's fascinating to watch what you're doing. It really is. And every guest is inspirational here, but you've taught me something today, and I don't know whether I, I really ought to admit it. I just find well, this sort of thing easy. I, I love yeah. construction and, and kind of, it's almost mathematical, but it's just. Yes, if you I look at it. it like that. But I've got one of those trimmers at home, and dare I say, I. You're going to use it more now, aren't you? Well, I didn't realise that you can cut apertures out with it how, yeah how silly am i I've, I've just been using it to cut all the way down so that has just changed everything for me it is a game changer yeah. you're right yeah. okay so for the background i'm going to this little piece of black card that was left what i will do is i'm just going to trim it down and i like to put a layer in the back so that measures ten and a half so we're going to do that at ten i think 10 we're just taking half a centimeter off of each um dimension 10 by 18 make sure it sits in the middle that'll be perfect i think so i'm going to stick this in i'm going to use a little bit of wet glue on here and position now, just to make sure that I've got that in the right place, I'll use this piece to lay it on the top, which it actually was spot on. <laughs> Couldn't do that again if I tried, could I? So now that's in place, that's given us around the edge to see where these pieces are going to fit down. So if you have the open edge on the left, we're going to stick it down to the end, and then these little tabs are going to fold back and we'll use them to stick onto the top. Because I'm using wedding ivory, would I use that glue, would I use that glue? Realistically, I want to use red liner tape, but for speed today, I'm going to use a little bit of tacky and just hope it's, it grabs quick enough for me. So a tiny amount on those two tabs. Stick that nice and flush into the corner. Give that a nice press. Get your second piece, just quickly fold the tabs forward and back that will help you because when it's stuck down you can bend that back make sure it moves freely so these two little tabs if you fold them back now this piece will fit in to there so we'll glue those ones and I'm just going to be really naughty and slide that down that's better so again I'm just using the most minimal bit of glue that I can and then that just fits in just like so and then we'll repeat for the last one again just bend those tabs and this is the main body of it so deep it doesn't matter how you want to decorate it whether you want to mat and layer the mirror board in there whether you want to stamp on it it will look effective and you'll notice that this one finishes dead on the end of that black card so it will all work hopefully <laughs> no it will okay so they're all done and in position fold those back ready now I definitely would use red liner tape on those at home let's attach our little black frame on just a little bit of, um, I've used the red one so that I can manoeuvre it if I need to. Just make sure that you've got it going to the left and you'll notice you've got your perfect little frame around there. And then all we need to do is glue or tape these tabs and then we're going to attach it on the top. So we'll pop a little bit of glue. I might have to hold my main sample up afterwards just in case the glue isn't dry but you'll get the gist that it all works the same. It's easier if you tilt it from this side, layer it on and push flat. Just make sure you've got that flush top and bottom 
and you should be fine. So I'm going to press that down and I know it's not going to be stuck so I am going to bring this one in. Let's just push that to the side. <laughs> there you go and that gives you, you can see the black in the background that I layered on but how effective is that? That's fantastic. And that it, is I, absolutely I love fantastic. it in the in the in the mirror as well. Yeah, it really, really makes it, it really makes a difference, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, that is incredible. You could have little messages on each particular partition as well. You How could wonderful indeed. Is that? And you can do that when you get that home. Thank you, Hazel. That's okay. You can do that. You can make that. And the great thing is, these programs are available for you on our website for sixty days. So when you get your die home, when you get your card, and it is back in stock, everyone, you've already seen that. Um, you can watch those demonstrations again with Hazel. You can pause it. You can watch it again. You can watch it again. You can pause it. You can rewatch. You can watch it again. And that's the beauty of being able to watch those shows and watch the demonstrations when you get the products home. So everyone, you've seen that it's back in stock. You've already started to buy it. It's on extended delivery, which means it's going to be dispatched on the 18th of May, which isn't too far away. What's the date today? 13th. Unlucky for some, but not for you guys, because this is back in stock. Ten ninety nine. Let me tell you what you're getting. First of all, you're getting that fabulous die, so you can use this in all kinds of different ways. Then on top of that, you're getting twenty five super smooth card, three hundred and GSM. You're getting twenty five wedding ivory card, two hundred and sixty GSM. All of that included with the price of your die at 10 99 um, If you do want to get hold of this, I would recommend you popping it into your basket now because we've sold out once already. 322033 is your item number. And you can use it in so many different ways, not just for gate folding cards, but for wonderful designs. This is lovely. Uh, for framing, I mean, that is stunning, don't you think? That really is stunning. Now, you could use this to house a card in, or you could put a picture in the frame in the frame, uh, which is lovely. Uh, you could make gift bags that match the card, that match the frame. And you can also, let me just pick this one up here. You could also just cut it in half, and then you can use it as a corner. So not just across the top, Cut it in half and use it as a corner decorative to your cards. 322033, but nearly a third of the extended delivery stock has gone. If you want it, pop it in your basket and check on out. We've also got some other dies for you as well. Let's take you through those. We've got the Lattice Edge. Uh, we saw a sample, actually, uh, with Hazel. Gorgeous. Lots of detail in there. $14.99 for the die, but you're also getting included, <coughs> excuse me, with that, is your wedding ivory and your super smooth card. It means that when you get that home, you can start making and creating instantly. 1499215237. We've also got the Daisy Edge for you. And we're very busy for the Daisy Edge. There you go. You're also getting the card included as well. That's the wedding ivory and the super smooth. 1499. Great deal. Absolutely great deal. Now, to make and create when you've die cut and you've got your card home, how about some red liner tape? Most, if not all, of our demonstrators here in the studio swear, but, well, they don't swear. That would be rude. They don't swear. All of, all, all of our guests swear. They don't. Just to clarify that, they don't. Uh, they swear by it, not at it, um, because it is so good, so good. £12.59, 825810 is your item number. 70% has gone though, 70% of the stock has gone. 3 mil, 6 mil, 9 mil and 12 mil. And there's 30 metres on each one. Almost a relay race, love that. Right, we have got some cardstock for you. We've got the Wedding Ivory. This is gorgeous. This is in the uh, 15 by 42. It's 260 GSM. It's smooth as well. It's beautiful. But see that shimmer on that Wedding Ivory. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and the size of that is great because if you did want to fold that three ways, you can to make a trifold card or an easel style card. Um, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, lovely, lovely. £14.99. 
430558 and you know with Pink Frog Crafts it's excellent value for money and top quality card. We've also got the same size in black. This is black through to its very core. Uh, and that means the fibres that make up this true black card are also black as well. Um, it's great if you die cutting. It means you don't have to go over the edges and make them darker. It means it's going to be black all the way through. Fourteen ninety nine, and it's acid and lignin free, which means you can use this for your scrapbooking and your journaling. Right next up, same size, and this is in that super smooth, super smooth. As smooth as a, I don't know, why don't you tell me? As smooth as a, what is smooth? Email in studio at hochanda.com, leave it on Facebook. I'd like to know what your terminology is. As smooth as a, 1199-531-355 is your item number. And that is top quality and value for money. Next up, you've got your 15 by 30 in size in the true black. 50805, and you know as crafters at home, some of your inks and your paints, uh, especially your interference uh, acrylic paints, fabulous on that, but it needs to be true black to get the true colour factors. That's what you got there. 1899, 15 by 30 centimetres, and the same, but you're getting 150 in the white. You're getting 150, they're 300 GSM, 1499. 906395 is your item number. Great show to stock up. We are busy, busy, busy on all of the items that we've got available for you on the show. Uh, we've got all oh, this, my belt sticking out, sorry. Uh, we've, got, we've got about seven minutes left on the show. So we're going to head back to Hazel. Can we see something else, Hazel? Of course you can. Lovely. Okay, so I want to show you how you can use the dies to cut in and do like a little aperture. You could leave that open if you wanted to. I've backed it onto a card. This time I'm going to use a 15 by 42 card blank. And I've used in some of the... I've got steel weave here. I'm not sure if it's available. I think it's still available. Is it? Is it? Yes, yes, it is. Good, because it's, it's one this of one. my favourites, I Yeah, have I like to say. this one. So I've cut a piece here. Um just so that you know it's 14 by 19 and I'm just going to score down at two centimetres a little frame like what we've just done on the trimmer but I just want to mark the frame to start with so just go around all four edges and that gives us that and then what we will do is because we're using the elegant edge this time there we go I'm going to line that die up point to point. I'm going to have to shine it backwards so that I can see where my line is. There we go. Stick that down in place and then we'll feed that through. Now what I did on my other card was cut a little frame to go on the top because I quite like doing that. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> um, but we need a little black frame. So all I've done here is just reduce the the measurements by half a centimetre and done a one and a half centimetre frame across there. So I've cut that ready and we can stick that on. Look how easy that pops out. Every single piece is out. It's beautiful. That could be with your wedding, your, your wedding invites, like a little slip pocket. It's not until you get your dies home and you start playing, all the ideas start flooding out. I just love the way that they all marry up to the cardstock sizes that we're giving you because we're kind, well, I'm hoping that we're making your job easier and limiting the piles of cardstock that you need to have because if you've got the two sizes, you can pretty much make about anything. Obviously, coupled up with your um, A4 and your 12 by 12. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, your insp inspiration will just start pouring out, like you say. I love the idea of the pockets. Mm. And in this mirror card that you're using as well, which is available on a pick and mix, everyone, um, it's really effective, isn't it, Hazel? It, it really it is. It looks stunning, that one. OK, that's the noisy bit done. So if we take this one away, you'll see... I mean, again, that could be a wrap or anything, and I could leave that in and poke a piece of card through, but I'm going to cut down those two edges, and for that, I'm going to bring in my trimmer. 
Now I know that it was a two centimetre frame, so I'm going to put my edge on two. I'm going to start it at about two and go down to 12 and a half. Did I go enough? Let's have a look. I'm just going to have to tease that little bit out. That's perfect. But you can see what we're going to create there. So again, two centimetres up there. Did I meet it this time? Just about. There we go. So I pop that to one side. And then I'm going to attach this black frame over the top. And you'll notice you get that really nice even border. Now, when you're using mirror board, when you're sticking onto, if you use a tacky glue and you wiggle the card around, it will pop off in the end. And um, if you use your collal and it bleeds out it will strip it so the best thing to use is your red liner tape so I'm gonna line this up with I th I'm gonna use nine mil am I that's nine mil thank you <laughs> and I'm just gonna lay this up now I'm putting myself under pressure because obviously using red liner <laughs> tape to stick my frame in place I've got to get it right first time don't put yourself that's under pressure that's providing I yes. can find the end um, so. I was just looking at the piece you've cut out there it actually looks like um, a candlestick or you could turn it into a quirky bat maybe the central part of the die cut that you just cut out there do you um, know you could and yeah. with this elegant edge like you say if you snip into it you can be making there's a cross you can do like a shorter um piece i think you've got the bits over there there's i've cut it in half to make four corners oh, and yeah. that looks amazing it would make too a cross. it would make a cross right so let's take the backing off If I'd have used my cool catch tool, this would not be sticking to my fingers. <laughs> so positioning down and then just hover. I'm going to put my fingers in and just pray. Do you see I go quiet when I'm concentrating? <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that. I must say you've got lovely hands, Hazel. Have I? Yes. <laughs> No, nice and smooth <laughs> there we go so that's on there and I've cut myself I did have to cut this down to match the sizes that I chose I, let's see how much Ooh, I cut I, off Hazel we've got about 45 seconds left I'm wow. so engrossed at what you're doing I'm not wow. even checking the time um, that is a fantastic demonstration, thank that really you. is. That would just stick on there. I yeah, imagine. and Hazel, thank you so much for the show today. You've been truly inspiring, and uh, your hands are lovely and smooth. You know what it's like with us all having to wash our hands so much? <laughs> That's all I meant by that. Yeah. Shana Floor Manager was like... <laughs> <laughs> Strange. Hazel, thank you so much. <laughs> I hope to see you me. again soon. Yes. Stay safe. And remember, you can watch those shows again on Rewind, so you can follow those great demonstrations from Hazel. Do check out your baskets. Make sure you get what you want and in time that we don't sell out. So £10.99, including your card, 322033. Pop it in your baskets, check out. We'll see you in a few moments' time. Thank you. Now, I was just looking for Catherine because she's coming up next with Leonie. Then I've just realised they're in the other studio because guess what? We're letting Leonie loose next. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. 
My wife Jackie and I have been running Ads from Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We are both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie is particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Ads from Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Adson Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Adson Sparkle shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dyes and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pete from Artisan Design. We're a family-run company uh, from the Midlands um, and we have been going for around about a year now. We design handcrafted stamps, stencils and designer papers. Personally, uh, I love crafts and I've loved crafts from uh, childhood, right from when I first won an art competition when I was five years old. I love to inspire and what, what my aim is, is to get the crafters um, to see their own potential. I like them to be uh, in charge of their own creativity. What I hope is that our images um, provide the kickstart to your mojo and help you create your own works of art. Tune into our channel, be part of the artisan design world and come and join me on this creative path. Well, hello, a very good morning to you. Yes, it's 11 o'clock. That means it's Let Leonie Loose, the first of two hours today, of course. Now, how is everybody? I hope you're all well. Do stay with us. We've got a brand new supplier that's going to be featured during the two hours with Let Leonie Loose today. It's Ciao Bella. Didn't say that in a very Italian accent, but <laughs> I'm not very good at the Italian accent. But never mind, these products are absolutely gorgeous. Now, Leonie's going to talk us through everything. She's going to go down the counter in a little while, but a brand new company here. Here at Chanda, so this is the first outing, so to speak, for these fabulous products. And I've got to say, we've got some amazing samples to show you as well. I do believe Leon is ready to come in, so I'm going to hand over the reins and let Leonie tell you all about the company and the products we've got today. Come on in, Leonie. Now, how are you going to say? Have you got room? <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. I might have to go <laughs> under the table. <laughs> Shall I go? Can you do it? I'm <laughs> Poor Catherine. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Catherine, they're out to crawl. Oh, Catherine, thank you. Um, oh, yeah, we... 
We didn't do it easy. We did it the hard way to make Catherine suffer. Um, you see, you're good. You crawled out. I just walked in front of camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a brand new company. So pleased to have these on uh, my Let Loose show. The beautiful. Um, me and Sam saw the Chawa Pella at um, when we went to Frankfurt, and the store was gorgeous. Really big stand with all these colours, with all these different styles. Um, they're an Italian company, of course. I'll tell you about them while I flick through the first collection for you. Um, beautiful 12 by 12 papers. Just have a look at these designs. So um, it's basically who owns Chawa Pella? It's a group of friends essentially. Um, so there's four ladies who who work the um, the sea and the designers um, and they're all uh, friends, all ladies and all friends. Um, they've got a beautiful collection. Now, what they love doing is working with them. What makes them special is because they work with um, a wonderful selection of Italian designers. Those designers bring an absolute passion um, to the work and they are really proud that the customers say that, um, you know, they get a really positive feeling from this and that's what they want to, to do. They say, and I love it, they say their company and their collections, um, they have soul. They want to bring soul to the collections. And I just think that is beautiful. I mean, isn't the collection beautiful? This one is gorgeous. I love the blues, the yellows, um, that sort of tile work. You know, it's absolutely adorable. That zesty lemon punch that's coming through there. And of course, that beautiful, beautiful blue absolutely exquisite um, very good quality paper. I mean, it's 190 GSM. It, it feels really good. I mean, the design is stunning. All double-sided. So you've got a your double-sided 12 by 12. So let me pop that the first way, first of all. Um, so you have got 80 double-sided 12 by 12s, first of all. So that's your first set in this collection. You've then got in this collection your A4s. Now, again, you've got loads in here. And what I love about this, they They've been designed for scrapbooking, so acid and lignum free, but you can use these for card making. You can absolutely, because of the weight of the paper, you can absolutely use them for upcycling. Now, you're getting nine beautiful papers here, and this is all, I mean, this is all about Sicily of course and you've got those wonderful wonderful images I love this if you're using this for your um, your beautiful scrapbooks I mean all your gorgeous tags for card making this is absolutely perfect again double-sided and the imagery is just beautiful absolutely beautiful again 190 GSM it, it feels really nice and weighty gorgeous to cut out of course look at that Fabulous, isn't it? Really, really beautiful, bright images. Doesn't it remind you of going abroad? You know, when you get that that lightness, when you get, I know, when you can't really remember just currently, but you know, that beautiful feeling, the sunshine. And I think that is really brought through on this collection, um, especially because you've got all that, that that tone, all those beautiful tones running through here. Um, and I do love the, the way they've been designed. Obviously, um, they've got illustrators, the wonderful Italian illustrators that work with their own um, very talented graphic designers to bring you these incredible, incredible collections. So that's your 12 by 12 and your A4, but then you're getting your rice paper. Now, you've got five of the same rice paper, um, and this is gorgeous. So imagine upcycling. I mean, we've got Catherine in the building, the queen of upcycling. Um, and I mean, this, it's going to look beautiful. Maybe it's going to be a tray that you're upcycling. Maybe it's going to be a gorgeous kitchen cupboard that you're upcycling. You know, you wouldn't need many images. Just a beautiful sort of washed wiped uh, paint and then that on there. You know, you could do a shabby sheet wash white and one of those images would look absolutely stunning. Now, let me show you some of the things. Now, um, Chawa Bella have sent, Chawa Bella, I say it properly, not Chawa. Chawa Bella have sent some gorgeous finished samples. Now, this is lovely because look, it's a wonderful stand. So you could put your cookery book on there. Isn't that beautiful in your kitchen? I just think that is absolutely exquisite. Um, and this one, we've got a name on the back. That is from Michelle McCarthy. So thank you very much, Michelle. Um, and then look at this. Now, there isn't a name on this one, but this is beautiful. This has been sent from Chawa... 
Ciao, Bella. Stop putting an A on it, Leona. Isn't that sensational? And look at it. You've got all the beautiful... Um, I do believe... What is that, then? Oh, so you've got... It's a, a lovely recipe book. And I just think, what a brilliant idea. Because look, look. How cool is that? So you've got the little ta um, the little pocket and loads of different ideas and inspiration. See, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? And again, more pockets. Imagine giving that as a gift. Imagine completing that. And you know what? With the beautiful papers, everything you've got, you could absolutely do that. That is beautiful. You've definitely got enough papers because the way you use the papers, you'll use every single element. Now, what have I been doing? I've been upcycling. So I've taken um, a, a lovely little old box. I've spray painted it, actually, rather than gessoed it, because that were quick, and just covered it with the papers. Um, using the papers, obviously, they're a heavyweight paper, so you're going to be able to do your 3D effects with them. You're going to be able to take them and mix and match them with other gorgeous elements that you've already got at home. I also did this little box, and this was a, an, um, an idea I saw on um, Instagram, and I do believe it was um, one of the designers from Stamperia and she took a box but she actually so it's just a regular box like that but the, she put a lip on the actual lid so it meant you could do so it doesn't look like a box does it you know because it's that as so there's so much in there but then you can open that as well but it just gives you even more layers to decorate and the papers Aren't them papers fabulous? This is all the papers, all the tags. I just adore that. I think that, and because it doesn't look like a box, I think you could keep secret goodies in there because nobody would know, like chocolate that you're hiding from your mate who borrows chocolate a lot. Um, now, if you, do, <laughs> if you do want to get this, it's beautiful. Your 12 by 12, your A4, and then your gorgeous rice paper for £26.93. I am so pleased you're loving this. Already, how much was that, Ross? 15% of the stock has gone. I am so pleased because it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, you can buy things individually. Um, we've got the rice papers as well. Are we showing the rice papers next? Um, because obviously you've got all those different elements. You can buy them individual. So if you don't want to go for the big collection, you've got that choice. Or, or if you want to add extra in, you've got that choice. Now, the rice papers. Um, these are lovely quality rice papers. Italian, of course. Now, you've got three choices. So you've got the one that does come with the big collection, and that is absolutely adorable. You're getting five sheets of each of these. Stunning. So that is just... So our, our Catherine run about getting some terracotta pots. I can imagine that, Catherine, round a terracotta pot. I mean, there's so much you can do with these. For recycling and upcycling, these are amazing. Have a look at that. You're getting five sheets of this. Stunning. That's your driftwood. We can say that one. Um, that is beautiful. The rest we're having problems with the, the pronunciation. Isn't that gorgeous? The colour. See, it's just... Look how well those colours sit. Stunning. And again, it just... Oh, it makes you want to go away, doesn't it? Soon, folks, soon. Um, you've then got... Now, what's this one called? Excuse my pronunciation. So, Aurelica de my, my, uh, Malaca? <laughs> yeah, don't really know. I'm rubbish. It's that at the bottom. But isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Again, upcycling. I mean, you might have got a gorgeous glass plate. You know the glass plates? And put that behind the glass plate. And you might be getting just MDF and upcycling on these. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And there's so many elements. You're getting five of those. So, again, they are going to go such a long way. Now, £9.95 per set. Obviously, we've got a lot of really nice stuff on the show. If you're spending over six pounds, you open up um, a flexi. Just saying, just in case you're thinking, oh, I kind of want everything. It all mixes and matches. Your rice paper, you've got those choices. That is five six seven four zero nine. Okay, my favourite favourite. Oh my gosh, when we saw them at Frankfurt, this was the one. I was like, I need that. I just need it in my life. Anybody who, um, of course, Elodia nor Nigel May, as soon as I saw this, it was like, oh my word, Nigel. It just reminded me of Mr May, the colours, the colours. I'll show you properly in a minute. Um, I need to show you before I do anything. This has been sent to us. Um, look at that. Michelle's made that. 
Michelle, that is so cool. Isn't that phenomenal? So what Michelle's done, she's taken this wonderful stand and absolutely decorated it. So she's decorated that. She's made a lovely little box as well. I love this. That paper is just phenomenal. Isn't that seriously cool? Look, look. And she's made the most out of the paper because look at that. Wow. Isn't that just amazing? Oh, I love these papers. Aren't they fabulous? Just seriously, seriously cool. Um, so you've got all those amazing papers. Um, they, again, you can do so much with these because they're heavyweight papers. It's tremendous quality. Right, let me show you these. Are you ready? This is well good. You might want to think about getting a couple of these. If you can, I know it's a, a spend, but we have got them independently as well. Now, because I say that only because, not because I'm trying to make you spend all your money, um, it's because you're only getting one of each sheet and it's really tricky. Look at them. They're all well cool. Um, now, you are getting um, 12 of these and look, oh, isn't that seriously fabulous? Oh, hold on a minute. Same when you get eight of the 12 by 12s. One each of 12 double-sided papers, it says here. Hmm. One each of 12 of the double-sided papers. Maybe we need to check that other one as well, make sure we got that right. Have a look at these. Every single one is fabulous. Is someone counting? Because I'm not. So that's one, two, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and then the cover, which is 12. Yep, yep, look at it. Ace, in it. So you've got an, a, a pinball. Love pinballs. Absolutely love pinballs. I love this one. Because obviously with this one, you've got your your uh, V-dub, you've got your camper. I used to have a camper. Um, just such, I mean, for me, this is Glastonbury. It's obviously... You know, I was born 71, so it's obviously you remember Gran and Grandad's curtains. You know, you remember some of the fantastic, fantastic music that were going around. I mean, because I love festivals, festival right there. My mum couldn't go to Isla White Festival uh, because of me. <laughs> she hasn't held it against me, but the Isla White were where I think it was Jimi Hendrix. Um, yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was Jimi Hendrix and everything were Isla White. 71 Isla White, and mum couldn't go because I were in her belly. Oh! Oh, God, she should have taken me, I think, in the belly, and then I could have said I were there. <laughs> and then that would have been my, my coolest claim to fame. I love that. How cool is that? So, so fabulous. And the papers, this is so my favourite. I'm spending time showing you this because, because I love it. Look at that. It's well good, isn't it? See, I would happily wear that as a skirt. I just think it's beautiful, beautiful. You've got your lava lamps, your Rubik's Cube, um, your Revolution, so you've got that. That is so Orla, Orla Kayla, if I say her name right, but she's amazing. And that, I mean, your roller skates. I would rubbish on roller skates, couldn't do it at all. But that's your roller disco, staying alive. Um, just fantastic. And then look at that with all those beautiful embellishments. Aren't they cool? See, it's brilliant, isn't it? Because if you found a telly like that, now it would cost you a fortune, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, it'd be like, oh, that's well cool. Um, so you've got your 12 by 12. You've got more, though. So that's your 12 by 12. You've also got your beautiful A4s. Now, again, you're scrapbooking. You're, um, you're using these for your card making. I do believe with this one, you've got nine in this one. Um, and again, look at all the elements. Every single one is double-sided. You've got so much going on. Obviously, all the imagery, um, it mixes and matches. But in this one, you've got some cool sentiments. So you've got, um, let your smile change the world not the world changes smile see all the hippies um, this one I just can't um, I just want to feel as much as I can it is what soul is all about and Janice Joplin said that I know that because I've read it on here um, <laughs> There you go, and Janice Joplin were cool. See, isn't it just quite fabulous? Give peace a chance. Um, I'll let you be in my dreams if I can be in yours. Funky. See, it's just 
so seriously cool. You've got all the beautiful rainbows. You've got the um, CND peace signs up there. Um, give peace a chance. Just so, so fabulous. Bloom, baby, bloom. Um, and some fantastic little fashion bits. And it's lovely, actually, because Chawa Bella, um, they say, um, ciao. Bella, stop it. Um, they do say part of the, their ideas and their inspiration. It's, you know, it is fashion. It's architecture. It's, it's just um, living, quite frankly. And I just think that's lovely because that is exactly what they've got here. Now, this is a massive pack of paper. So, again, for your, um, for your card making, this is beautiful. And this one, you're getting multiples, which is fantastic. So you've got your six by six. Now you've got two of each design here. And these are, you've got 24 different designs. See, now I love this because with this one, you know that you are going to be able to really cut into these. Love this. I mean, it's just seriously fabulous. And again, I am showing you both sides of the paper. So you're getting all these wonderful designs. Um, I like this because you've got those backgrounds. And because you're getting so much in this one, you don't mind cutting this one up. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. All the tips. All the cassettes. You don't mind cutting that up. And these, look at all of those. They're so cool, so funky. You've got your roller skates again, but again, that background paper. And that background paper, email in, does it remind you? What does it remind you of? Does it remind you of um, the stuff that... And now, my kitchen, I've actually got um, a beautiful... It's an old Denby set, and that, it really reminds me of that. So it's all made me plates and my sauces are all old Denby. It's ace. Um, but does it remind you of your curtains? Does it remind you of, like, the stuff that you were wearing? Um, does it remind you of magazines and records and, you know, the programmes? I'd love to hear from you. What does this remind you of? Because, really, for me, there's so much of this that it really takes me back and I adore it. It's being a kid, obviously. Right. That one was from lovely Michelle. I've just made a really quick card. I mean... It is so simple for making really quick and easy cards. Just literally folding that in half. You've got a cool card. Using the stencils. We have got these stencils in here as well. And then we've also got this beautiful book. Um, so I've just decorated the front, which I love. I love that. Isn't she seriously cool? And that, that book that we have got, hopefully we'll be able to show you the details. It's lovely because you've got all your pockets so you can put your beautiful pages in here. You can put your, your little uh, photographs and then all your little journaling um, thingies as well. Uh, but we have got that book on the show for you and um, we will give you details of that. Okay. <gasps> You get the rice papers. I nearly forgot the rice papers. Um, and look at the rice papers. Now, again, you're getting five of this design. We have got other designs, which we're showing you in a minute. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? What are you going to do with that? Just stroke it. No, don't do that. Cut it up. Use it. I adore that. I mean, you could you could literally cover loads of fantastic... I don't know. Again, it might be pots for the garden. How good would that be in the garden with loads of flowers? There are, of course, in the house, loads of beautiful pots. Uh, it could be anything, but it's gorgeous. OK, it's a wonderful collection. If you want this one for 34 92 you are getting a lot for your money. You've got a lot of beautiful design work here. You've got those rice papers. And obviously, you can do so many really seriously cool projects with this. 223143 is your item number. Oh gosh, over half of the stock has gone. Oh, I'm so pleased you're loving it as much as me. I want your emails. And if you've got photographs of like, maybe you had a fantastic pair of fleurs that are in that material. Or my mum, she used to have, um, <laughs> and I remember when I was growing up, I used to think, oh, that's so not cool. And now it's like, oh, I wish you kept it. She used to have a carpet coat. I think she got married in it, in like a, a massive carpet coat, she said. Right, a carpet coat or a rug coat. Someone will know what I mean. So at night, where she said it looked like a rug, essentially. Got married in it. Fabulous. Then, like, my dad used to have really long hair and, like, big bell bottoms. So cool. Anyway, uh, um, I want some photographs, please. Um, studio at sachando.com. Now, rice paper. So we've got the rice paper in this kit, which you can get if you want. You can get that as an individual item. However, I'll give you the name. So this one is Give Peace a Chance. 
Let's give peace a chance. I've got another story about that. Um, when it was, it was my sister's birthday and we were having a um, fancy dress and my stepdad, he was meant to be uh, John Lennon and he got a T-shirt printer, give peace a chance, but did it wrong, give Pete a chance. <laughs> I love that, give Pete a chance. I just love the randomness of it. Anyway, it didn't work. I, I did he wear it? Anyway, that's by and by, isn't it? Uh, so, you've got this one. Now, this one is... 70s cards. So you've got all those wonderful designs. Again, what you're going to upcycle, you can use these for so many things. You are getting five of that design as well. So, of course, it's going to go a long way. And then look at this. You need this. Especially if you're going for your main one. So, it, realistically, if you're going for your main kit and you've got those rice papers, I would definitely recommend this one. If you can only choose one more rice paper, that one, because that's your backgrounds. It's, you know, this one you can cut out your different imagery and motifs, but this one is your background, especially getting five of those. You've got good coverage there. Now then, um, 784577, that one is called Love, Peace and Joy. Um, absolutely. £9 and £95, but you have got your choice. Now, Modge Podge. I've been using the smaller tubs of Mod Podge. Do you know what? It's really nice to use Mod Podge. I haven't used Mod Podge for ages. This is good quality. It's a good adhesive. Now, I have been using this for today for all my paper crafting. So I've used it for um, sticking that down. Now, I use the matte for sticking it down, but then I use the glossy one. And can you see it's got a slight glaze on it? You could build that glaze up if you wanted to. I would put another coat. But look, I've used the matte one for sticking all of these down onto cardstock. Perfect. Absolute perfect. It's not wrinkled. You haven't got any splodges. Brilliant. I've then obviously 3D'd some elements but it's really good stuff. It's going to work for your rice papers. It's going to work for your paper crafting. Um, you'll use it as your glue. You'll use it as a varnish. And of course, um, it's going to seal it over the top as well. Really recommend that one. Now, now uh, these are the bigger ones. Is that the price? The reach. I thought it were for both of them. Then I thought, no, that can't be right. Right, yeah, nine ninety nine each. That absolutely makes sense. So you've either got your glossy, that will work the same, but it gives you that really nice glossy finish, or the matte. I love the fact you can get the matte because that is a proper matte. You can't see any glue on that. It's really, really good stuff. Um, if you do want your Mod Podge, you know, we have got the smaller tubs, but if you want the bigger tubs, it's 908872. If you do want the smaller ones, the 8 times, which I've got over there and I'll be using, they're 1299 for the two. So at least you've got that option, 116200. Right, check the website. We've got tons of stuff. We have got another collection, which I am going to be showing you this afternoon. So please have a look at that. It's beautiful and again it's completely different i think that's what i love about uh ciao bella is the the i did it i said it right is the variation is the the phenomenal um collections and and just the amount of sensational um art that they're sharing with us remember these have been designed um they've got the 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 wonderful graphic designer in house and then of course they use italian designers which i just I think that's quite cool, isn't it, folks? We've got some amazing um, Italian work coming through for us, which is very exciting, quite frankly. Um, if you would like any of this, you need to check your baskets out. Now, oh, do I do the paper one? Yeah, I'm going to do the paper one, and then I'll do the other ones later, because I spent ages getting this ready last night. Um, if you do want any of the other goodies, please check the website out at chanda.com. If you want to email us, uh, with your fantastic 70s inspired photographs or maybe your holiday photographs we can remember holidays um, you can email us studio at chanda.com we always love hearing off you however you want to contact us right i start i prepped this last night so i'm gonna do it because it took me ages cutting everything out so i'm gonna do it so now i'm um, 
I'm going to use the Mod Podge. I don't know if I haven't used it on the wood, but Mod Podge is one of them that it seems to work for so many different surfaces. I mean, you do get Mod Podge for everything. You know, you can pick up Mod Podge for for all sorts of different surfaces, for fabric, for um, glass. I mean, they've literally got a Mod Podge for every every job that you need. What I'm using is that first collection. It's that beautiful. Um, Sicily paper and I mean it is stunning it's just stunning so I've already cut my background out so I'm going to use I don't want to use a gloss Mod, Mod Podge for this I'm just going to use the the matte Mod Podge and just taking that first of all now these are the smaller tubs but I mean these are in their own right are going to last you ages but if you are if I always keep that that top and then regret it if you are doing a lot of um a lot of work then the big ones are really cost effective but obviously these will last so i'm going to pop my mod podge on first of all so i'm not don't use too much you definitely don't you need too much glue just enough to cover it and the nice thing we're doing this is you know you're getting a complete coverage so you've got the corners covered you know you're not you know you're not going to um you're not going to get everything coming back off again the lovely thing we're working with this as well you've got a little bit of play time so it's going to allow you to move that paper around um so it's got that um that perfection when you actually get it on in place obviously just rub it over just to make sure that glue is going to stick you can do that with a soft cloth soft cloth i'm using my hand and then let's start building so the way i've designed this i've got my my frame so that's going to be my frame which i actually spray painted on my pin to blush show so it's mixing a bit of everything which is quite fabulous i'm going to take my clips out because they're doing me i didn't i do apologize um okay so i wonder do you want me to move a bit over this way am i all right okay so we've got that fantastic that's where i'm aiming and then what i've already done is cut out some of these so i've got my little side panels now the beautiful thing with this paper you've got wonderful paper on the back as well so it's up to you what you use you know and when on these two let me have a little look that's the ones so this one i'm going here now i am using my Mod Podge again for this so i'll be able to let you know how it sticks by end it show and if you can use it on but it has got a bit of a key because i've already spray painted this you know it has got a, a bit of a bit of paint on there so it's not a slippy surface there we go now i'm actually i'm thinking do i put that over or under the lovely thing is you've got your glue your mod podge so it means i can lift it if i change my mind which as you well know watching me i do that often so i'm going to change my mind so i'm going to pop that just under there so i haven't pressed it down yet no have i put the glue on the wrong side no i haven't i thought i glued the wrong side then have I glued the wrong? No, I put the glue on the right side. I'm being stupid. Just ignore me. Okay. Oh, we've loads of seventies memories coming in. <laughs> yeah. Who said that? Jane says it reminds her of her first house. She got married in seventy six. Fabulous. Yeah, every hairdresser's wallpaper. Absolutely. Isn't it cool though? It is just so cool. <laughs> I love it because those prints, you know, at the time, well, when I were a kid, it's like, oh, they're awful. But now when you look back, it's it's just, they were so bold and different and cool. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah. and it makes, sometimes it makes some of the stuff where you've got look quite dull there. Just popping the layer over the top. Now, this is where you can obviously put the gloss if you want that glossy finish. Now, I really like this because the papers, the way these papers have been designed, you, because you've got that tile in there, the tile works. For going around that frame, it absolutely works. And, of course, you've got your beautiful rice papers for upcycling, but your scrapbooking papers will absolutely absolutely work for upcycling as well and i love that in the frame i just think that looks so beautiful and then again just going over the top with my mod podge my mod podge will seal it but it'll also help to make sure that's stuck down beautifully 
So just going over that. And again, not a thick coating, so you're not using a ton of glue. So even if you feel like you're using a lot because you're going over the top, um, you're only putting a fine coat on there. So you're actually, you're not using much at all. There we go, it's water-based as well. So it means you can clean all your brushes in your water. Okay, happy with that. See, already, I think that looks fabulous. You know, I think it looks beautiful and bright, gorgeous. So. I'm keeping this sort of sat there because this will help me plan what I'm going to do. I've already cut out, out of one of the papers, I've already cut out the beautiful lemons. I adore that. I just think, again, it's bright, it's fresh, it's happy. It's such a happy collection, is this. I've cut out one of those gorgeous clocks just because that is beautiful absolutely beautiful but i didn't want the full thing and this is a lovely thing i mean you can really play around with your composition and that in itself i did think that would look amazing if you actually get some uh, clock you know the proper clock fittings stunning but we're not doing that today what i wanted to do was cut this down so where's number one there's number one so i want it to sort of fall off my page so it's just playing around with that composition i love that i think that is gorgeous and that is of course going there like so and then i've got the sentiment and this one is on this gorgeous collection where hope um hold on where flowers bloom so does hope make sure you get that the right way around i did that with a lot of the sentiments i was cutting them up and then i put them in the wrong way around it won't make any sense so the thing is with this you've got your glass now what i'm going to do i'm going to cut that down so i know where i want the positioning of that so i'm just going to trim the edge off i've already gone round with um with my distress so i've already inked it up you'll be glad to know so i won't waste any time inking and then just pop a little bit of glue on here like so so we're popping the mod podge on here so that's gonna sit on the top just there now you've got a, dis a decision to make because this is a frame because you've got your glass panel one of the nice things about using a frame is actually dividing the glass um the paper with the glass panel so you could then put the the glass and then build up on top of the glass and i really like that because that gives you a different sort of um I don't know, it already raises the image, it already gives you a different look. So if I wanted to do that, have a think, do you want to put your sentiment under or do you want to put the sentiment over? Um, what I'm actually going to do is play around with this. So I want that, that's going to be there but it's going to be sat on top of the glass. Now that, where you've got bumps, that's actually the where these have been stuck in. It's slightly annoying but I'll get over it. I'll I'm just going to pretend they're not there. I mean, if you were doing this and you were thinking about it, you could absolutely cover those over or put another um, another little layer in so they're not going to be effective. So just popping this one here. So that's going to go there. Now, again, make sure, Leona, not to self, so make sure before you put this in, because obviously your frame also has that ridge around it so you're not getting the full you know the full um capacity there so make sure before you go and glue this down and that is absolutely a note to myself because i was about to do it wasn't i so put where and again i'm sticking this down with my mod podge where flowers bloom uh, the mod podge is busy so if you do want it and it's the big pots that um, you're loving. If you do want your Mod Podge, please check your basket out. Where flowers bloom. Lovely sentiment, isn't it? You've got some really nice sentiments in here. And it is really nice because even though these are Italian collections, we've got those sentiments in English, which is lovely. So I've put where flowers bloom. So does. And then the hope. I want on the top of the glass so again it gives me that variation now what i also want what i think's beautiful about your paper collections um 
is a glaze on them. I like them to be finished with a glaze. I think it just gives you that that sort of finishing look. So I'm going to glaze these before I glue them in place because obviously when I've glued these in place, I'm going to have the glass on there. I know me. I, I mean, I've probably already got gluey fingerprints on that glass anyway, but doing it this way, at least I'm going to... Um, lessen the chances of just getting glue absolutely everywhere over the glass. So putting the Mod Podge on here, glazing it before we put it in situ. And of course it's wet so it's going to make that paper curl but we'll absolutely be able oops, get off my finger, to glue that on. Okay, so let's pop this into place. Your glass. You would spend a lot of time cleaning that and making sure it's absolutely gorgeous. My only cloth is, let me use one of these. I have got, I'll just give it a little clean. Yours would be beautiful and pristine. Mine has got glue on it. You yeah, know, it's me. So popping that back in place. I love this because you can pick up some really cheap frames, can't you? I went to one of these, um, you know, your big old shops um, that sounds like it, it should be, what does it sound like it should be? It should have like cows and things in the field. No. Um, <laughs> it sounds like it should be um, American and um, yeah, you yeah, you should have like cows and uh, you should have cowboys there and oh, I work on the, do you know? <laughs> I love it because in my head I'm like, oh, Matt's still looking at me a little bit funny. Have you got it yet, Matt? We're, no, no, Matt doesn't know. You probably haven't been, Matt, to be fair. See, now this would look nice with the gla glazed um, thingy thingy my glaze mod podge because obviously that because you've got your lemons there that would look really beautiful now this is fabulous isn't it because you're using this not just as an adhesive but as a glaze as well and it thickens it up so your paper like because you're putting this on as a as a glaze it kind of it gives you an extra layer on that paper so when you're using it like this there's an actual embellishment, you get a really, really nice thick embellishment. So just glaze that. I was just going to glaze the lemons, but I've decided to do the full thing because I really quite like it. So popping that on, as usual, Leon has got so many doggers and bits of fluff. Drives me nuts. I'm not sure if anybody else is like that. Have we been getting loads more 70s stuff? How many 70s stuff have we been getting? Although I'm not working on 70s. Maybe it should be a holidays to Sicily. Oh, Deborah. Oh. Wow. No way. Deborah says she has been. She she says it takes her back to Glastonbury festivals. She has been to every festival since she was two. And she said it reminds when it started. Deborah, I am seriously jealous. Oh, Deborah, have you got any of your old brochures? Oh, my word. Because I bet you what, Deborah, they must be worth a bit by now. Because the old brochures for Glastonbury, I've got some when I first went, and mine were my first day, my first day out. My first day at was, I think, 80 or something like that. Um, I know I know it's a long time ago now, but the brochure, it's just so exciting. It's so cool seeing how it's changed. <gasps> Deborah, a bit jealous of that. That's well cool. And your parents taking you when you were two. Cool parents parents um okay so let's build this up and stop chatting so i'm gonna go for my hope i'm 3d in it so it's going onto the glass and i like that because it brings forward our hope which obviously is is beautiful we're then going to pop that on that i'm definitely 3d in as well you could put it on cardstock if you popped it on cardstock it would give it a little bit more um more body which i would actually do i think um I probably wouldn't, me, knowing me, I cut corners. But if you wonder what I'm doing, I've got my big 3D roller foam there. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... It's... I haven't got a tape dispenser. It is uh... <laughs> It is my big roll. From... Yeah, that's probably not really something I should be doing on sale. Okay. <laughs> um, so, got my gorgeous 3D foam. 
taking that off quickly quickly Leone what time is it it's 22 already what did I do I wanted to do my my wonderful hippie kit yeah there look so that is going to sit there. You could put ribbon on it, but I actually like it without ribbon. I think it looks really quite gorgeous, as the, uh, just like that. And then I'm just going to put the lemons. Now, the lemons I'm going to use um, for this one. Where is it? I'm going to use heavy body gel for this one. This is Pento. I have got this coming up later this evening because I have got a... Um, We've got La Blanche one day special, so I know I'll have this um, with my La Blanche. But this will just give it, again, it's going to hold it beautifully in place. But, of course, it will give me that dimension that I'm after. So, whereas your Mod Podge is your flat glue, anything like your gel medium is your glue that you've got that wonderful dimension. Like so. I love that. Now, that is a relatively quick project just taking any frame doesn't that look gorgeous i mean you wouldn't need to if you wanted to you could use this as a photo maybe it's holiday photos if that were the case you wouldn't need to put the you know you wouldn't need to put the tag in there you could put a photograph in there instead but i adore that i just think it's bright it's beautiful and because it's got the sentiment on it I think it really works as a gift. I think it really works as something that you're going to put in your house. I love this colour palette. It's beautiful. It's fresh um, and just adorable. Now, if you do want anything, please check your basket out. It is really busy. I am so pleased. Thank you very much. Um, if you are spending £60 or more, it does mean you can open up a flexi basket. Here's more about it. Boom. Are we doing flexi order has arrived at her chander. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Oh, beautiful demonstration there. Of course, using brand new products. It's great to have a new company again here at Achanda, but also that you're loving it as well. Let's just give you a quick reminder of the products that we've got available for you. We'll start with the Child Bella Cecilia paper uh, combination here. So you have got your 12 by 12s. You have got your A4 in there, and you have got five rise papers as well. This is the design that you're getting. Now, we are very busy, and I know Leon has got another demonstration, so I'm not going to spend too long going through everything individually because we did see them earlier but I'm just going to show you this wonderful sample again here just so you can really appreciate the beautiful papers that are involved in this particular set aren't they just stunning if you're going to put yellow with the color put it with blue I just absolutely adore this it's so fresh it's so bright it's absolutely gorgeous now 26 pounds and 93 pence is going to get you the bundle that I'm showing you right now a saving of three pounds is gorgeous you've got all those different size papers as well three zero nine two one two now we have got more of course because we have got that selection of rice papers for you now obviously you're getting five of the rice papers this particular one in with that bundle but individually they're also available as are these ones as well the beautiful driftwood there with the blues absolutely gorgeous and then of course we've got the clock faces and the various different elements here within this design as well five of each now these are a4 rice papers 9.95 is the price so you've got the choices there five six seven Seven four zero nine. Then something that is extremely busy. Wow, very very busy indeed. And I've got to say, I'm one of those people that are sat there thinking, oh yes, this does remind me of a few things as well because I was a 60s child, so I lived a lot of my childhood through the 70s as well. And the first thing that sprung to my mind was uh, my mum used to do all dressmaking and that sort of thing, and I used to use bits of fabric to cover cardboard boxes and make settees and things for my dolls. So, and that 
whole thing there just reminded me of that. What does it remind you of? We've had lots of emails in, but let's have a look at the bundle because, of course, again, you've got your 12 by 12. Lots of lovely sheets there. There's 12 individual pieces there as well. They are double-sided. You've got your A4s in this one as well. Again, double-sided A4s. I'm not going to go through them all individually just because I want to get back to Leone. Now, you've also got your 6x6. Now, there is an option where the A4 and 6x6 came together. That is sold out. So the only way you can get the A4 and the 6x6 is to go for the big bundle. So 12 by 12 the A4, the 6x6, and also these are the rice papers you get in this kit. You're getting five of these. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Do you know, I was looking across the studio at Leone going down the counter, and I thought with the Podge. What about making a pair of canvas shoes and covering them? You could put the little cars coming around the front of the shoes. That would look amazing. Item number 223143, if you want to go for the big collection, over 80% of the stock has gone extremely busy. £34.92. Now, we do have more rice papers for you again, so we'll just move along the one that comes in the bundle there. But individually, you've got the choice of that one. You've also got the choice of this one here, which is fabulous. Um, Oh, again, bringing back memories for me that I love, love, love that girl. That I just, I'd love her outfit actually. I really would. And then, of course, you've got the flowers as well, which were great, as I only said, for backgrounds. You know, you can use this to cover all sorts, can't you? Rice paper. Again, think of your shoes. 784577 is the item number. 995 is the price for five sheets, remember. Now, then, the Mod Podge extremely busy on these as well these are the larger pots a great price i've got to say mod podge has been around for such a long time and the reason is because it is so good so you've got your you've got your matte or you've got your gloss version there 9.99 is going to get you 16 fluid ounces or 473 milliliters Item number 908872. Let's go to the website. There's much more to be found because there's some that haven't got on the counter as well. Seven day savings are also there. Uh, now, oh, one of the seven day savers is sold out. The white card collection has gone. Well done if you got that. Stock up on the low tap purple tape because that's not always easy to get hold of. Mill Shop Online is there as well. You've got your punch sheet and foam pad collection. Do take advantage of a Blanche look there as well. Oh, and some King Cole yarn. King Cole, a fantastic brand, I've got to say. You've got MDF in there as well. Still over three days to go, but of course, do, things do sell out as we've found. So if you want to take advantage of savings, grab these while you can. Now, hopefully, we're ready for Leone, and she's going to show us another demonstration using Ciao Bella. Ciao Bella. Um, okay, I have. Thank you, our lovely Catherine. So, what I'm just doing, I wanted to use that rice paper. Had to use the rice paper. Okay, so what we've got on the show, we have got, and these are lovely. Um, we've got these fantastic little um, drawers. So, you've got your little set of your, your three drawers and I thought they would look so cool in your, your rice paper and um, the details are there for you so you're actually getting that and you're getting the chest box which I've started decorating um, that is such a good price because look at that I've started decorating it with that beautiful rice paper from the Sicily collection which is just I mean that is lovely I haven't finished that I wanted to do, do it as a demo but I love that those two together for 19 pence and 99 pence um, so where I thought I'd start let's take the drawers out first now normally I gesso um, uh, MDF when I'm using it but this because it's kind of like um, it's almost like a, I think it's a thick balsa actually but because it's such a pale wood I thought I don't need to gesso that I absolutely don't need a key because obviously it's really porous um, but it hasn't got sometimes if it's a really dark wood or you know it's it goes darker when you glue it then you do need to gesso it because otherwise it will affect the uh, the rice paper and sometimes you do need to seal it but with this um that's absolutely perfect so i can start got as usual loads of fluff so i'm going to put a layer of glue here first now your glue will act as a bit of a sealant anyway um on your 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 wood so it means that my my paper will glue perfectly it's not going to be so um be so porous that the glue just sinks in and disappears so got a layer of the Mod Podge glue I'm using the matte Mod Podge glue again here taking my rice paper 
and I'm just going to put a layer of the glue on the back of the rice paper and the lovely thing about using it with rice paper I've already cut this and then part of it I've done the the water technique where you take your your water brush and fray it when you're using your glue if you go down where the the way of the fibers then you'll get that beautiful finish peel it off and then pop it on in place so that's my my first layer now me being me it might not be perfectly cut but we can get over that superb the lovely thing with rice paper if it doesn't go down perfectly like with this you know i i cut it wrong um it doesn't matter rice paper is so ridiculously forgiving so again just repeating that process that bit that i did rip i'm being careful it is forgiving but it is also delicate is that bit because i've ripped it so i need it to go in the same direction as the fibers as well so that's that peel this off again boom and then pop that back on now i'm only doing a box this is going to go around um cylinder objects so you could upcycle you know jars it might be bottles that you've got i love that that Catherine said about getting um some trainers or something or pumps or shoes and upcycling them with the the rice paper that would be so cool um again 70s memories i'd love some photographs anything photos of 70s um email in studio at com. what does it remind you of is it you know someone's curtains is it um, the carpets? Absolute remember. I remember my gran and granddad, like they had a really bright, funky pattern carpet. And then they had, um, you know, the wallpaper that's false shelves. I'm not sure what era that was, but it looked like a bookshelf and it wasn't, it was just a wallpaper. Awful. <laughs> but it was like, what is that? And then they had a really bright settee, so they had a really patterned carpet and then a really patterned um, settee that didn't match the carpet and then really patterned curtains. It were brilliant. You walked in it like, whoo, all the pattern. Okay, so now I'm only doing a quick job because obviously a time, but top, done, boom. I would do the sides, obviously, but then look because I thought this was beautiful. So on the piece of rice paper, this is the one that you are getting in your kit. The kit is now limited. Um, I know Sam's doing her best to try and get more, but it's limited stock. Remember, we have got a show at two o'clock. Okay, it's technically sold out. Um, I do apologize. You can get this rice paper separately. So please, if you do want the rice paper, that's what to go for. Look, I thought this would be cool splitting it across your three drawers so it means that wonderful that wonderful rainbow look of floor won't that be cool so in order to do this i need to just chop so that's going to be there um so i'm going to pop it there like so and then i'm actually going to cut this because you don't want to with this i don't need the edges um to to be frayed i don't need them to to sort of flow into the next one i want those sharp edges for a change with this one so all i'm doing and i probably won't get to finish this because i've only got a minute so all i'm doing is cutting that down i will i will finish this so i can show you um what it looks like but i just thought what a cool way of using your rice paper now i know i've only got seconds left so really quickly I won't do my normal gluing, I'll just bob that on, which will be fine, to be fair, because then I'm going to glue over the top anyway. But, get it right, 30 seconds. Okay, let me just pop my glue over there, because that will seal it anyways. And then, and it would actually, I'll probably glaze it in the gloss one, because I think that will look nice. Right, imagine what this is going to look like. I'll do this, so when you come back, so, with all the drawers going down like that oh that'd be cool um okay please check your baskets out we have still got the rice paper um and we've got the sisla on we've got the other one coming up at two okay next we've got that's crafty it's your wonderful one day special um we've then got for you crafting with the wonderful clary and then i am back in the building see you then
Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand-drawn by me. They're made in the UK. Most important to us at Picture This. And we have so much more to bring you. Our shows on Achanda, um, we hope to make them informative, amusing obviously, entertaining, but mainly it's about bringing the creative spirit to you. Make sure you tune in and watch the picture this shows on her channel. Flexi order has arrived at her chanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. At Crafty Individuals, we're mostly involved in the design and manufacture of a very wide range of red rubber art stamps, but we also have a range of background papers and mini images that are also brilliant to create with. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. We also have a great little team of other artist friends who've helped us along the way and have come up with other designs that completely work alongside our own. So do pull up a pew and join us on the Hachanda shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. 
Hello. Can you believe it? It's midday again already. Well, midday means, of course, it's time for a one-day special. Now, this is actually the last one-day special show for That's Crafty today, because we've got a double launch later with LeBlanche. So let's have a look straight away at the one-day special itself. It is from That's Crafty. We've got the Essentials Kit for you, which is fabulous, actually, because you've got lots and lots of these different multi-surface paints included. You're actually getting 12. I'm going to show you the colours in a little while. But not only that, let's look what else we're getting. We've got the acrylic liquid wax, which I do know when Joe's brought this to us before, and that's Crafty brought this here before. That's sold out so, so quickly. We've also got for you the multi-purpose craft adhesive and some texture paste as well. 150 milliliters of that, so a great bundle. Let me just bring you the colors into the paint so you can see them. I'm going to show you some samples as well. But as I'm doing this, I just want to point something out. Because you've got these extra mediums within the one day special, if you were going for the paints on their own, to get the one day special, you're only spending an extra three pounds and 87 pence, and you're getting those fabulous mediums as well. So a great way to buy. 39 pounds and 75 pence is the price there is a saving of 10 pounds and we can give you a flexi buy option as well two payments of 19 pounds and 88 pence is going to get you the one day special well what can you achieve with the paints what can you achieve with the different mediums well a lot actually because they are multi-surface so you can do all sorts with them whether you're painting onto your mdf whether you're going onto card whether you're going onto your different surfaces you could stamp with this as well if you wanted to you can mix the colors you can use your brayers do you know there's so much that you can achieve and the fact that you've got those beautiful colors and it does include your black and white in there as well I believe there's yes yeah, I can see them there uh, then of course you are going to be able to achieve all sorts including your pastel colors and also knocking those colors back if you want to take the brightness off you know mixing any variation that you so wish absolutely gorgeous there we are details on the screen for the one day special item number 291964 now we have have got more now I've just got to tell you about a competition as well if you haven't seen the other shows I'm just going to tell you now Joe is going to be giving away the finished samples to one lucky winner so the names have been going into the heart anybody that's buying the one day special will be entered and then we'll draw one name out and it will be at the end of this hour because there isn't another show later on so everybody buying the one day special you will be entered and Joe's got some fabulous products uh, projects that she's created for you as well so so let's have a look what else we've got now moving down we've got some stamps for you now there are a couple of different options here under one item number these are really nice actually look at these arty wings is the first one we're looking at there I will turn these around so you can see the actual size of the stamps themselves there we go absolutely beautiful love the dragonfly look you've got the wings with the text there as well the word art that's really useful do you know that's a really good one actually because you could 3d that one very well or snip away the light bulbs if you didn't want that them there as well so really really nice the other option we've got is this one for you you've got numbers and script again a very useful stamp set this one all individual stamps on there let me turn that around again so you can see the actual stamps themselves very useful great for your backgrounds great for your journaling your mixed media as well your cards whatever you want to do with them lovely price at 13.99 because you're getting a lot for your money there so you've got the choices if you want them both you can do just make sure you put two in and choose one of each 524-521 is the item number now moving down it wouldn't be that's crafty without some background papers now there are three different sets for you to choose from I have got samples at the back that I can show you as well now these are all by Amanda Southern that's the designer here absolutely gorgeous now if you like your backgrounds oh wow these are really nice really nice indeed so this one is telling me background set two that I've got here um, I'm wondering if these got out of order and we should have started with set one if I find the front cover you know we'll go through these because I'm not sure where the front cover is of the next one let's go through these unless somebody's mixed the front covers up I'm just trying to match this is looking as though it's probably set one and the front covers have got mixed up let me just check yes this must be set number one set number one they are in order it's just the covers that have been mixed up so if you're liking the look of these this is the one to go for if you like set number one 
these are what we've got here they are single-sided so that means you don't have to worry about what's on the other side lots of ways you can work with them lots of ways of cutting into these as well over stamping if you want to gorgeous backgrounds absolutely beautiful look at the collars in here 9.99 this is just set number one, remember. I've got two more options to show you. Really lovely, bright colours. Now, the GSM is 170. Oh, that's a nice one. And you get 14 sheets in each pack. I wasn't counting. I think we've got back to the beginning. I think maybe that's where we started. So that's set number one. Let me make sure I put the right cover with that one. Set number two, let's go through this one. Oh, I like this first one. Look at the pink in there with the green and the yellow. Wow. Now, it's like, if you think of the distress inks, the oxides, the colours that you get, really nice. All that splattering there as well. Something a little bit more industrial there as well. A little bit rusty. You've got the patina effect. So this is a nice mix because you've got colour, you've got more of a grungy effect all in the same selection as well. Really beautiful. Lots in the way of the browns, the greens and the pinks in this one and the purple as well. Look at that. Really nice. Oh, this is my favourite so far, actually. And the yellow there as well. Again, if you want to overstamp, if you want to ink over the top, if you want to spritz, if you want to stencil, you're going to be able to do all those different things. Oh, that's nice. Do like that. Oh, fabulous. These are lovely, aren't they? Right, that's set number two. That's background set number two uh, from Amanda again. And then number three, if you like your bright colours again, a little bit softer maybe, this one. But still very very sort of decorative backgrounds whoops let me just grab that again there we are lovely so you can see these look like they've been done with a brayer they've been over stamped if you love these sorts of backgrounds but you don't like getting messy then this is a great option isn't it to go for the cardstock it really is other papers they are papers at 170 gsm really lovely weight beautiful colors this one's very bright look at that it's like an acrylic pour, that one. $9.99 is the price. Remember, you've got the choice of all three of these. If you wanted to go for more than one, you certainly can do. Again, just put the item number in and the multiples that you require. Make sure you're choosing the right options. Oh, really nice. 874626 is the item number on this one uh, once again. So there we are. That's your third selection there. Really lovely. Now, we have got more for you. So let's move down again. And now we've got some boards for here with lots of different designs. Let's have a look at these. Now these have been laser cut for you as well. These are your crafty boards. Now you're getting four A4 sheets. We have got different options for you. Let's have a look at the first one here so you can see. You're getting an awful lot for your money here as well because they are A4 sheets. You've got lots of elements to pop out. Lovely to decorate as well. So again, think about all those different mediums, your inks, your spritzers, over stamping. You know, again, there's so many mediums that are going to work. All your different glazes and that sort of thing as well. Your gilding waxes, really lovely. So we've got cogs in there. We've got light bulbs in there. We've got alphabets in there. We've also got tags in there as well. I have got one or two little samples at the back here that I'm going to show you. So let's have a look. First of all, oh, we've had some cogs made into a dream catcher. Have a look at that there. That's unusual, isn't it? Really unusual. I like this one. There you are, using the tags and some of the light bulbs there. Really nice. So think about the fronts of your albums, your journals, your home decor pieces. Very nice indeed. We've got one final one there with a butterfly on as well. There we are. Beautiful. £10.76 if you're a Freedom member. Uh, the price is a little bit cheaper for you. 945 948 is the item number. There we've got an option for you. Let's have a look at the next one because, oh, this is nice as well. We've got some more boards for you, of course. Let's bring the details up for these. It's the same item number. We'll give you the details again. There you are. So four boards this time. Oh, I like the windows. And those pop-outs are going to be useful as well. So don't throw those bits that pop out away. You know, it, these could be for your weddings, they could be for christenings, your church windows, you could make them very gothic, you could uh, make them very Halloween-y. You've got the ornamental frames there as well. We've got bookmarks and we've also got alphabets in this set. Really like these. A lot, a lot for your money again. Uh, same item number as I say, just make sure you put the multiples or the item that you want or the selection that you want. 1076 if you're a Freedom member. 
So, of course, a great price. If you break that down per board or per element, it's just, well, it's incredible value. There where they can see a dragonfly using one of the frames. Makes them £2.69 each. And again, here we've got some... We've got the light bulbs there again. There, I don't know if we've got elements from this one on there. It doesn't matter, really, because it's the same item number. Just make sure you're going for the option that you want. 945948 is the item number that you need. Now, we've got some more for you because perhaps you want to make your albums. Perhaps you want to decorate them up uh, using your boards. Well, we've got some lovely, lovely selections here for you today. Now, if you want to make something like the sample I'm holding here, which is beautiful, this is what you need. So what you're getting is two crafty board journals, four by six inches. You've got uh, the little holes already in there. You've got the rings to go with them as well. So really nice. And you've got some elements in there as well. There's some numbers and some eyelets and some page dividers as well. This is lovely. Oh, just think about the one-day special using those multi-surface paints, all used in these wonderful... Um, items that have been produced for us here and of course the papers in there as well but at the minute we're looking at the journals we're looking at the boards so this is what you can create absolutely beautiful some of the other boards that we've just seen would work so well with this one so if you want to multi-buy you certainly can do but if you want to go for this one if you want to go for the journals 9.99 item number 425145 some lovely samples here, really lovely. Now we've got demonstrations from the wonderful Joe Channon, of course. In fact, that's where we're heading next. Uh, now, if you were watching earlier on today, you may have seen the first part of this demonstration. This is the second part. We're going to get that right now, but you can catch the other on Rewind, of course, if you missed it. Right, so we have uh, painted the um, embellishments, and you can see there I've got three of the lights that will come down one of the bulb i've also got um the word shine which um will come down from the top there now this comes out of let me just grab those this comes out of this set um that um is available so you can see there you get lots of these fantastic letters uh, and you can see how easy they are just to pop out, no problem at all. Now I tend to pop mine out and then paint them rather than paint them whilst they're in. You can paint them while they're in, but you need to immediately take them out because obviously if the paint gets down the, the size, it's going to stick into the actual holding part. So whatever you want to do, uh, but you can paint them, spray them, ink them, do whatever you want with them. They're really... Um, nice and sturdy for you to to put on your projects so I'm going to use the glue just on parts of the actual embellishment itself that's one of the lights so I'm going to pop one of the lights coming down from the top there now remember any of the glue that you see don't worry because it is going to dry clear. Now, I need one light uh, shorter than this one. So I've just popped a couple of links off, just cutting them with my scissors. Easily done if you want to do that. So we just pop in that one just there. And then I want to extend this one there. So I'm going to use these two links that I've cut off from that one to extend that one. So, and you won't notice, of course, where the extension is because they're designed the same. There we go, put that one down. And some glue onto here. Lovely size pot, this one. I'm really enjoying this pot of glue and I think taking it out and about will be just ideal as well. There we go, so popping that one down. So take some links from this one to put onto that one and then you've got that uh, lovely different, uh, the, all the different layers. Now, we're going to put our letters going down from the top. There we go, so SH, make sure that I spell it correctly. H. So this is in effect acting as the actual chain. That was the idea that I had in my head. There we are. M and E. There we are. Right way around. There we go. And 
then we are going to place our light bulb, which has got so much detail, it's got cogs on it, and uh, it's, it's also um, obviously hollow, so we can put different colours and bits and pieces through it as well, but I do love the fact that the colours of the papers are just superb for this project, obviously. Right, so we've got all that in place and now what we're going to do, we'll just need a little bit of glue under this one. There we go, just pop that down. Now what we're going to do is, um, I've got a, a stamp, so there's two sets of stamp sets on the show, which are brand new. And so taking the paper um, that we used earlier, I'm just gonna use a little tiny bit of the corner of that paper to actually stamp this stamp here. Okay, which is the hat, the pointing finger. So you can see great stamp set, numbers and scripts, fantastic for backgrounds on all your journaling projects. You've got the stamps there and you've got the numbers. You can use these individually as well if you'd like to. I will be doing that on another project later on. So uh, I'll just show you how well they stamp. There's a stamp here somewhere. Where is it more? Here we go. <laughs> There we are. So I've got the stamp here. So just inking that up. There we are. It's got great detail on as well. You can see there all the um, the handprint. So just in that little corner there. So we're keeping with the same colour scheme, which is great. And then you can see it stamps beautifully onto the paper. Now I would heat set that. Okay, I do have one already cut out though. I would heat set that before you cut it out because it is a satin finished paper you do need to be aware that obviously that is um, it's going to be longer before it dries so we're just popping that hand pointing to the light bulb there the other thing I want to do is um, I just want to introduce uh, some of the paint and just do some splattering I want to do some black I'm just going to bring in this piece of cellophane here that I've been working on whilst painting. So just popping some water onto my paint, watering that down. There we go. Of course with acrylic paint, as we know, it is a water-based paint. So it's ideal for doing this sort of thing and to create some great fun on the background as well. And then we want some of the yellow, take a different paintbrush. Some of the yellow, tiny bit there, just pop some water onto that one. And mix it round and then add some of that yellow, which is really great fun. Now I'm gonna bring in the other finished project just to tell you what else I've done. And um, so you can see there, what I've done here is just around some of these stenciled um, pieces, I have gone in with my um, Micron pen um, and uh, just emphasised a few of those. And also, and one of the fantastic uh, products on in included in the One Day Special, of course, one of the hero products, if that's crafty, I have to say, is the acrylic liquid wax. Now throughout my demonstrations I'm going to be showing you different ways of using this and if you've never used it before you'll wonder why you haven't because honestly there's it's just so useful and a brilliant piece of kit to have in your stash. Now it's a water-based acrylic wax so of course anything that you use with it is it's going to wash off so any of your paint brushes palette knives anything like that um, so what I've done is you can see there I'm filling my bulbs with the actual wax itself okay but what we're also going to do is I'm just going to pop over the letters and over the top of the light bulb we go where it hasn't come on to down gone in from the bulb also on the chain 
there we go to give that lovely satin finish now what it will do is it will dry with a shine but it won't be gloss glossy high gloss so um i'll just bring this one in you can see here if you put it thick enough put several layers on it will actually crack as well if you would like it to but it's dependent on how much thick you can see also see there that it's cracked really really nicely on that light bulb as well so that gives a really terrific effect so that's our first journal page on our larger size of our journal craft board Oh, wonderful stuff there from Joe, of course. And just a reminder, you can get first part of that demonstration from the early show on Rewind. Now, the one-day special, let us I've just taken a, little, a few bits away just so we can highlight the value here because in the one-day special, you're getting 12 of the multi-surface paints. Now, if you go for these just as they are, just as a 12 paints, it's a great price. It's a really good price because these are multi-surface, £35.88. So you could do that, but why would you if you can then go for the one-day special that also includes our texture paste, which is 150 millilitres, and you've also got your multi-purpose multi craft adhesive there, which is fabulous. And of course, you've got that wax that Joe was using there, the acrylic liquid wax, which is always very popular. Now, if you add those in, you're only paying an extra three pounds and 87 pence for those items. So it's well worth going for the one day special and getting the value there. So you're saving 10 pounds in total and we're splitting the cost. So if you split the cost down, it's two payments of 19 pounds and 88 pence. Item number 291.964. We like to give you that value, don't we? Now then, I have got some samples at the back. I've just been having a flick through these. These are fabulous, actually. This one's by Rachel. Now, there's various items from the show being used. So we've got some wood board pieces. We've got some of the papers in here as well. Uh, we've got the journal boards also that you can see here as well. But using the paints, there's so much you can do with them. You can add them over your papers. You could stamp with them. You could just mix them together and use them for your general painting onto all sorts of different surfaces as well. So I'm just flicking through this one little sample for you so you can see some of the things that you can achieve but of course we have got a lot more involved in the show that's also part of that sample as well just going to show you the colors for the paints one last time there is a 12 one it is white that's why you can't see it very well very handy that you've got the black and the white in there you've also got your primary colors in there as well you've got your blues your yellow and your red so that means you can mix all sorts your white you can turn these into pastels the black you can knock them back in color if you want to take the brightness off as well so really you've got much more than 12 colors when you think about how you can work with those together there's the details on the screen for the one day special but we have got more to remind you about so let's move down now when we did the first trip down the counter yes you have got the stamps and you've got a choice under one item number we have got the papers for you as well and you've got a choice of three different ones under one item number but we didn't tell you about a huge bundle that we've got if you like both of the stamps and you like all of the papers you can get both of the stamps and all three sets of those papers all for £52.95. You're saving £5 overall. Item number 902202. Again, we've got a flexi buy option for you, so you can split the payment. £26.48. If you want to split the payment, that's two payments that you will pay in total. Uh, let me show you again some more samples. So, look, using this is from one of the stamp sets, the art there. The papers have been used as well. Absolutely beautiful. Some of the boards have been used that's coming up as well, but just to show you the sort of thing that you can achieve and the papers are amazing I will flick through one or two more of them again just to remind you what they're like uh, but you know that this really opens up the options of what you can achieve if you mix and match everything around absolutely lovely there's the details for you now if I just bring in the front cover so you can see the papers so this is set number one so if you're going for the large bundle you're getting all of these Oh, the front covers are there, aren't they? I don't need to do that. So sorry about that. We'll come in close to those. So the first set, kind of the fiery colours in there. You've got all sorts going on. Uh, really lovely background pieces. Of course, you can cut into them. Of course, you can stamp over them and do all those other things as well. Set number two, we'll have a look at that one. Um, I think that's my favourite out of them all, actually. You've got kind of the splatters. You've got bright colours in there. You've got grunge in there as well. Some great backgrounds. Really, really lovely. I love that pop of pink and purple 
purple that's in that one. You've got tree back effect in there or the rustiness in there as well. And then the third one, the third selection. So remember, these are available individually, but as this big bundle, you're going to get all three sets. Again, bright colours, very, very colourful. A little bit more of a brightness in there in the lighter backgrounds as well, but really a lovely selection for you. 902-202 if you're going for the huge bundle there with both those stamp sets as well. Let's go back to demo with Jo, though, see what she's got in store for us right now. For this page, we're going to be using the Dragonfly stamps from the Art with the Wings. We are also going to be using um, the Perfect Backgrounds Set 1 from Amanda. And uh, I've actually got two different papers in this one that we're going to use. We're going to use this one, which is just fabulous, isn't it? It really is. That is the one that I'm going to stamp my dragonflies on. And then I'm going to be using this one. Um, which is so vibrant, so beautiful. It's got so many layers to it as well. Very, very, very clever. Um, for that's my um, that's my piece that I'm going to put onto my journal page to start off with. So everything that because of these papers, we've got this amazing ability to start off with so much vibrancy and colour and depth before we actually put anything else on and uh, I'm just finding that the whole the whole experience is so much easier um, to get a starter for 10. Um, right so put my glue on as before the multi-purpose and pop in that over go right up to the top there quite got that there we are oh that's it so we've got a little bit of movement on that on that glue before we have to uh, really worry. There we are. So then we'll just take the scissors and just nip around the edges. Now this strip here again, like we said, keep that because what we could do is we could do a little bit of paper weaving with any bits that we've got left. If you fancy that idea. Or of course just using it like we did um, before on the tag when we pieced lots of bits of paper together. Okay, I'll just put around the edges there. There we go. So I'll put that to one side and then as before sand our edges back. And then we must do our, where's my, where is it? There we are. We must do our holes and then we can base what we're going to do on the actual front around where the holes are. So we're not covering those up. There we go. Okay. So we've got our fantastic base there. Um, and Amanda's done all the work for us, which is fabulous. Thank you, Amanda. Right, so we're now going to put um, a little bit of stamping on the background. Now, this is, I love this stamp, and I can see me using this an awful lot. Um, the set is uh, the one um, with the, the alphabet. We've got the numbers. You've got the mathematical um, signs there with numbers you've got obviously got the two stamps there which are fun to put on um, any travel document um, journaling and things like that and then you've got this combination of letters which layers upon layers upon layers I really love it you've also got the hand there that we've used earlier on so I'm using the black ink because I want it to pop from the background and just actually inking half of it because I'm just going to place it at the bottom corner. Just pop that up a little bit. There we go. Now it's a good size stamp, lots and lots and lots of detail. So do make sure that you get a good lot of pressure going on it. Lovely, like that. So we've got that in the corner there. Let's have another one um, at the top 
right hand corner so you've got that balancing from one to the other the papers are fantastic to stamp on too they really are um, i would suggest though if you're going to be embossing do do an anti-static bag over the top as usual but i know that's good practice that you all do anyway so just press that down there we go then i want to do a little tiny bit in that corner so I just put a little tiny bit more ink on I'm just randomly stump in the corner there. There we go. So happy with that, the way that that's going through like so, and then that little bit there. So we take that stump off and we'll need that in a second for our dragonfly. Okay, now I'm going to give that a very quick 10 second glass. Because, because it's going on the satin paper and it was a versifying clay, it does need a little bit of, of a blast just to dry that off. So we don't want any smudging. There we go. So now we're going to introduce some um, texture in a uh, form of paste. So for this um, paste, we're going to bring in the holographic fine texture paste again, but we're going to do something slightly different with it. So we're going to take some, put it onto our mat, and we're going to bring in one of our mortar surface paints, another way of using your paints. So this one is the ocean, and I'm just going to dip a little bit of the ocean into my lovely fine texture paste you can hear that fantastic detail you still see that holograph the holographic flex as well which are really lovely and i'm um, one of the circle stencils and just going through there we go now we can also do this coloring uh with the texture paste that we I've got in the one day special so do try that out as well um, just pop a little bit of colour into it you will find obviously that when you put it into the paste um, it won't be as dark as what the paint is because of course um, the white of the paste is will make it a little bit paler so you just have to put a little bit more in according to what you want but you can see it's really lovely, isn't it? And you've got now got a coloured fine texture paint. I'll just wipe that bit off there. I want one more, just a little bit in that bottom corner. Okay, just a, just a tad there. There we go. And take off your excess. And that looks really good. I like that. Now, obviously, what you don't want to do now is to put that back into there because, of course, that will contaminate the rest of your paste. If you had much left, I didn't have hardly any left. Um, I gauged it reasonably well. Then you could put it in a separate pot to use for something else in case I don't waste it. So um, we'll just uh, break briefly just to give that a dry and then we'll come back and do our dragonflies. Oh, lovely. We will be back with Joe in a little while. Let's just give you another reminder of the one-day special. Let's go through the value of this again, because, of course, you can go for that bundle of paints individually. Now, you would be paying not much more for the whole one-day special than just for those paints on their own. It's just £3.87 difference. So for that extra £3.87, you're going to get your adhesive, you're going to get your texture paste, and you're going to get your acrylic liquid wax as well. And as you saw in the video there, of course, you can still use with the multi-surface paints, not just for painting, on all different surfaces. You could use it for stenciling, for stamping, and as Joe did there, mixing into the texture paste to have that colour as well. Item number 291-964. Let me just bring up the swatch 
watch for the colours again so you can see them. Remember, there is a white there, but because it's on white card, we can't really make it out on the screen there. But you are getting those different colours. So the black, the white, very important. You've got the primary colours in there as well, which means you can mix all sorts of different colours. You can make your pastels, you can knock your colours back. You're going to be able to create so many different variations with those 12 pots. So a great value bundle there because you are saving that £10 and a flexi buy option as well. We can break the payments down. So two payments of £19.88. Item number 291.964. Now let's move down again and remind you about our stamps and our papers as well. Now you can go for the large bundle, the details we'll bring back on the screen. If you wanted both of the stamps, and these are great stamps I've got to say, you can go for the big bundle where you're going to get both of them and all three sets of the papers as well. Now the details are on the screen for that one. Once again we have a flexi buy option for you. There is a saving for these, £5 is the saving and two flexi buy options of £26.48. Now you can go for individuals, so if you want the stamps individually, it's one item number but it's a choice. So you can go for whichever one you want. You could go for both of them if you want, they're £13.99 each. There we are, we'll bring the details up. But many of you are going for the papers individually and that is because you like the option, you've got the choices there. So the papers on their own, we can bring you the details up for that as well. So individually, again, one item number, but you have of course got the choices from three different sets. I am going to go through those again now. I'm going to keep these landscape way this way just so it's a little bit easier to hold them for camera as well. So kind of fiery colours in here, but you've got blues and purples also. Really vibrant colours and of course you can over stamp, we saw Joe doing it there, you can use your different mediums, you can stencil over this, 170 GSM, you kind of got a slightly glossy surface to it which means it's not too porous so it's going to take those different mediums as well, if you wanted to add this to your boards you can sand it down beautifully as well so you get that perfect edge. Do you know, it's just one of those paper sets or these paper sets that are just so, so well, you know, quality is just there. It's just so wonderful to work with. And if you do like this sort of background, but you don't want to make, get, make the mesh yourself or you haven't got those mediums to create this sort of background, then the work is done for you. So really, you've got the best of absolutely everything. So there's our first selection. So that's backgrounds number one for you there. Uh, let's have a look at number two. Number two, I think, is a really lovely mix of the brights and, and sort of the grunge together as well. Really do like that. Love that. I think it's the pink in there. Uh, then you've got kind of the crackle effect there, but with the splatters over the top, nice bright colours. You've got a little bit of grunge here, that rusty effect as well. You've kind of got the patina effect here, which is really beautiful. Another lovely background there with the crackle effect and the splashes, but a different colour option. That's really nice as well. Again, just think about cutting these up, using them on those boards, using them in your albums, using them on all sorts of different projects and different surfaces as well. Look at that. It's like the planets, isn't it? I love that. Something nice and bright in there as well. Really good mix, this one, as I say. Lots of colour in it, but the grungy side also included if you want that as well. Absolutely beautiful. And then finally, set number three. Let's just go through that one. A little bit sort of brighter. I'm not going to say softer because it's very bright, but a little bit more white maybe in some of these backgrounds as well, which is really lovely to see. Uh, so they are very different, really. You've got those choices. If you're going for the big bundle, you don't have to make a choice. You're getting all three of them. But individually, you're liking the papers. So if you're just going for the one, then this is giving you a guide as to what you can actually see within each bundle. I love that. Love that, just like that acrylic pour. Beautiful. These are lovely, aren't they? What great value as well. $9.99 each, item number 874-626. And you have, as I say, got those three different choices there for you as well. Lovely stuff. Love those. Right, 14 A4 single-sided sheets in each pack there. Now, moving down again, let's remind you of the boards because we've got different options for you. Uh, these have been busy as well. I'm not surprised, actually, because, once again, so many uses for these, so many different ways of colouring them, different mediums you can use. So the first one we're looking at here, we've got the four boards for you. We've got the light bulbs, we've got the cogs in there, we've got the alphabet in there, and we've also got the tags as well, which is fabulous. We're just going to hold up 
up one of the samples to show you in a second as well. Now there's a Freedom price on this one, 11.96 if you're not a Freedom member, Freedom members 10.76 delivered, item number 945948 and there you can see some of the light bulbs and also the tags in there and the alphabets have been used in that one as well. So lots of different options, a lot of the, the projects that we've got, the little albums have got those wooden cutouts in there as well. Let's have a look at the next option, really lovely, we've got the windows here, we've got the frames, we've got the alphabet again but a different font and you've also got the bookmarks in this one. Same item number, it's just a different choice, you can go for both of them if you wish but if you want to go for one just make sure you put the right one in your basket. Um, £10.76 again deliver price if you're a Freedom member. There we go, 945-948, just as a reminder to the item number that you need. Nothing to stop you from going for multiples whatsoever. Then, of course, we have those wonderful journal boards for you, which is, this is a lovely bundle, actually, really nice. Uh, I've got some samples that I'm going to show you that we didn't see the first time round as well. So you've got your different shaped pages, so to speak, and your fronts and backs. You've got some alphabets in here, there's some reinforcements. You do get the rings as well, so lots of different shapes and sizes. Let's have a little look at these samples here because we didn't show you these before. Also using in conjunction with some of the other boards there. I can see one of the frames has been used. Really lovely. Again mixing these with your papers with the one day special with your paints as well and texture paste all those different mediums everything works. Everything we've got on this show actually works so beautifully together it really does. 9.99 if you want to go for these you've got your your um, that's crafty surfaces you're getting two crafty board journals four by six inches tab journal and the eight by 4.15 journal with the book rings as well now we're limited stock on these limited stock on these you need to get these quickly remember this is the last show today for that's crafty we've got a double launch later for la blanche anybody that's buying the one day special is going to be entered into the prize draw throughout the shows we've had and some lucky winner is going to win everything that joe's been making as samples as well which is amazing now we're going to get back to joe because we need to see part two of that wonderful demonstration that she started okay so um we are now ready for our dragonflies you'll need three um, I'm just going to stamp out the one to show you how lovely they stamp out really super size as well now we're using one of the papers as we said at the beginning out of the um, let me just position this there we go out of the set one I chose this obviously because it's got the most gorgeous colours in it that you would um, definitely associate with dragonflies, the purples, the blues, the teals, really lovely. There we go. Got lots of detail in the wings as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to emboss this because I want to show you how the detail just pops if you do emboss it, okay? I'll just take one of the um, papers there and just tap off my embossing powder. There we go, pop that back in. And then if we heat it, then you'll see that beautiful detail. So very quickly done as well. That's um, the well uh, super fine clear. I do like to use that because it, I think when you've got um, a, an excellent quality stamp like this is, um, you need to use a super fine embossing powder so that you've got that. Um, You've, got, you've kept all that lovely detail. Look at that in the wings, it's beautiful, it really is. So you would go ahead, cut it out, and, um, and then uh, that's three times. There we go, we are. And of course, putting them on a different area on the papers as well, um, you do get that variation in the colors, which is all very nice. 
So I've just wiped that down with the embossing powder. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop our dragonflies on. But before I actually put them on um, with the glue, I'm going to just place them to see where I want them. So we've got one going there, one there. And, and I think maybe one going up there. Yeah, happy with that. So taking our glue. I do think um, that those papers are just perfect uh, for using with the butterflies and of course the dragonfly stamps. Really lovely. Of course, if you've already got existing stamps it, um, similar to this or something of a similar nature, then um, that's great. Use those with the papers and uh, you'll see just how excellent they are. There we go, just pressing that down like so. Again, just using the glue. I do want it all to stick down, so that's why I'm going down the the body as well as on the wings. Of course, what you could do if you wanted the wings to stand out, you could put uh, some um, silicone or some type of adhesion to make that a little bit more prominent, make it more three-dimensional. Okay, just popping the last one on. I mean, I think that these are just gorgeous. I really do. I'm going to put that, actually, I'm going to put that like that. There we are. Pressing that. Oh, so that the wing actually over, goes, to, goes slightly over. There, that's smashing. Right, so um, what I want to do now is I want to give it um, a little bit of blue splatters on it just to bring in all the colours um, of course this is always an optional extra if you don't like doing this or you're not keen on the appearance of it then leave it leave it out leave it all nice and clear and crisp it's entirely up to you I do think it adds a nice finish and it also breaks up the background paper a little bit brings in that pale blue well it's the, the light blue which is the paint one of the 12 colors in the one day special there we go so pop our brush in and there we go so we've got that lovely drag you've got the dragonflies going through you've got the uh, fine texture paste and, and remember what we've done is we've put a little bit of the ocean into the paste before we put it through the stencils that change the colour so that's another way of using your water surface paints stamps in the background lots of layers happy with that one I should think so as well that is absolutely beautiful and of course some lucky winner will be receiving that uh, it won't be long before we announce the winner actually so this is the last show for the one day special for that's crafty today because we've got a double launch later on with Le Blanche so if you haven't got yours yet you need to be grabbing it now before the price goes up let's just give you a reminder again there is a £10 saving and the reason we've got that £10 saving is because if you're looking at the paints you can get those individually great prices they are there are 12 different pots there the multi surface paint but we've bundled it with these wonderful mediums for you as well so you saw Joe using the multi-purpose adhesive there we've seen the texture paste being used as well and that's a huge pot at 150 milliliters and the acrylic liquid wax and I can't remember how many times now we've sold out of that when it's been brought in the past so to be able to get that as well you're only actually paying for those elements there those mediums, an extra £3.87, which is so, overall, that is a great bundle. Remember, with the multi-surface paints, they are exactly that. They will go on all sorts of different surfaces. But you could also stamp with them. You could also put them through your stencils as well. You can mix them with your texture paste. You can splatter with them, as we saw there. So, 12 lovely colours, all different colours. You've got the black and the white in there. You've got your primaries in there. There's a brown in there. These can be mixed together. They can be watered down. You can do whatever you please with them. £39.75 is the price of course. 
course for the one day special that's everything the paints and all those mediums as well 10 pounds saving we can offer that flexi buy option two payments of 19 pounds and 88 pence item number 291964 so i would urge you as i say top of this hour that's when the prices are probably going to change because we haven't got the four o'clock show uh, right let's just remind you of the other things as well while we've got the chance because of course we've got more for you we've got the stamps and we've got the papers so let's have a look at the stamps again first of all we'll do the full bundle first of all so with the large bundle you're getting both stamp sets now individually they're 13.99 each let me just turn these round again so you can see the front cover as well so you can see exactly what you're getting I will go through one or two samples as well and with the large bundle you get in all three packs of the A4 papers so it's background one two and set three now different kind of they're all very colorful or a mixture of grunge and color in there very sort of arty backgrounds but as you saw with the demonstrations with Joe again there you can easily over stamp you can do so much more with them and in fact let's just go through one or two more samples so you can see uh, I believe one of the papers has been used here as well but you've definitely got the the stamps there mixed with some of those board elements that we've got on the show as well but of course you don't have to go with those it's entirely up to you just seeing the different papers used in the background here as well also from the one day special using paints for effects over the top uh, you could stencil as I say with those paints as well using the texture paste you can make these beautiful beautiful items the boards also on the show if you like those as well of course now there's so much here actually so many wonderful samples let me show you this one as well again I know the papers have been used the stamps have been used in this one but also stencils and texture paste has been used as well so if you want to go for the big bundle we have got that flexi buy option for you 902202 is the item number but individually 13.99 is the price for the stamp sets individually you can see the details at the bottom of the screen for those and for the papers the papers again very popular actually 9.99 per pack now there are 14 a4 sheets 14 individual sheets uh, great quality you've kind of got that slightly glossy surface which means it's going to take your mediums without soaking the paper 170 gsm this is set number one so your fiery colors in here you've got lots of orange and yellow but you've got a mixture of the teals and the greens in here as well really lovely backgrounds some are more patterned than others which is great because sometimes you want to go with something that's already got a lot going on there but then other times you might want to choose something where it's a little bit less busy in the background and you want to over stamp on the top these are really really nice indeed and being a4 as well you've got lots of options to be able to use these in different ways you can cut into them however you want so option number one there let's just quickly get back through to the beginning option number two is this one uh, so set number two of backgrounds here bright colors in this one along with that grunge as well so rusty effects patina effects bright hot pink in here we've got greens and teals and blues again the cracked effect there as well absolutely beautiful I'm whizzing through them as fast as I can so I do want to try and show you all three sets and I know we're getting quite close to the end of the show look at that love that this is my favorite one my personal favorite one have you got your personal favorite or are you going for the big bundle these are just amazing they really are lovely so that's set number two and then set number three of our perfect backgrounds all de designed remember by Amanda Southern Amanda's done a fabulous job with these she really has now this one very bright most of them very bright and that's a little bit sort of uh, more grungy if you so if you want to say so but also quite a lot of brightness in this one as well there we are. Let me just keep going with these so you can see. So if you like your, your white areas, then maybe this is the one to go for because it does kind of lift the colours a little bit. But again, a very lovely combination of different designs here within this one bundle. Item number 874626, that's what you need for set one, set two or set three, all at 9.99 each. Now let's give you the announcement of our winner of Joe's wonderful um, projects of course now the winner which means she brought the one day special is Judith Carling well done Judith hope you're watching so we're cheering now yes 
you will make sure that Joe sends you all those samples along and well done some lovely things and inspiration for you as well for the future uh, right now then don't forget we've still got more for you to see don't forget the boards let's have a, a quick look at those before we get counted out of the show actually because you've got two different options under one item number this is the first one so you've got the light bulbs you've got the cogs you've got the alphabet and you've got the tags in that one all for 11.96 there is a freedom price on this 10 pounds and 76 pence item number 945948 and under the same item number if you want to go for the other option of course we have the windows the frames the bookmarks and again there's an alphabet there for you uh, absolutely gorgeous 945948 is the item number there 1076 remember freedom members take advantage while you don't have to pay the postage now we are being counted out or almost I'm just going to as I just say goodbye for this hour anyway I'll just hold up one or two more samples using the boards of course stay with us though much more to come I'm going to go over to another set because I've got another hour coming up stay with us. Bye-bye. Yes, coming up next, we've got an hour with Crafting with Clarity, some gorgeous items as well. Then we're back with Leone, some new items again today, and then Stampendous this afternoon. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Bev. 
Hi, I'm Sam, and we are from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister, and we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. very calm and relaxing that little opening there isn't it let's hope we've got a calm and relaxing hour uh, I think it could be a busy hour actually because we've got some fantastic products here from Clarity Stamp for you and of course Barbara's going to be here with some demonstrations lots of hints and tips so do stay with us throughout the hour now I've fallen in love with these straight away I've not seen these before this is the first time I've seen them I think these are absolutely beautiful the artwork is by Barbara herself so they are stunning now we have got some wonderful stamps for you here now the thing about these as well is there's so many ways you can mix and match them. I've got lots of lovely samples to show you but let's give you the details because we have of course got four individual stamp sets. We've got here the A5 floral wall stamp sets. You've got sets and masks designed by Barbara as I say and we've got two of the, the mounts for you as well. The much amounts which of course are going to work so beautifully for, the, for your stamping detail. Now let's have a look at these and I'll show you the samples because although we've seen some there on the counter right now I've got many more at the back here and it just shows how versatile these actually are so we've got a brand new configuration for these stamps for you they have been on before in a different configuration but they sold out so quickly we have brought them back again and with a great saving of 20 pounds as well now you can see it's not just the stamp it is the masks as well which does open up those options for you and um, great saving as I say look at this 24 pounds and 50 pence there saving if you it's, it's that freedom mode members saving oh you're doing well freedom members there you go 40 pounds and 46 pence if you're a freedom member that's your saving of 24 pounds and 50 pence so remember that's delivered price item number is 721034 regardless of your freedom member or not but of course the price will differentiate a little bit now look at this I love these these are so clever so using the stamps you can elongate as well so you can see the logs there those beautiful uh, flourishes and uh, florals there as well using them individually or masking off the area as well you can make smaller areas what about developing your framework look at that that is so wonderful absolutely gorgeous now the first one I'm showing you or the first samples I'm showing you here are using the florals and the logs that are in this first set but as I say as we go through each and every one of them you'll see the ways that you can actually mix and match so easily really really lovely designs Do you know again great work from the design team I uh, always see the fabulous work we have got names on the back here so I know we've got samples from Elaine we've got samples from Debbie we've got samples from Anne as well and many more besides let me show you the next one so that actual set there if I just hold the stamps up for you there we can see we've got the logs there that's the size of it but as you can see you can elongate it and you've got the florals there as well the next set a little bit different because I remember you're getting the stamps and the mask as well we've got the brick wall there and some more florals for you so you could easily interchange the logs for the wall with the different florals that sort of thing so remember the same item number because of course it's still part of the same bundle but I want to show you some more samples as well love that absolutely love that isn't that clever oh and I can see do you know just using that wall you could make this uh, chimney pot for Santa as well on the roof couldn't you as well build your roof and that up as well so think outside of the box as well really lovely masking off those areas how beautiful is that that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous oh these samples are stunning 
They really are. Now the third stamp in the set, you've kind of got your grassy area. Again, different florals again. There we are. You can see that one again. Remember, mixing and matching, however you want to do. But let's look at some samples there. This is using the floral that I've just shown you there. Lovely little card. So use in conjunction with your dies. Oh, now then, if you like the wall, that's coming up. That's also in the set as well. So again, mixing those around. You can see how the grass has been used at the bottom with the wall and the florals as well. So you really can put all these together to create those different scenes. Do you know you can make a little campfire with those logs as well, couldn't you? Do you know, every one of these samples so different as well. So the fourth sample or the fourth set of stamps with the mass, remember, is this one. So if you like the wall, you are getting this in the bundle. There we are, different florals again. That wall, so many clever ways of working with it. Let me show you the mask as well because I want you to be able to see that. So you can mask off the actual wall, you could mask off the background. It's the same with every one of the sets. You're going to get that corresponding mask with it. Let's show you some samples with this one. Again, so many options. Look at these. Do you know, if you want to just keep stamping and stamping with that wall, you can create a whole wall. You can use just a border. You can just use it as it is. Lots of options. Really beautiful. The colouring, I've got to say, that's been done here as well is amazing. Really lovely work. 721034 if you want to go for the full set. Remember, it's not just the four stamp sets. It's not just the four masks that you're getting as well. You are also getting your mounts. You're getting two of the mounts as well, which are designed, of course, by Clarity. Really, really good quality pieces here. There we go. Now, we are busy on those already. We'll see more of those, I'm sure, as we go through. But we have got more to show you as well. In fact, we've got some lovely items that are going to work so well with that collection there. Now, coming up next, we've got some word, we've got a word chain for you. Let's have a look at these. Now, these are very clever because, of course, you've got a lovely font here. That's the first thing I notice. You've got the different words in there. So you can build up your phrases. You can use individual words. You can put your words together. So you've got the scope again. I adore the font here because it's a... You know, it's a real mixture of your uppercase and your lowercase. It's quite a quirky, fun sort of font as well. I think it lends itself to all sorts of different styles. So there you can see Perfect Day. Just using the perfect, and I can see Lovely in the background there as well. What a lovely card that is. That was by Jane Telford. There you can see Ray of Sunshine has been used on that one. That one's from Julie. Another one from Jane here, using some of the words again there. Do you know, very, very clever. Look at this one. Now, that is clever. Let me just see who's done this one. This is by Barbara. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of that sun ray of all the different words there. Do you know whether you want to keep it as an individual word or you want to really go to town as Barbara has there? You certainly can do. This is lovely as well. This is by Anne. Isn't that gorgeous? Just $9.99 for the stamp set. Let me just pick the stamp set up so you can see it again. So all those different words there, individual stamps, so you can place them wherever you want them and build up those phrases however you like. 865-227 is the item number. Very useful set, that one. Now, we have got more, of course. We've got some more, uh, some more word chains for you, actually. We've got more in the way of a set of two for you, some more lovely samples as well. Look at the birds there with the get well soon. So you've got here the mini word chains. You've got new arrivals and good news. So, of course, I think it speaks for itself, the title. So think about the new arrivals within uh, babies arriving, that sort of thing. But also you've got the, the good news sentiments. So get well soon is included. We've got words like this one here that I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just going through the samples as we're having a good look at those stamps, actually. There you can see precious baby, you've got the girl, the boy, you've got darling, all those baby words in there. I think the samples will really show these off beautifully again. This one's by Sheila. You can see the wishing you happiness in there. And, uh, oh, that's a nice sample. Let me just uh, grab that so you can see you've got the acetate over the top. There, hugs and kisses, look, sending you lots of hugs and kisses as you go down. That is a lovely card, really lovely. That one's by Maria. Maria's done that one. Maria Morehouse, and this one's from Maria as well. You see, this is why these stamps are so clever. Look at that, sending you, and then the lots going the opposite way of hugs and kisses. Very clever use of them. 
it looks so so effective and of course when it comes to clarity think about all the papers that you're going to get from clarity or that you may have or you can still get on the website as well because these are going to work beautifully like that that is lovely these are so nice aren't they they really, really are. 19 99 you're getting two sets. Individually, there's 25 stamps here. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. 862-768. That's another one by Sheila, by the way. Isn't that stunning? Now, we have more for you because moving down, let's have a look what we've got next. We have got next, oh, I think we're going for, we're going for these because the mounts. Now then, you are getting two. You are getting two if you're going for that big bundle, but here we've got a selection of five. Five of the mounts for you. These are fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You'll see these being used in the demonstrations, I'm sure, from Barbara. Um, you recognise these, I'm sure, by now as well. What a great price. $12.99 for five. That really is great price. These are acrylic. These are made to last. They're very easy to hold. You're going to get great impressions from them. Lovely bundle, that one. I would be stocking up on those. If you can afford to go for more than one set, I would do because you will find you use them all. 087274 is the item number. So I've got some swatches at the back to show you as well so you can see exactly what you're getting. So if you like the stamps, as I say, you can go for the groovy boards you can go for these the set of four a6 plates but not only that you are getting the spacer plate in there as well i'm going to show you some little samples just the parchment onto the black card so you can see the individual designs so there you've got your brick wall with one of the florals then also in this set here there we are you've got the brick wall sorry the stone wall there as, as well then of course you've got your grass with the florals and you've also got the logs with the florals. And remember, once again, you can decide where these go. Yes, they come in packaging as a set, but you can mix them around however you want to mix them. These are just stunning, absolutely stunning. Oh, let me just show you some samples. Oh, talking of Santa, there's a seasonal one. That's by Amanda Look, using the stonework there for the chimney. Isn't that clever? And then here we've got spring there. We've got the beautiful florals. That's a white work there as well. Do you know, I'm just going to pick these samples up as they are at the back because it's a mixture of using all the different boards in different ways. How pretty are these? Do you know what I like about these as well? The florals, because they're nice and delicate, you can make your smaller cards, you can make your gift tags, you can make your little gift boxes, you can build things together for your bigger scenes as well. These are stunning using of course once again all the papers from clarity those beautiful uh, designer papers that they they bring us here at agenda and also your parchment as well whether you're using you know your colored pencils your waxes there's so many different ways of working with them oh look at that and i've just spotted another one that's kind of come loose from all the rest of the pile which i absolutely adore how beautiful is that isn't that gorgeous absolutely lovely now one thing i didn't just show you when i showed you the first swatches is the spacer plate so that's what you get in by means of the space plate that's what you get in the beauty lies in the tiniest things petal leaves and butterfly wings and you've got the butterflies and the little flourish there as well what an amazing price 19 pounds and 96 pence for all of that so the four plates and the spacer as well, all for that great price. Eight pounds saving, 069967. If you've not seen those before, grab those well. We've got that eight pounds saving. I adore those, I think they're fabulous. Now, moving down, we've got more for you. So we're staying with the groovy system now. So if you want to create more in the way of your words, your sentiments in those great fonts there, well, if you're going for the stamps, that's one thing. If you're going for your groovy, then you can achieve the same sort of thing with the groovy boards as well. So you've got your word chains here, the groovy border plate trio. You've got the word chains surprise and sunshine here as well. Beautiful. I've got samples of everything so I can show you when we've had a good look at those. Again, an amazing price here because these are substantial pieces. And again, they're going to open up all sorts of options for you. So there, look at the words in that one. What a surprise, lovely gift, wow, thank yous. You've got so much in there, great, perfect. How kind, thoughtful, generous, you're the best, brilliant. Ray of sunshine. So you can mix these around, use individual words again, or use them in sentiments or sen uh, sentences. Really lovely. The bigger font there as well. And then we have this one. 
There you go. So you really have got the best of everything. Let me show you one or two samples made with these as well because they've got to be seen. They're absolutely amazing. Love these. Mixing with your other boards, of course. If you're going with the lace work, if you're going with your white work, if you're, you're, you're going with your piercing and you're, uh, you're snipping out the detail there, these are just lovely. Absolutely lovely. £19.97, £4 saving. Grab these while we've got a discount on them again. 481019 is the item number. Lovely work there. Now, we've got one more item to show you on the counter. We've got some more in the way of those word chains for you as well. So these are lovely. Uh, again, if you want to mix these around a little bit, you can do so you can choose the words that you want. We've got a set of two here. These are your petite word chain border plates. You've got brilliant and celebrate. I think you can see clearly the words that you get in there, very clearly actually, but I have got the little swatches to show you as well. So just use onto your parchment. Again, amazing because you can place these however you like to put them onto your cards. So there we've got one. There we've got the second one. But seeing these samples again, you can see exactly what you can achieve. So there, sending you lots of hugs and kisses on that one. I love this. That is fabulous. That's by Louise. Look at that. Very clever way of working with those word chains there as well. Again, using plates from Groovy, of course. £15.98 for this option. Item number 758492. Now, everything is on the website, so you can go over there. It's not just what we've got on the counter now. There's so much, but of course... Do pay attention to the discounts we've got throughout this hour. We've got some great bundles for you. The reviews, as always, when we look across the clarity there, five star, look, five star, just amazing. Now, remember, when we come to the groovy boards and the stamps, when we've had them here before, different configurations, they sold out. So we've got new configurations for you. If you've missed out the first time, then don't miss out this time please make sure you check those baskets out. Now then, if you haven't started with your Groovy yet, perhaps you want to go for the starter kit. That is there for you. It's a deluxe version as well. Uh, always worth starting there right at the beginning. Maybe a new craft for you. But so much to see on the website, whether it's uh, the dies, whether it's the Groovy boards, or whether it's the stamps and all the accessories. Right, okay, now... I do hope that we might be able to speak to Barbara, but while well, we just wait and see, because I'm not certain about that yet, we'll have another look at this set because it is very busy. This is, this is a fabulous configuration for you. This is our main deal. Now, look at this. You've got £20 saving here, but Freedom members, £24.50. Now, I'm just hearing that Barbara's on the line, so we're going to speak to Barbara. I'm going to say good afternoon and hope she's there. Hi, Barbara. Hello, Catherine. Hello. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Busy. Good. I hope that you're safe. Yes. So far, so good. Keeping safe, done as I'm told. Missing you in the building. Missing yes. You, yes. You know was, what? Oh. We, we, we have to work with what we've got, and at the moment, we've got a telephone. So true, yes. We miss you a great deal, Barbara, but it's lovely to be able to see you on video at the very least, showing us all your hints, tips and inspiration. I believe that's what we've got coming up as well. But I've got to that's say, nice. Barbara, this is the first time I've seen these. I've not seen them before. This is a new configuration, and it's your artwork, and they're absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, I drew these myself, and when you look at the four, if you just look at the stamps, it's the same and groovy as well, but the whole idea was that you've got like four um, floral, floral stamps, if you like, and then you've also got four settings for them, so you've got the rockery or the brick wall or the logs, and, and what I'm going to show you in the demo coming up is how they're interchangeable yeah. and why the flowers have got like straight lines underneath, and if you look at the stamps, you'll see that they've got like a very a very defined uh, under underline um, and there's a good reason why I did it like that but I think that they're so useful and so versatile um, so in the demos that I've got lined up for you I'm going to show you how to make frames how to do top and tail so it's just old tricks and tips really Catherine oh it is fabulous and the fact that you've got the stamps with the mask as well for each one everyone's got their own mask okay. there so you can cover up the you know whether it's the wall you want to cover the wall and then work with the background or vice versa you've got the options and reusable masks as well if you stop the camera like i'm just looking now on the rockery you'll see i'm going to show you how you can actually make a frame and there's something very clever with these masks there's an additional little something that our lisa introduced 
and it really helps the alignment. But oh. I'll show you that when we when we get to it. Yeah, it's good. Oh, can't it's wait. Really good. Yeah, can't wait. And I think the price is good as well. If I look at this, you're saving twenty pounds, aren't you? You are. In fact, if you're a Freedom member, you're saving £24.50. And, and that is incredible value because, Barbara, as you know, it's not just the stamps and the masks. There's also two of the mounts included as well in this bundle. And this time, I turned them on their side. So we decided to go with these where the handles are, are, are on the side. So that way, ah. you can really, really, it's for alignment. It's much, much better. There's no handle in the way. So when you're using it, it's, it's a lot easier because you've still got the control. You can hover with the handle, but um, you can see the entire stamp, which is great. It certainly is. And I've got to say, just going back to the stamps, Barbara, as well, the size of them for me is absolutely perfect because we've seen, and as you've spoken about there, you can build these together. You can build your frames, you can build your scenes, you can keep it small, you can go much larger. So the size that you've actually created here within the stamps is absolutely perfect. It really does leave it open to all sorts of different options. And they options. tessellate. You know, they yeah. tessellate and they mix and match so you can go as large or as small as you like. You can make little notelets, you can make little birthday notelets, and you can make a huge anniversary celebrations, you know. Definitely. I've got to say the prices across the board are just incredible today. They really, really are. But when it comes to this set, that saving there and a flexi buy option as well just makes it a lot easier for everybody. And it is truly incredible value, Barbara. It really is. Well, I, I'm very glad that you're doing such a stellar job at the studios. You know, I hats off to everybody at Ho Chandler Aww. because this is not easy. You know, to try and steer this ship remotely as you're doing is pretty spectacular. And I'm so proud of you all, you know. Oh, thank you, Barbara. And we, we can't wait to see you back here. We really can't. But your inspirational videos, of course, they, they speak volumes. And we're going to see that. We're going to say goodbye to you right now so we can bring in one of your videos. Barbara, do keep staying safe can't wait to yeah. see you back here the whole team we have missed you so much uh, you know, we're just, you. I'm just seeing a still of you right now on one of my monitors and it's as though you're here in the building with me now but it, I know it's not quite the same but thank you so much for joining us it's lovely to hear your voice at the very least take care love lots of love to you thank you bye bye, bye, -bye you take now. care bye bye, bye, -bye. Oh, how lovely. We are going to get straight into that video. That's why I can see you, Barbara, actually, because we've got a video coming up. So here we go. We'll bring her in right now. Hi. Well, so the first thing I want to do today is show you why I drew the stamps the way I drew them. Obviously, as has been explained, they're all interchangeable, so you can mix up the flowers with the different settings with the brick wall or the log, the log pile. But what I want to do is show you why I drew the flowers along a straight line rather than stalky. So if we have a look, for example, at this piece of artwork, you'll see that all I've done is taken the stamp, one of the stamps, you could do this with any of them, and I've used it as a top and a tail for a sentiment. So it's so simple to do. But because it's got this straight line along there, it creates its own border, which is really nice. Here, for example, I've used um, the daisies, I think they're called here. This one, I've used the lisianthus, but you can see it's the same principle. All you're doing is topping and tailing. So let's take a look at how we've constructed this. All I'm stamping on is a, a piece of stencil card, and then I'll cut it back. Um, as necessary. So I've already trimmed it substantially. Um, and then what I'm going to do now, I'm giving myself a little bit of wiggle room around the outside. And you'll notice that I've used this long handle, this, um, we call it the moosh arm out, and it's, it's long and slim. And what that means is that I can see the entire stamp without covering it up at all. And um, if I'm right handed, I'll hold it that way and if I'm, I'll mount it in that way um, but because I'm left-handed I've mounted it like this. So what we're going to do first of all is stamp the image using a Versa, a VersaFine or an Archival Black. Archival Black. These stamps are super fine um, so we'll just ink up you'll see that the detail is, is, is special. So we're just going to hover with the handle till we're happy with the position and then we'll we'll just lower down onto the paper and then we're going to press on the flat of the stamp. So once we've done that, right, let's have a look over here. You'll see 
when I lift that off, I'll get a beautiful sharp image. Then I can turn this around and I'm gonna do exactly the same here. But before I do that, let me take a piece of copy paper, uh, masking tape and let me give myself a guide. So I can line up, see I put the masking tape there and that will give me the perfect width to put a message in. So again, I'm just gonna ink up the stamp like so, just do that. And then I'm gonna come over and I can hover, you see, and I can see exactly where it was before. I'm gonna avoid the masking tape um, so I can, but it gives me a really straight edge there, you see. And I'm looking above and below and I'm gonna press on the flat of the stamp on this area here, like so. Then I lift this up and when I take away my masking tape, you'll see I've straight away, let's go from above, you'll see I've got my, my gap. So this is really easy. Then what I'm gonna do is take my, my mini, now this is nice. You see, you've got, you've got these chains of words that you can mix and match. They're all individual now because we've changed the way we do the process and they're very, very, um, fine line. We're lucky that we're able to do that. You see, get well soon. Wishing you happiness. Hugs and kisses. Lots of hugs. Sending you hugs. You see, you just mix and match the words as you fancy. So I've already, I've loaded my handle with hugs and kisses and I know that that's going to sit in there really nicely. I just wanted to show you how they work so they don't come in a chain, you don't have to cut them up anymore now. And what's lovely is because of that indexing that I was just showing you, it's great because you can see, right let me come to this one so I can come over the top and I can see exactly where I'm going. See and then you hover with the handle, then you press like so and there's our hugs and kisses. So you can see you've positioned the words beautifully and, uh, and it's ready to be colored in. But it's very easy to, to, um, to lay out. And as I said before, this is, this is the, you can do the same thing with any one of those lovely flower sprays that I drew. So once you've done that, let me just fast forward to one that I started colouring in. You can see that I've trimmed it down a little bit and I just want to, just a couple of little finishing tricks really, but the main object of this exercise was to show you how to position your, work, your, your artwork. Um, now as far as colouring in goes, if we're going to use pencils for example, let me, let me take this pencil, these are perga liners. If I was going to put colour, let me just show you a couple of little tricks. If I'm going to put colour in this area here, right, we'll colour in the flowers in a minute, but let's do the border first. If I, if I take my ruler, I would certainly use my ruler for this, and I'm going to line, what I've got is on the back of my ruler, I've added what I call a groovy grip. We call it a groovy grip, and it sticks to the ruler. It's not adhesive, it comes off, it's like a piece of plastic, but it stops the ruler sliding around. You see, if I don't have this on here, then the ruler just slips around. But as soon as I add, watch this, it's so interesting. When I add a piece of this groovy grip, it, by the way, it comes in, let me show you, just, I digress, but it comes in A4 sheets. So all I've done is taken a little strip and just added it to the back of my ruler. Um, you could put this on your, on your light wave. You can put it on your bathroom mat if your mat slides around. It's really cool. But what's really cool is, uh, let me show you. you, when you. When you're not pressing on it, it slides around. The minute I press, let me, as soon as I do, watch, I'm sliding around, not pressing. As soon as I press, because it's got the groovy grip on it, you watch, it won't move. So that means that it doesn't slide. This is really good for doing artwork. So it means that now, if I, if I come in here, I'm not pressing on this, so I'll just wait until I'm happy with the position. And then when I press, now it's not going to move while I'm working, you see? So you put it in place, decide that it's not going to move, and then all I'm going to do is take my, my perga liner, which one have I got? One of my blending pencils, right? And I'm just going to come along that edge 
along there and along this edge here as well. So I'm using the ruler to give me my edge, but I'm not going into the center, you see? So I've got my color there and I've got my color there, but I've left that bit open in the middle. And then I can take another color, say it doesn't matter whether it's one of the aqua pencils or um, it really is of no consequence. It's, it's a color thing rather than a, a type of pencil. So I could take one of the water soluble pencils, which is, this one is, uh, see it says A on it for, let me show you, A for aqua. So it's a water one. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the, with the ruler until I'm happy with the, see, and then I can add that color into the center. So I'm blending the color like so. And you can see how you can get in really, really tight on that edge there. As far as the rest of the coloring in goes, it's, it's really very simple. Let me just show you a couple of little tricks. Um, we'll just do one of these. If I, again, I can use my aqua pencil. Let's just say I want this color. So I'm going to pop this color in. That's easy enough. Right, round we go. So I've done that flower. Okay, so that, that's good enough. Right, I've got that nice pink in. Then perhaps I'll go to the darker one that I just used in the border. So this is an aqua pencil. This is a blending pencil. Doesn't matter. In fact, I've got a second one that I probably want to add. This is another watercolor one. It's slightly darker. So I'm going light, medium, dark. All right. So I've done the lightest color. And now I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to come round. Let's add a little bit of depth to this flower. This is really nice to do. So we'll come round like so. And we'll add a little bit of so light feathery strokes, sorry, let me just come into vision, right, like so, you see? So light feathery strokes from the center, maybe we could add a little bit of depth in there as well. Then I'll take the darkest one, and then, so you've gone all the way with the light one, halfway with the medium one, and then the dark one, you're just going to stick to the outer edge, and you'll see if you just go round that outer edge, it will give you that beautiful it gives you a really nice dimensional effect. You see, just stick to the inside there. And then once you've done that, if you feel you, you can also add a tiny bit of the, the darker, go with the medium one, add a little bit of the medium one around the outside as well. And that will give you that feeling of lightness on the, on the petal that the sun is hitting the petal. See? So you do that, and then if you wanted to, I hope you can see this okay, I'll, I'll offer it up to you so you can see it. There you go. So you, you see exactly what I'm doing here. Just a little bit of depth on the inside. Right. And then what I can do is take my, my micron pen, and, and here comes the doodle. So if I want to add some interest where, the, where it's not there, I can just add some dots in the center of the flower. And I'm now I'm making my own art out of the simple outlines, you see? So that's really, that's how we colour in. And it's entirely up to you. So if we take, for example, the one that's already coloured in here, let me show you for it. Let me just show you. I can I can add the dots, I can add some interest there. I can add more depth around the outside. I can add uh, in, in the leaves with the doodles, even after I've coloured in, I can add my my own touch, you see? So it's before or after you colour in, it's entirely up to you. But it's really, um, the main thing is that you know how to divide out your your flowers like this so that you give yourself a border. And then once you've done this, as far as the background goes, now we've got choices. You can make your own background or you can use our um, designer topper papers or, or card like this. So now this would sit really nicely on, on here, right? And let me show you something else as well because we've given it quite a generous border. If I wanted to, I could cut this right back to the edge like this. Now, this is really nice. 
and then I've trimmed it so it's really tight you see and then you could add your your words into there as well and make smaller notelet size cards which are also pretty so it's up to you whether you expand it like this or whether you compress it by cutting back on the sides very very versatile in effect and and just to finish on another little thing I want to show you is that you can also you can stamp onto the designer paper beautifully so you can see here I've used the, um, the stone wall I've covered it up and then I've added some of the other flowers that are on the show to the background but this is stamped directly with a black archival straight on the designer paper thank you Oh, so many hints and tips and those cards are absolutely beautiful. Now everything that Barbara's been using there throughout that demonstration can be found on the website of course. There's so much available through Clarity. Now let's just give you a reminder of this fabulous bundle here because oh, the value of this is just incredible. You're saving as a non-freedom member £20 but as a freedom member you're saving £24.50. Now there are four individual stamp sets here and you get the masks that correspond and you get two of the mounts as well but the lovely thing about it if you were watching from the beginning you will know this already and you can see how versatile these stamps are but you can create so many different looks you can mix and match them together you can tessellate them you can create frames and borders build up whole scenes layers it just goes on and on and on now I did show you a lot of samples earlier on we can see some right now but I'm just going to pick up one or two more as I give you the details again just so you can see some of the fabulous work that's been achieved using these stamps you know now, whether it's just keeping it very simple with just one of the stamps with the florals whether you're mixing whether you're masking areas off it just works so beautifully doesn't it there's the details 721034 that's the item number that you need for these this is a brand new configuration for today if you've never seen these stamps before they have been brought in a different configuration but they sold out so quickly if you missed out or like me I've never seen them until today now's the chance to get them while well, we've got that great price now a third of the stock has already gone give you the number again there one more time 721034 don't miss out while we've got this amazing saving on this bundle now let's give you a reminder of one or two other things as well because of course using the word chains Barbara did use word chains within that demonstration there well this is the first one we've got for you this is our mini word chain you've got you've got kind and ray of sunshine here in fact there are 12 individual different stamps on this one set really really lovely you can see one of the samples from Andy there in the front but we've got many more at the back here I'm just going to pick one or two of them back up again when we've had a look at the different words because of course you can use those words individually you can put them together you can create sentiments or sentences again I've got to say I love the mix of the uppercase and the lowercase letters together I've always liked that look but with the quirk style as well it kind of lends itself to any sort of theme it really really does just look at this this is such a clever card from Barbara using those words then creating that sunshine isn't it beautiful 999 if you want to go for this one 865 227 that's the item number if you want to go for the mini word chain then moving down we've got a set of two for you now sticking with the word chains but this is a set of two and great words for you as well for different occasions now that in total there's 25 stamps within this set of two so you've got new arrival and you've got good news sentiments here so new arrival obviously we're thinking of a, a newborn baby perhaps but you've got words that you could use in other places as well uh, lovely words to use as you can see precious you've got the girl the boy in there as well you've got darling uh, you know so again it's not just for babies you will find other uses and of course you've got the good news sentiments as well how adorable is that card I love the use of the, the wording as you come down the side here and also into the card itself absolutely beautiful uh, <laughs> Do you know, they blow me away every time, the design team. They really, really do. The cards, every time, are so different depending on who's done them. But everybody's given the same equipment to work with. Love the use of the words there. 862-768 is the item number. If you want to go for the set of two word chains, just 19 99 
Now the mounts do get these. Oh, these are fabulous. You saw Barbara using them with the new handles on the end there as well. A set of five. I've got to say I'm really, really amazed at the price here because I know the cost of acrylic. I know how good these are. $12.99 is going to get you a set of five. If you want more than those and you can afford to go for them, I would get them because you will use them. 087274 is the item number if you want to go for those brand new today. Then, of course, oh, moving down again, I've fallen in love with these. Do you know, if you love the stamps and you haven't seen the groovy plates yet, you've, you've got to go for these as well. Now, these have been here before, but again, they sold out so quickly last time. So you can see the design from the stamps there is the same in the groovy plates themselves, but you're also getting the spacer as well. So you can see you've got those different florals, you've got the grass, you've got the stone wall in, you've got the logs, you've got the brick wall. Everything will mix and match again. A great saving of eight pounds just 1996 for the whole bundle you break that down don't forget you are getting that spacer in there as well that is really incredible value, 069967. Now, if you go for the plates individually, normally you'd be looking at 499 for a plate, and then you've got that spacer as well. This is where we've got the eight pounds saving. But you know what, even at full price, I just think these are incredible value. I really, really do. Uh, a couple of little samples, and we're gonna get back to VT because um, Barbara's got amazing sample, uh, demonstrations for us with lots of hints and tips along the way and we've got one with the groovy boards as well which we want to get to as soon as possible. Just look at these, aren't they beautiful? Go for those designer papers if you haven't got them as well because they're going to lend themselves to so many of the different projects that you do. 069967 is the item number you want to go for this one. We are ready to go back and see Barbara, I believe. Um, I thought we're going to head over there. I can see she's ready and waiting for us. Let's head back over to Barbara's craft studio. Right, groovy time. One of the best things about clarity in my opinion is that we can take the the line art that we make our lovely stamps with and we can convert it into uh, groovy plates for parchment art so if we take a look here at this lovely lisianthus with the stoneware with the rockery what you'll see is that we can also take that artwork and convert it into a groovy plate and you'll see it's a little bit larger um, but it maintains all the detail, which is marvellous. So this is an A6 plate, and this will sit beautifully. If you've got a starter kit, this will sit beautifully in your starter kit, A5 square uh, groovy plate mate. And we've, we've supplied you also with a little spacer, and that will fill the gap so that it sits nicely while you're working. So let me just pop that to one side for a minute. We'll come back to that. Let's have a look at the artwork that we want to go through today. Um, and what, we, what we're going to look at, we just had a, a look at uh, how to build the rockery and the log pile, for example, how to build a frame in the stamps. Now, with Groovy, it's even easier because you just take the bits you want. So I want to show you, first of all, how we're going to build the frame and also um, how we're going to overlap the stamps, or sorry, the groovy images, to the front. So it's very easy. It's just literally a stage by stage thing, isn't it? So if we go to the first stage, we're going to need, this is a real starting out project. We're going to need a piece of A5 um, parchment, which comes in the starter kit. And the first thing we're going to do is cut out um, I would suggest the best thing to do is to use our nested Pico dies if you've got them and cut out the, the set first so you can see that this is exactly where we've gone that we've cut this out let me show you on the back these are fantastic dies see and what they do is they give you it it looks like authentic Pico cutting so if we cut in close now you'll see it looks absolutely authentic as if you've gone round and pico cut all of this by hand now how do we introduce the white work uh, the line art on this um, that also is very simple because when you get your nested pico um, die you also get your groovy plate to go with it and so then that plate i'm just talking you through this here that plate then comes into play 
you relocate your cut piece and then from the back using your number one tool you add your lines you see here are the groovy plate lines and then when you turn it over you've got your lovely white embossed line art so your frame then is all ready to go so we've got our frame the next thing is we want to introduce the actual artwork the design so the way to do that is to take our groovy plate mate take our lizzie plate take our lovely the beauty lies in the tiniest things spacer so that that all sits in place and then we'll start adding now the first thing we're going to add you've got to work in layers here the first thing we're going to add is this this piece here this rockery so this will sit and you're working from behind and you're going to set your rockery into that area there and then you'll use your your groovy tabs and if I can find them we'll be laughing ha 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 and I've got them here somewhere here we are right so you're going to use your groovy tabs to hold them in place while you add this particular um, rockery at the base because then what you're going to do is so let's just let's just pretend that there's somebody watching now that's never done this before so you're going to add you're just going to wipe through with a tumble dryer sheet this also comes in the starter kit in case you haven't got a tumble dryer at home and then you're going to take your number one tool which is also in the starter kit and let's just for the sake of argument you see let's just do the top part of this plate just so that you understand and then we'll fast forward so let's just imagine we're doing the whole rockery though but just for the sake of argument we're going to just do the top bit because that's the only bit that's um, important for us so then we'll lift this up you see and this is the other thing this is why you've got this whole spacer and groovy plate mate because you can turn over and you can check your progress you can see whether you're pressing hard enough whether you're happy with it and then when you go back in you see it relocates exactly where it's want to be so you do all this bit you do your rockery let's pretend we've done the whole lot then you lift this up and you go like so and then you move so that your flowers are exactly where you'd like them to be so then the next thing you're going to do is put your flowers in right so now you're going to take the same tool you're going to wipe with your tumble dryer sheet the base of your flowers now is behind you're going to take your number one tool I'm going to use my um, my groovy guard hang on a minute we're going to have a cascade in a minute right I'm going to use my groovy guard to hold in place and then for example I'm going to start using my number one tool to introduce all the flowers right so let's pretend I've done all that see when I get to the base of the rockery I'm going to not go I'm going to stay north of it I'm going to stay above it so it, all the flowers all the embossing that I do here is all going to be above it doesn't matter underneath so you haven't got to mask it like in stamping that's the really cool thing the groovy thing about groovy is you just use the bits you want so in other words you stay above and then when you've done all this let's just stay above this line you'll see what I'm getting at so you do all your flowers and you stay above the line and that means then you can ignore a flower if you don't want to put that flower in or you want to move that flower over here then that's up to you entirely you can you can translate the artwork as is you could put roses in from the other plates you could make a whole a completely original uh, landscape by using different flowers but the point is that when you take this away when you turn it over you'll see that all artwork is above the rockery so let's just fast forward because I know this all takes so much longer and we're running against the clock but you can see when we look at this I've done my I've done all my work I did my just to recap I did my rockery then I did my flower then I turned it and I did my next side of the rockery because 
and now I avoid the flower, same as I avoided the rockery. And then I go again and I put my next rockery area in. And then I go again and I add, so in the end I've gone all the way round, you see. And now when we look at what we're, what we're doing, you'll see I've got all of that rockery. I've created a lovely frame with it, which is really easy to do. It just takes as long as it takes, doesn't it? Now, once we've done that, let's go back to our artwork. The only other thing that we haven't done yet is our landscape. So where do we find the landscape? Now, there's a plate in the starter kit, which I, which looks really, really simple. Cool, might as well love. Um, it looks very simple. It has to be because I drew it. Um, but the idea is that you can create fabulous artwork like landscapes with it. So you pop that in, you've got loads of hills here and different. And when you turn it round, you see you've got different hills, you've got jagged hills. So it's a lot more um, versatile than you think. And when you look here, you'll see there's that line there. That's it there. And then I've added a moon behind. So just for simplicity's sake, you see, you can see through the artwork. You can see exactly where you want to place it. You, I do always say that it's a good idea to use groovy tabs just to hold it in place while you're working so it doesn't slide. Right, then you're going to take, again, you're going to take your number one tool and you're going to, you, I use my groovy guard only because it holds it in place while I'm working. And now I'm going to decide where I want my hill to be, where I want my, my mountain to be, and I'm going to stay within my frame, you see? So if I do that, and when I come round here, if I want, let's just keep it simple, and let's just use the hill that's here. And you see, I'm going to stay away from the flowers in the foreground, otherwise I'd spoil it. So that's my hill. And then you see, you move your artwork around. It's really easy. Move your artwork around. So where you want the moon to, so say that's the sun or the moon, right, pop that in and then we're just going to keep that in place but above, keep it above obviously the hill, otherwise that would look pretty strange, okay, like so. And then when we look at our, this is quite nice, this is simple, I like simple things, see the little birds, can you see the birds in the artwork, Let's see if I can show them to you, you see the birds there? in the sky. Let me show you where I found them on my groovy plate. If you come along here on the groovy plate mate, now I've got to turn this round. If you can read groovy then you've got, you're on the right side. That means I'm on the, see so you, you go back to front. So that's why the letters are back to front because we work from the back. Now here on this plate this is where this little, see the little birds here? It's not really, it's like a sedilla or something. But what I'm going to do is just use, again, from the back, I'm just going to use the top part of that to add a couple of birds. Look, see? you use what you've got, don't you? This one's straying. There you go. So when you turn it round, there your birds are. Look, see, isn't that cool? How nice is that? So now all the artwork is done. That's, that's, that's all the line art, all the composition. So the next thing we need to do is the embossing and the colouring. Now, with the white work, that takes a little longer, doesn't it? So if, for example, I was to take, again, my starter kit. In the starter kit, there is a, uh, a black mat. And in that black mat, you'll see on one side it's hard and on the other side it's soft. It's soft. And it's that soft side that we're going to use to do our embossing. So come back in a minute and I'll show you that. Oh, do you know, I was watching that very, very closely. What a gorgeous card. Now, the second part of that demonstration will actually be shown tomorrow at five, in the five o'clock hour because there's another show, of course, using these products then. So let's give you a final reminder of one or two things because we're not far from the end of the show now. Beautiful work there from Barbara, as always. Let's have another look at the stamps and the details for the stamps. They've been very, very busy. Now, if you didn't see these the first time around, they sold out so quickly. We've got a brand new configuration for you. Now, half of the stock has gone remember there is another show tomorrow let me just show you those individual stamps again because you do also get the masks included 
Now, I hope we'll get to see these in action as well tomorrow. So the stamps themselves, you're getting four individual ones. This one has the log and also the florals there as well. There you can see the corresponding mass that goes with it. Then the second set. Now, this one here we have, let me make sure I've got these in order. We've got the brick wall. Again, different florals in here. Remember, you can mix and match these together so you can change the florals with the different elements. You can tessellate them all as well. There's your mask that goes with the wall. It really does open the options up. Then we have our grassy verge, so to speak, or our grassy area, which again, you can, you can build that up in as many layers as you like. You've also got the florals there, and again, the mask that goes with it. And the final set of the four, of course, is the stone wall, which I think is so, so useful. You saw that in the groovy demonstration with the groovy plates there, but the same design with the stamps there. And of course, you've got your mask that corresponds. There we are, 40 pounds and 46 pence is the price for the whole bundle. And don't forget, I mustn't forget myself, you also get two, two of the mounts as well, the much amounts. Absolutely fantastic. Well worth every penny and more. That great saving here, 721034. We're back at five o'clock tomorrow with another show, but you can be buying, of course, in between times, in between now and then. Don't forget about those groovy plates as well. We've got some amazing prices on these. That's it for me. That's it for groovy for today. But of course, we will be back. There's much more to come. Derek's coming up, actually. See you soon. Yes, let Leonie loose. Leonie's back with da our Derek here this afternoon. Stampendous to follow with Maggie. And then we've got That's Crafty One Day Special. In fact, we haven't because it's changed. <laughs> Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. I'm Ali Reeve, I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm Mark. From Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. 
Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Welcome. It's marvellous to have your company. You have coach tuned in to the second hour of Let Leone Loose. And I am so excited. We had a very busy hour um, in the the earlier hour, 11 o'clock hour. I couldn't remember the time. Um, brand new company to us um, at Achanda. A company, they've been around since 2017. Um, they're made up of friends, basically. Um, a load of ladies um, who bring us... Chow Ciao Bella, um, from Italy, of course, let me show you the designs. Now, you didn't see this collection in the first hour. This is gorgeous. I do apologise. Our um, graphics, are the bits that you normally see on the screen, they're down at the minute, but it's OK, I can read to you, so it'll be fine. Um, we will be able, we will be able to show you the item number. Now, let me show you this. So, this is the first one. Let me show you this. This is a, a thing of beauty. So what you've got, first of all, it's your 12 by 12 papers. Now, you didn't see this in the first hour, and this is absolutely adorable. I know, however, it was really busy in the first hour. Now, these are all double-sided papers. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Over, we didn't show it live, but over half the stock has gone. Now, you've got a real mixed media look to this. You've got some seriously cool papers. I mean, look at that. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Um, a really, really cool colour palette on this. It's got a real mixed media look. It's got a real vintage look. It's got, I mean, when you look at that, you've got the flowers, but you've got that beautiful sort of merging of the florals. But then, um, obviously, you know, a landscape there with the birds as well. But you've got crackle. It's just such a gorgeous collection. Now, 190 GSM, so really nice weighty papers. Um, and in this one, you've actually got um, 24 designs. There's 12 sheets, but you've got 24 designs because they're all double-sided. I mean, you've got so many beautiful designs. I do take my time. I apologise because I want you to see it all. I just love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> we can't put anything on anyway, so we've got big screens. So we might as well make the most of it. Now, you've got, of course, beautiful tags. You've got sentiments um, and all these sensational papers. That watercolour element mixed up with that wonderful vintage collage layering. I love that you've got a kitten as well. I just think that is beautiful and quite unusual for your papers. I love the colour palette. You've got such a variation on this one. And you have got some beautiful, beautiful sentiments as well. Um, absolutely stunning. And some gorgeous flowers in there. You know, you've got a real mixture of florals. So that's your first. That's your 12 by 12 paper. 
And as I said, um, 12 design, uh, 12 papers, 24 designs. You've then got within the collection your A4. Now, it all, of course, matches. Everything goes together. Your A4, um, they do count your main page as one of the papers because obviously you've still got all your beautiful detail on there. You're going to be cutting that up. I mean, when you look at it, you've got all these teeny tiny elements. You would definitely cut this up. And that's why they haven't coated it. So it's uncoated, so it'll allow you to ink on it, allow you to cut it out, you'll be able to do all sorts. Now you have nine double sided sheets here. I love these because obviously if you just cut them out and use them as um, you know as a journaling card in your scrapbooking, in your journals, beautiful. These ones, perfectly designed. You can literally cut that in half, fold it, you've got a card. Yay, we've got graphics! And it's a card that's even got your insides. I do love these. I think these are seriously cool. But if you're just folding them, you make beautiful cards. You've got loads of gorgeous tags. You've got your sentiments as well, which are wonderful. Um, and again, really, really pretty colour palettes. Um, let your dreams blossom and see. I love all the gorgeous letters. Now, a little bit more about uh, Ciao Bella. So, yeah, what they work with um, some wonderful illustrators, as you can tell, um, Italian illustrators um, who work alongside the CEO of the, the, the company and also the graphic designers and they're really, they're really proud of the designs of the company and they said a lot of the customers come back to them and tell them they get a really good positive feeling from them and they said they want to put um, soul into the products. It's not just bringing you an incredible collection of, of gorgeous images to work with but they wanted nowhere. It's near limited stock. Oh, did you say Neil Limited? Wow, really? Okay, it's Neil Limited stock. It's okay, I don't have to do that. That I've just been cutting out. <laughs> You've also got five rice papers. You know, you should never prep your your, your demos. Yeah, honestly, no, don't prep, Leona. Um, beauty, you're getting five sheets of this rice paper, and it is absolutely exquisite. Beautiful designs. That's my favourite paper in there. So you're getting five sheets. Let me show you what I did do. Now, I like these little frames, the proper under, because you can do all sorts of them, but they're a magnetic frame, so you don't have to glue anything. So it means you can obviously just take them out when you want to change them. But doesn't that just, that's a little bit of paper. Doesn't that look good? And then when you spin it round the other side, isn't that beautiful? I mean, one side might have a photograph, the others, and that's just your papers layered. Absolutely adore it. And have a look at that one. So that is, uh, that's just um, MDF. So it's just an MDF frame and my favourite paper, of course. Again, layered using the rice paper that's coming up as well to add extra texture, extra layers to that. Whew, okay, your bundle's all in baskets. Check your baskets out. We've still got some base, um, right, so you've still got your A4 left, but we haven't got any 12 by 12 that has gone. If you do want your A4, it is almost limited stock. F wow, okay. Um, 410816, however, we've got rice papers. Now, your rice papers, you've got choices in your rice paper. So that 12 by 12 might as well move out. Good. Okay, okay, we're, we're trying to see what we can do. So we've got in your rice paper, so you have got choices. So remember you're getting five sheets of the, the one design. So you could have that one, that comes in that bundle. Um, but obviously if you do want this, because it, it is um, available individually. So that's one choice, bear with. Let me say, oh, easy, I can read that, falling in love. So that's your falling in love. Yeah, the other ones, some of them fox me on other ones. You'll find out soon. This one is your Spring Melodies. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Absolutely love that. And then now this. This is an essential because that is so handy. That's your background. Any of these will fit with it, but it just makes a good base. But as I used on there, it's really nice for going over the top because look, 
it sits over the top but you can see through it so you can see under it to the paper so it literally just adds layers it literally just adds a good texture definitely if you're thinking of one it's funny actually because i say this a lot a lot of the the rice papers that we go for are the pretty ones you know the ones with the the really beautiful designs whereas actually we need these as well in our stash because they're the ones that really work with so many of our goodies now if you do want your rice papers you've got your choice is there nine pence and 95 pence per set four one zero three zero three right now next the 70s this did sell out we have got extra stock we haven't got much stock um, and it is extended you only have to wait till the 22nd of the month so it's not it's worth it this is the coolest paper collection I love this okay the 12 by 12s and the A4s have sold out individually. They're only available in the collection. If you want this, you need to check your baskets out. As I was saying, do you know what? Me and Derek were chatting before the show and really reminiscing, you know, because obviously this reminds us of so much of childhood. I know Derek was saying he had a pram, an orange pram, weren't it? He had a pram, was it about this tone? And leatherette, leatherette pram. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I really wish you still had it though. I mean, now, I said now we'd make it into a lamp, wouldn't we? Um, okay, so you're getting, do, 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 I can't remember how many's in here. Was it 12? Yeah. So you're getting 12 papers in here. These are amazing. So you've got those seriously cool 70s, de um, 70s designs. You've got your fabulous hippie. Oh, pinball. I love pinball so cool um you've got that wonderful wonderful color palette that is again so 70s and i was saying do you i want i want some photographs we didn't have photos but we have people emailing us in because i want someone who you know had curtains like this or maybe a skirt with that beautiful print on i'm not being funny but look at that print i mean they are so so cool i mean look at that that is, i love it i love this it's just got so many really good designer elements in it. Um, for me, I was saying it takes me back like to all my festivals. You know, Glastonbury. Um, oh, of course, it's got your, your little old Woodstock there. I mean, again, it takes you back to, you know, your, your mum's. It could be skirts. It could be clothing. It might be interiors. Just so many really cool, cool memories. And it is worth looking through. I will speed up a bit just in case. Look at that. That's well good. Um, and, of course, with this one, all double-sided. Right, OK, nearly a quarter of the extended delivery stock has gone. Um, right, let me just flick through this. Seriously cool, isn't it? Now, not only are you getting your wonderful 12 by 12s Oh, roller disco, staying alive. It's so cool. Um, and I must admit, I Nigel May, this one is for him. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to make him smart out of this because this is so Nigel. Every time I've looked at it, I've gone, oh, I'd love this. Right, you've got your 12 by 12. You've then got your A4. I won't, to be as, I won't spend as long flicking through just because, but in fact, let me do it this way so then you're going to see the toppers. So again, they're all double-sided. You get nine of these, but look, you've got all of these cool sentiments you've got all the cool toppers you've got some good sentiments as well um, which is ace and 190 gsm so there's loads you can do with it absolutely gorgeous the print is amazing but you've then got in this you've got the small six by six and again i'll just quickly go through these but again all those designs and um, they're all double-sided i won't go through every si look at it i won't go through every single one but every single one is amazing you've got 16 designs there all double-sided and then last but by no means least we've got the rice paper and this you've got five sheets of the rice paper and look at that i mean that is just happiness isn't it right there that is just pure joy it's amazing it's all your festivals it's rainbows and i love it because 
It's, you know, it's your hippie festivals, but it's also your pride marches, isn't it? Now, Rainbows, it's our, you know, our NHS and, and all the, the care workers. You've got so many incredible, you know, incredible things that na that now think, makes you think of, doesn't it? I just think it's beautiful. And you can split it up, you see, because you don't have to use it as a full image. Absolutely split it up so it works to be whatever you want it to be. Uh, can I show you before we move on? I need to show you that. Boom! Uh, Michelle made that. Michelle sent it in for us. Isn't that phenomenal? Michelle, thank you. I love this. I promise I'll send it you back. I promise I won't keep it. But it's just b fabulous. It's bright, it's bold, but it's practical. So she's got a little shelf there that you can use. She's made a little box there. How cute is that? Really, really fabulous. And she's decorated literally every side of it. I love that. I just think that is amazing. Um, we've got on the show, we have got um, the wonderful uh, little book, the journaling book, but I've just decorated the front. I've used the Mod Podge. Um, I've actually on that one, I've used the Mod Podge gloss so you can see it's got that wonderful shine. It is a brilliant glue. I've used the Mod Podge and I've used the stencils that we've got on the show um, on this one. And again, the Mod Podge, brilliant. It's just ridiculously handy. Um, in that collection for twelve ninety nine. I mean, it's a really good price, is that? Because you've got eight times, you've got the gloss and you've got the matte. And look, you can make the quickest cards out of this. That is literally one of those folded over. And then with one of the embellishments cut out as a topper. Quickest card but it's well cool. Um, now, if you do want this collection, it's on extended delivery, being dispatched from the 22nd, so do not miss out on this, because it is absolutely flying. Um, don't, don't miss out on this. It's ace, and a third of the stock has gone. 223143 is your item number. Now, your rice papers. So, you've got your choice again. So, you could go for this one that's in the kit, and that is Give Peace a Chance. So that should give peace a chance. Or you could go for your 70s cards, which are ace. And I think, again, you'll agree, you've got so many beautiful things you can do with it. But then, love, peace and joy. Look at that for happy. That is just happiness, isn't it? And that, again, is a must-have because it just gives you such good coating. Now, over half the stock have gone on both of these. Um, and the other one is limited stock. If you do want any of these, you know what to do. Um, 784577. Now, you did see this in the last hour. I love this. I love the brightness, the freshness. This is so... Um, it is so holidays. I mean, th when, they, they, when they talk about their incredible Italian designers, I mean, wow, have they captured um, Sicily here? They've captured the, the, the beautiful um, freshness on the, the vibrancy of the lemon, that beautiful blue, so the coolness. But again, it just reminds you of a wonderful summer day. It's just got so much going on for it. I love this. And almost half of the stock has gone. I love the kind of tiles there. I just think they're beautiful. Again, these are all double-sided. So you could be fussy cutting. I fussy cut this one, um, bringing some of those elements out. That blue. I mean, blue and yellow is just fabulous. It's such a nice combo. But the way they've worked um, with the colours is just exquisite. And it has got such a good feel to it. I think it's an uplifting collection. And you can see that one I've also fussy cut, actually. Um, so I've just used it for different elements. I love the cactus in here as well, the flowering cactus. Again, these are all double-sided. Those are gorgeous. I did think, and I really would have liked to get a proper clock fitting and use these for a clock fitting because they're just exquisite. Again, all double-sided. I love the dots, but on the other side, that one you obviously start cutting up, use for borders, and that, that is gorgeous. Really nice and bright. So, you've got your 12 by 12. Your 12 by 12s, you're getting nine, I think, of those. Eight. Eight of your 12 by 12 papers. You're then getting 
the um, the Air Force. Now, with your Air Force, again, all double-sided. Again, you've got um, some beautiful designs on here. You've got all those fantastic cards that you could easily make quick cards out of. You could easily use as toppers. I mean, look how many toppers and tags and things you've got in this collection. That, again, re look at the colour. Fabulous, isn't it? It's just so vibrant and fresh. And I don't know, it's one of those. It actually, it just, I think it's quite uplifting. And you've got some beautiful sentiments in here. The climate's delicate, the air most sweet, fertile the isle, the temple much surpassing, the common praise it bears. Which is beautiful, that's a cheeky bit of Shakespeare there. Bet he said it different. Uh, where flowers bloom, so does hope. <laughs> Shakespeare, done in a Lancashire accent. Um, which isn't always a bad thing. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, people are pay for a bit of that. All of Sicily is a dimension of the imagination. I have yet to go to Sicily. I think this definitely needs to be on my list. I mean, when you look at this, it's just... I want to be there. Now, you've also got the gorgeous rice paper. This is stunning. You've got five sheets of this. Um, it's funny, actually, because obviously last hour we had our Catherine. And uh, Catherine is mad on upcycling, recycling. And you can just imagine all these big, beautiful images on a gorgeous terracotta pot. You know, that you've maybe done a bit of whitewashing uh, yeah, in your kitchen. I mean, maybe you're doing your, your kitchen cupboards, whitewashing them and then just putting one of these on. And, you know, different ones on your cupboards. I just adore this. You're getting five sheets as well, so they go a long way. Let me show you what I've been doing. So in the last hour, I just decorated a picture frame. Now, you see, I think that is gorgeous because of the brightness, the vibrancy. Just taking a picture frame. You could put someone's picture in, but I much prefer that little birdie. And because you've got sentiments, I think that's really nice because it doesn't have to have a picture in. Um, I, I just I love that. It's bright. It's joyous. Um, I did this one. So that's a little box. So taking the paper, you extend the paper, the, uh, the box. Then that gives you a bit of depth. So you've got loads of um, stuff to work in. And then, of course, you've got your, your little box there, which is gorgeous. And then just upcycled um, another box as well. What I love about the papers, I mean, fussy cutting them out. So you've got toppers. It's not just flat paper. That is one of those papers fussy cut. You know, it's tough enough to start curling. It's tough enough to actually use um, to build up your projects and that's one of the gorgeous clocks on the top there. Stunning. Absolutely stunning to work with. Really like this one. You'll love this one. Um, oh, and should I show you as well while I'm moving over because this has been sent in um, by I'm not sure actually who's made this one, but this is lovely. And it's got pockets, so it's been made into a lovely recipe book. And I, I just think that would make such an incredible gift, wouldn't it? Again, it's so bright. And because you get so many papers in this collection, you could absolutely do that. I mean, even if you're just using scraps of your paper, you could do that. It's gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of this collection, stunning. It is uh, 309122. Okay, rice papers. So, you've got the rice paper that you get in the actual bundle, but you can get that independently if you want it. You are getting five sheets. That's your first one. This is where we get the... So, this one is called Teor... Uh, Teormina. Teormina. Taormina. Taormina? Yeah, I'm looking at our Derek. It's Oh, is it? He knows his stuff, you see. Uh, Tawamina. Have I said it wrong yeah. again? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been there? Oh, yeah. Is it nice? Beautiful. beautiful. Of course it is. I mean, everything is about this is beautiful. Um, the next one. Now, this one is called Blue Driftwood. Can do that. Blue Driftwood. <laughs> <laughs> and then, which is an essential. Okay, this one. Orologi de del Mar Mallorca? Mallorca? Sounds perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm meant to be saying? No. No, no. Derek will be able to say this perfectly. But the imagery 
it's beautiful um, and that's all you need to worry about um, I do apologize to the people watching from Italy my pronunciation is rubbish uh, five six seven four zero nine that's your item number now the album if you do want that album you know the one that I covered in the gorgeous 70s papers it's a six by eight album now what's really cool about this the little pockets inside are fabulous because what you can do with the pockets they're dead easy to start creating an album you can either use beautiful little journal cards um, you can do all sorts you can obviously make your own cut your photographs put your photographs down in there really really beautiful um if you do want those zero five nine zero one five like that one only 14.99 as well so it's a great price um now we've also got for you the beautiful deco white paints now these are lush Hey, I tell you what, they're really nice as well. You've got some really, really pretty, um, like, shimmery ones, which is stunning, absolutely stunning. If you do want to get hold of those, gorgeous, gorgeous paints, only $17.99, which is a really good price there. 365249 And then much budge! Yay! Um, now, these are the huge tubs. So these are going to last. Now, you've got a choice. So you've got either your gloss, as you can see there, or you've got your matte. Now, the brilliant thing about these, because they, they, they work on all your papers, um, they will seal, they will use for your rice papers, they use for all your decoupage papers. Absolutely recommend those please check your baskets out. You can get the big ones or you can get the little ones. So the choice is yours. 908-878 is your item number. I said that utterly wrong, didn't I? Sorry, it's because I'm doing and talking. Um, it's 908-872, sorry. Um, and the little ones, they do come together. 12.99 for both of those and they're at the bottom of the screen. They're the ones I'm going to be using. Uh, but everything's on the website at chanda.com. Sorry, I'm looking because... Because I'd already cut some papers and then I've gone and put them in a safe place. I've got the scraps that I don't need for the paper. I didn't, it doesn't matter. I'll just cut them again. doesn't matter. Look, got the bits left over, but the bits I did cut, put them somewhere safe. Um, okay, what I thought I'd do was that rice paper. Look at that rice paper. Isn't that seriously cool? So what I've done on this one, this is one sheet of rice paper. And I did start this in the other hour because I thought, yeah, that's cool. So it's that rice paper of which the... So that's the other half of it. So that's the other half. This is the rice paper. So I've done it so you've got that wonderful, wonderful um, swish growing along. You've still got all of that left from one rice paper. I had to show you that because I thought that were amazing. But then, let's finish it off. I thought with something like this, you don't need to do much to finish it. But but I wanted to bring in some of those other papers. So using some of those beautiful, bright papers, let's bring in... Oh, decisions, decisions. See, I did cut this one, but then obviously put it somewhere safe. But I want a good, strong paper. So let's go for it. What I love about this... You can have them really clashy and it doesn't matter. That's, and I love that about the 70s. I love that clashy sort of colours, that merge of everything, the really heavy, intense patterns. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I think that's when you're doing something like this. It's lovely to have all those, um, all those in one one of your beautiful projects. So literally just cutting this down. I'm not being too precious and looking at the other side. If I look at the other side, it might stop me cutting it, you see. So if you don't look, you don't know what you're cutting. It's okay. <laughs> you don't look. You don't. That isn't a top tip because sometimes it's better. <laughs> it's better if you do look what you're cutting and then you can sort of be a bit more, you know, you can sort of plan it. But I know I'll faff and I'm on live telly, so I haven't to faff uh, because... Um, that first kit, our lottie, are we stuck? Is that is that that? Okay, so Sam is definitely trying. She's on it, she's on it. But for now, I put my demo to one side. <laughs> okay, so just cutting my beautiful paper. So I've done my rice paper. If you do want the box, by the way, we have got this on the show. Um, and it's lovely, actually, because it's really practical, but dead easy to decorate. And it does look really effective. Okay, so got those gorgeous 
um, papers. Now, I'm using, and there's a lovely box, the details are there. Do you know what? Yeah, you get this one as well. So, which is my other part finish demo. See, so you get that one. Good in it for $19.99. That little old box and that one. And, oh, and the decent size as well. And it's lovely to decorate because it's like um, a kind of bolster. So you don't really need to gesso it, you know, because you don't need it white. You can go, I have with my rice paper. I've gone directly onto that and it's still got a really good colour because sometimes if you don't, like if you're going on to, and I said this in the last hour, but if you're going on to MDF um, direct with the rice paper, sometimes it can be a bit too dull. But this, perfect. Okay, now, um, good old Mod Podge. So I'm using the matte Mod Podge for this one um, just because I'm gluing it down and as yet I don't want to glaze. However, I have kind of... Um, uh, quite a few of these I have then gone over with the, the glaze because I really do like the glaze. It looks really nice, especially on these kind of projects, you know, because it gives you that kind of finish. But the Mod Podge is brilliant for this. So when you're putting it on, you just pop in a layer. You don't need loads of glue. So don't think it needs to be like, you know, a wash with it. That is definitely not the thing. And then when you're popping it on, the lovely thing about Mod Podge is because it's a wet glue, you can move it around if you don't get it right the first time. But actually, that's not too bad at all. So just squidging that down. Now, Mod Podge, it uses as it works as a glue, but obviously it works as a sealant as well. So it means it's going to help protect. It's going to help protect that paper. It's going to help protect the 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 um the wood that I'm actually gluing it onto. And obviously with something like this, it gives you that extra addition as well. So if you there's a bit you haven't, like the corners, if you haven't got the corners down, that bit's been stubborn. In fact, I'm gonna pop a little bit more under there just in case. If you haven't got the corners, this helps, it helps it stick down. And actually, yeah, I'm not gonna get that. So I'll just stick it under there like so. And then just, there sometimes you just need to let it sit to actually um to actually do your second piece and then and then it's lovely because it's quick and I, I like using this i it's funny really you forget don't you because you've got so many we we represent so many different companies so obviously i'll use lots of different adhesives and i mean Mod podge has been going for years and years and years and you kind of forget but it's such a good glue such a good adhesive so I'm very chuffed I've got it on this show. So again, bringing that on. I'm sorry I'm not holding this up properly to the camera, but if I put it on its side, I'll put it on the wet gluey side and stick it to my tray or pick up all the dirty ink and stuff on there, which I absolutely don't want to do. Right, and then, yeah, that'll do. And then just pop another layer on. So giving a coat with the glue, and again, not much glue, however, I mean, these are good pots, especially if you're not sure about it. Maybe it's the first time you've used Mod Podge. These are good sizes because you're obviously getting both of them. Let me show you the big pot in, um, see, that's the biggie. So you can see the variation in sizes. Uh, but this is a good starting point, And I like the fact that you get both of them, but at least you've got that choice. So already, I mean, look how cool that looks. It's well cool, isn't it? Let's decorate the top of it, though. Because you've got so many fantastic embellishments, it'd be rude not to decorate the top. And I was, because I was going to do the um, the demo on the other, I do apologise. I haven't cut out any of my amazing embellishments. But, you see, I love this gift piece a chance on there. If I, I was going to cut this one out, because then, obviously, that matches the bottom. So all you need to do, and I mean, it's ridiculously easy, it gives you that line along the actual rainbow. And it's because I love that, I love the flow of it, but I also love the give piece a chance. I think that's quite cool. So we're definitely going to have this on here, like so. Now, rather than using the, uh, the brown, which I was using, brown's a really good colour for this uh, palette anyway. But, because it all works, you know, it's got the brains, but I do like the blue with this as well. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of blue. I mean, there are that many colours. It's interesting, though, because it's bright, yet it's still, it's not in your face neon. You know, it's still got a bit of a muted tone to it. So you can get away using lots of different colours with it. I'm still using my matte again. 
So just nice and quickly putting on that layer. And it's um, it's interesting because these, most of my, my finished things that I've done have been more 3D projects. And I just think it lends itself to it because you want to see it. You want it, you want it out. You want to, to see those wonderful prints and patterns and all that vibrancy. So you kind of don't want to, to just make cards out of it and give them to other people. You kind of want to keep it for yourself. Thank you very much. Or, I mean, this would be a brilliant gift for somebody, wouldn't it? You know, you could fill it with 70s sweets <laughs> or put a cassette that you've made for them. Oh, mixtape. Oh, mixtapes were the best, weren't they? Oh, a boy once did me a mixtape and he came into VG where I were working it and he were dead shy and give me a mixtape. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, those were, those were days. That doesn't happen now, does it? <laughs> No, no, I wish it did too. Oh, oh well. Oh, well, eh? Um, but let's have a little look, see. So you've got flowers. Now, what I want is, I'm going to go for, so you've got your six by six. You've also got this. Look. <laughs> you've also got this. Now, these are cool because, again, you've got so many sentiments. And this is a lovely thing with this collection. You've got a lot of gorgeous toppers. Like this one, you are my sunshine. Love it. We're definitely having that one. Then you'll every time you go through, you will find different elements. Because I hadn't seen that. I hadn't seen you are my sunshine. I really love the Bloom Baby Bloom as well. And I think that would be quite fabulous on this box. So um, rather than me faffing about and going through every single element, which I have already done, believe it or not, <laughs> I went through them, um, and honestly, and it is half past already, I went through these and tried to make my mind up, changed my mind about 20 times, and then decided to demo the other kit <laughs> that sold out. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> but, oh, look, I'll just cut this one out and then show you. So, now, I was planning to, when I was first doing this, and changing my mind for every 50 minutes, every three seconds even, um... I was going to 3D these on the top, so I was going to have a really cool sort of, um, you know, a really cool little 3D element on here. But then I thought it's actually more practical because I want to use this or give it away. Hmm. Um, so I thought it's actually more practical to have it a flat top because obviously you'll be able to use it. So even though it's decorated, you'll be able to put stuff on it. So I thought, yeah, don't don't get carried away putting all your 3D elements on. So look, if I do this, so you can see it up there. So you've got You Are My Sunshine. You need something there, you see, because that ends so suddenly. So you've got You Are My Sunshine, which is perfect. You've then got the Bloom Baby Bloom, which again, I think, and then look, I love that. All oh, that wonderful flow. Shall I get these glued down? And then, right, order it's going to show you the goodies. I'll get these glued down, I'll put one more and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like when it's finished. That is one of my favourite things ever. <laughs> and it's ridiculously easy. I think, I do think, I love the rainbow. I do think because it's got your three drawers, that works absolutely perfect. But that rainbow, now, can you imagine, you could be putting that on a frame, that could be on a picture, that could be on, I mean, it could be on a bigger, you know, if you've got, um, I'm looking at our little drawers there, you could easily, you're getting five sheets that, you could easily just put the rainbow continuously down a set of drawers. Do so much with this. Anyway, if you do want that one, it's amazing. It's all on the website, achanda.com. Please check your baskets out. It's another busy show. I am so pleased. Um, I'm so pleased. Um, Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. I'm doing it again. I'm so pleased Ciao, Bella um, came to us at uh, Chanda and uh, were working with us. And especially because I've been able to work with the products. Absolutely loving the products. And the wonderful people as well. You know, when we met them, they were such nice ladies. So I'm... Um, I'm really happy I could represent them. Um, uh, now, I am, of course, if you do want anything, you know what to do. I'll wait till everything's over there and then I will pass over to our Derek. Don't miss out on any of the other goodies because everything mixes and matches perfectly. Now, I will pass over to Derek who will know a lot more about 
um, Italy. <laughs> For sure. And a little bit about the 70s as well, because uh, <laughs> if you weren't there, you haven't lived. Uh, thanks, lovely lady. Um, honestly, we, we have just been, for the last, for at least the last hour, even before you got here for this hour, uh, reminiscing uh, about the 70s. And I'm just about old enough to have um, an orangey leatherette pram. It's there somewhere. I'm going to get the picture out later as well. Right, OK. Um, now, we are checking out on stocks on the Sound of Spring, the other collection as well. So we're not going to see that right now. So let's indulge in the 70s because this collection is art. Oh, it's just awesome. It really is awesome. Um, this is really, really uh, wonderful. And in this collection, you've got your 12 by 12s, you've got your A4s, and you've got your 6 by 6s uh, in here as well, plus a set of those wonderful rice papers that Leone's just been working with there. Do you know what that reminds me of as well? It's not come, I'm surprised it hasn't come up in conversation yet, but it reminds me so much. Does anyone remember the Magic Roundabout? It's yeah. so the magic roundabout, isn't it? The whole yeah. vibe of the whole... You remember those noises that were in the background of the harps playing and everything else? That rainbow coming through with the flowers there just puts you in mind of that, doesn't it? This is an amazing collection. Seriously, I don't know how this collection can be for the price it is as well, because I think it's so good. Uh, Leone's just... It's like a little look through the letterbox of the possibilities uh, with this. I mean, if you have a look at Michelle's... Um, uh, just amazing creator. I don't even know what to call this. I just think it's just incredible. It really is. It's a real kind of 70s carnival um, going on here. Uh, Michelle McCarthy, uh, amazing. I mean, really, really beautiful because it, it brings in those rainbow elements that are so today, as Leone said, for so many different reasons. Um, lots of people decorating their windows and outside the house with rainbows and everything else. And combining that with the oranges and the yellows and that, oh, flares. Do you know what? I don't remember flares. I don't, I almost, the funny thing is, because I, I, I'm more of an 80s boy and it was all tight trousers in the 80s, I've hardly got any hairs on my legs from wearing um, trousers that were so tight all the way through the 80s. So I could really have done with the flares through the 70s. It's funny, isn't it? Jeans coming in and out and in and out and in and out. Where are we at the moment? I don't... I don't think we're in our jeans at all at the moment, aren't we? We're all in, we're all in just lounge pants at the moment, aren't we? This is an amazing collection. Now, yeah. our Lottie, where are we stock-wise with this collection? OK, half of the extended delivery. We're talking just the 22nd of whichever month we happen to be in at the moment. I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, May, apparently. We're in May. Welcome to May, everyone. Uh, 22nd of May um, delivery on these. And it is truly, truly amazing. I really, I want to text my mum. We're not allowed our phones in the studio quite rightly as well. We're a professional television organisation. But I want to text my mum because I know this is the kind of thing that she absolutely loves. And she was pushing me around in that orange leatherette pram <laughs> in the late, late 70s. I'll say late 70s. Um, anyway. £34.92. and pence. Now, let's flick through uh, your 12 by 12s because they are absolutely amazing. We'll do a bit of reminiscing um, as we do it. Now, in your 12 by 12s we have how many is it in this one? Is it uh, 12 sheets that are all double-sided, which is brilliant. So on one side, I mean, look at those. They are so, so good. I mean, listen, you could just cut out any of those elements and they would be so today. If we called this the 2020 collection, it would be absolutely right. And actually, this is a nod back to the 70s. Um, it's amazing. It really is. I wasn't quite there for the love piece stuff. I was still in my pram for all of that, unfortunately. So I missed all that. I missed all the good stuff. I love the 70s music, though. And actually, this takes me back to um, when you walk through sort of vintage fairs and things like that, and you see the old coffee pots and the, the crockery sets and everything else. I mean, these papers just remind me of that. And actually, there's something about this, that having a small element of this. I mean, even if you just took a section of this paper, for instance, and just framed it into one of those very, very inexpensive deep frames, then you know what, you know those that you get from the Swedish shop, or from here probably, definitely, I would imagine, um, just having a small element of that, just as a nod back to the 70s, could be really, really cool. Uh, there's the pinball as well, I remember that. Oh, back in the day where you needed a t Tempe. Tempe's were massive then, weren't they? They were like twice the size back then. Um, this is the one. This give peace a chance with the old camper van riding along the rainbow is just so the 70s, isn't it? And then again, you've got the rainbow flower elements there um, as well, which I think are really, really cool. And the big, they're big daisies there. I bet a lot of people sat cross-legged in their flares and made daisy chains in the 70s, didn't they? I don't know. I wasn't really uh, 
I was more the 80s. But do you know what? Um, I nearly bought a telly like this. You know the little orange sort of vintage 70s tellies? I think they're brilliant. And actually, these lamps that come down over a dining table, I mean, they're really cool and chic now. I mean, this print, maybe not so. Do you know what I mean? But it's lovely. The colours in there are just glorious. And actually, you know, if you look on those auction websites for sort of tea and coffee sets like this, they go for an absolute fortune if they are actual actually from the 70s. It's amazing, isn't it, that things from how long ago was the 70s? Don't think about it. Blimey, that's, that'd be coming up 50 years ago, won't it? We were going into the 70s 50 years ago. Is that right? Yeah, that would be right, wouldn't it? Gosh, gosh, that's... Gosh, gosh, that's frightening. Yeah, I was very, I was very late 73 and I'm nowhere near 50s, but I do have a turntable. I still have a turntable now and it is very, very groovy. I never had the roller skates. I never had the ankles for it. Um, look at that with your zigzag as well. The beautiful. And this is just amazing. Um, this reminds, this reminds me of Barry Manilow and the Copacabana, that one with the disco ball and everything else. That'd be brilliant. So they are your 12 by 12s. They are incredible. Remember, you've got similar designs that all key in really, really beautifully. In fact, I'm going to leave that one at the front because it's just so cool. Um, it really is. So you've got your, um, A4s and your six by sixes as well, plus a set of the rainbow give piece of chance rice papers. Now there are other rice papers as well in that 70s collection. And the great thing is that with these rice papers, I mean, quite often when you buy a set of rice papers, it's one of different designs. With these, you've got the options, and in each of the options, oh, actually, Give Peace a Chance, which is the rainbow one, is now completely gone on its own, and these other two are both limited. So this one is, what do we call this one? 70s card, yes, that's what the one that is um, uh, quartered up into four. And you get five of each, or you could choose, and I just love this, love, peace, joy. That's incredible, isn't it? And you think about how that keys in with the rainbow colours right now. I mean, it's, it's pretty much got everything going on in there. And it's got this wonderful feel to it as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous texture. Everything about this show is ridiculously popular. So if you have something in your basket right now, please do check it out as quickly as you possibly can. Um, there is more from Chow Bella um, on the show as well. Are we moving on to... Yes, we're going, we're going to Sicily now. I love Sicily. I went a few years ago, actually, and I did go. I wouldn't have known the pronunciation of uh, Taormina, because when you look at it written down, you think, Te or Mina? I don't know. It's Taormina. And I only know that from being there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think this captures, this collection captures the essence of Sicily perfectly. And you know what? Had I known that this was on the show, I've got, funnily enough, the that we have a posh supermarket up north called Booths. Leone knows oh, it. Know. Oh, it's lovely. Other supermarkets are available. And they do genuine Sicilian Italian lemons. And they're great, huge things, lumpy, bumpy. And you pick one up, and oh my word, it's like heaven. It's not like one of the little lemons you just buy in a supermarket where you go, well, it's a lemon, but. You know, you can barely recognise it. These are just bursting um, with wonderful aromas. And that's this collection. It's wonderful. The blues and the yellows working together. Um, and, and this is a very lemony feel. It's funny, actually. It, it reminds me a little bit. There's also a place around Lake Garda, if you've ever been, called Limoni. Um, and they have wonderful lemon trees there um, as well. On, or, honestly, if you ever go through just a little avenue of lemon trees and get the aroma. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing beats the taste. So let me go through what's in the, in the bundle for you. Um, because you've got your 12 by 12s and your A4 and your rice paper. Now, forgive me, because I'm, I'm new to this collection and, and I was looking at um, Chow Bella and doing some research yesterday and I love their imagery. It's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. I am surprised, though, at just how, for the exquisite quality, I mean, look at that with all of the fonts down there at the bottom. And this is like going into, I think they would say in Sicily, I think they'd say Nonna's Kitchen, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? The tiles in Nonna's kitchen, where she uh, rustles up all of the gnocchi and authentic, beautiful Sicilian dishes. Look at those lemons. Look at how vibrant they are. And it's also got that little nod to wonderful sort of vintage pottery as well, hasn't it? With those wonderful, gorgeous, deep blues. This is wonderful for boarders. Just absolutely 
incredible. Every every one of these is is an absolute dream. Uh, and whether you use smaller elements of it, I know Leone's been fussy cutting elements out of these papers as well. I mean, this is really, really interesting as well, isn't it? Because it's not a place you necessarily associate with, um, I think they call this the prickly pear cactus, don't they? Um, but it's not necessarily, Sicily is not necessarily a place you sort of would think of that kind of thing immediately, but they do have them. They're absolutely beautiful. And I've worked out now the Italian, the Italian translation of this, which is orology, which means orology, which means clocks, doesn't it? Which means time. I think, yeah. Orology. It's only come to me <laughs> since we talked about it before. Um, so there are your 12 by 12 papers. And again, you've got your A4s, which are not exactly identical, but all complement them. Absolutely beautiful. And you've got, oh, oh, I've got some good news coming up for you in just a second. I've just heard in my ear. A little bird has just tweeted. We've got the rice papers here um, as well. So this is the rice papers you get with the bundle here. Again, wonderful, wonderful, soft, ripe. They look like peony uh, roses there. Um, and remember, you get five of those rice paper sheets. The best value ever, seriously, 3099, uh, 309212 for the bundle. What I would do as well, because we've got some other rice papers that go perfectly with this bundle, I would add those in. So you can add another set of the lemons if you want to, but there are two other options as well. You've got the driftwood, which is beautiful. And I've never seen sort of ocean blues into driftwood um, in, in, in this kind of way before, and it's amazing. And that one is called, what is the Blue Driftwood. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was the easy one, Derek. <laughs> this is the one. This is the difficult one. It's called Orology di Maiolica. Now, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure the Maiolica, <laughs> but the Orology is Orology. Clocks. Time. What is time? Uh, 567409. Time is running away and we've got more demos to do with Leone. Right, we've got some good news though, first of all. Back in stock, the sound of spring as well. Now, we, we had completely and utterly sold out on this um, earlier on. Back on extended delivery, the complete bundle is there for you, 29.93. We only saw it for the first time in this hour because I don't think it was on on the 11 o'clock show this morning. Um, it's brilliant. We'll have a look at it on the web there, 830465. So again, you've got on the 29th of May for your extended delivery. On this, you've got your 12 by 12s, you've got your A4s, um, plus your rice paper. And there are two other different rice papers that go with this bundle as well. So as it is, you've got those wonderful blues with the birds. And I know um, Leone took the bird out as an element for um, one, of, one of her um, makes. Absolutely brilliant. And here are your other rice papers as well. There's two others, Spring Melodies and Dolomite Wood. Because it's the Dolomites. The Dolomites are the mountains, aren't they, I think? So Dolomite Wood would be... Tree near a mountain, I'm guessing, Leone, but, you know, it sounds right, doesn't it? Say it, with, say it with confidence and it sounds right anyway, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll quickly show you that one because I've finished it. Happy with that. So I've put one of the sentiments along the front, um, which says, in a gentle way, you can shake the world, which is fabulous, and I think everyone's still trying. And then we've got that on the top, and well, chuffed with that. Boom, I made something! Yay! <laughs> Never happens. And now I'm, I'm trying, I know I've not got long, so what I wanted to show you were when I were doing this, so this is using um, from the Sicilian collection, it's using the rice papers. I've used half the driftwood, half the lemons. Now you need those to merge, so the way I want those to merge is. I'm only going to do a bit of this and then I want to show you a technique on the other bit I were going to do um, on the other collection which we have got back in stock but how I would merge these two so I then take one of the other little elements from the rice paper I'm not using scissors I'm using my water brush to actually tear the rice paper that will allow me of course to tear it which allows it to blend if you cut it that um, sometimes it won't blend as well. However, 
as I'm fussy cutting this, as I would be fussy cutting this, that wouldn't be such a big deal. You know, it wouldn't be, if I'd have cut that out properly, it wouldn't be such a big deal because it's going to be sitting on that element anyway. So it'd be fine, it'd be fine. Some things you, you absolutely need to blend into those. Other things, it doesn't matter. But just quickly now your Mod Podge again your Mod Podge will absolutely work for your rice paper for decoupage of the rice paper so um when you know it, it's an all-rounder quite frankly so with the rice paper normally i put it on the back of the rice paper but i am running out of time so all i'm gonna do and i'm obviously not gonna do the full thing because i know time is very short so pop that there like so now what i do love about it is just popping this on and as you put this on see you'll get the the glue and the white kind of softens into this so that brings the image over like so but then what i have done i've got one of the paper elements of this so you're taking the paper element i've cut that out just go around it quickly with a little brown um my distress oxides and then just putting glue on there quick quick and popping that on there going to sicily is better than going to the moon i mean i haven't been to either but yeah i think i pre definitely prefer prefer sicily <laughs> absolutely prefer sicily i mean there's nothing at the moon is there <laughs> why would you want to do that there you go and look at that you see it starts to blend i love this i love this now that's one i'd want to finish obviously that's another one i'll never finish in my life the other other thing i wanted to show you were those beautiful papers that sold out that are now back in stock now the gorgeous spring i mean look at this so what i started doing just one of those papers just on a, an mdf board cutting that out and i'll fussy cut the flowers from the paper okay and then using because you've got the rice papers on this one as well that you can add to the basket this isn't the one that comes in but this is one of the extra ones within the collection so just tearing that i wanted to just show you how well these go over the top of this i won't faff because i am running out of time so again i'm just using my mod podge i'm definitely using the mat for this because I don't want the, the gloss on this. And I do like that you've got a choice. And just, I've literally got a minute. There we go. So popping that over. Now, what I love about this, when it dries, you'll be able to see the blue tone underneath it. So um, I'll have to stop there. Then what I wanted to do was bring in other pieces. And you kind of bring in other pieces of a different colour palette coming under the flower and that breaks it all up but obviously i'm running out of time i've got 30 seconds um thank you thank you for your company and i am so pleased that you've adored um everything from ciao bella and thank you ever so much to ciao bella and of course um uh, for the the wonderful finished samples from michelle really really appreciate that um i will be back with you this uh, evening we've got a double launch so i'm going to be back with you at five o'clock with the uh, very mighty la blanche so i um, hope you can tune in then Hokely Dokely, we have got Stampenders coming up next. And then we've got some incredible happy hour deals. And it's me with my love lunch one day special. Better get my skates on, I don't know. See you then. If you love cake and you love to bake, we've got something you're going to enjoy. Here at Achanda's Crafty Kitchen, we'll be introducing you to brand new guest demonstrators from the world of baking and cake decorating, who will be on hand to inspire you with sugar flour making techniques, food flavoring ideas, baking kits in a bottle, and as well as showcasing some very fashionable kitchen aprons. Watch out for brand new products, some very bespoke to the baking world, but others you can utilize within the world of craft, which will allow you more flexibility between the different mediums. Intrigued? Well, 
Set your temperatures, set your timers, and tune in every fortnight to see what's in the oven on The Crafty Kitchen. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. I really hope you'll come and join me on Hachanda for my shows with Craftoscope. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Uh, goodly afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Um, so someone remind me which day of the week it is, by the way. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wow. It's happy, well, happy hump day. Well, normally that means something, doesn't it? But at the moment, like, all, all the days are kind of the same. Anyway, listen, it's lovely to have you with us and lovely to have Stampendous with us as well. We've got an incredible hour for you and it's kind of a mix of our very favourites from Stampendous as well. And I'm not on my own. If I step slightly this way... Other way, this way, uh, we can't do left from right. In the, through the square window should appear, Ma oh, Maggie Moore, it's only a little window, Maggie. Well, I'm obviously little, I've lost weight, thank you so much. You are looking, <laughs> looking wonderful, looking wonderful, how are you? I'm all good, thanks. I should yeah. look that way really, yeah. shouldn't I? Because looking that way at you, all but good. you're actually over there. Yeah. I confused you will yeah. be. 
thank you for being with us anyway. You're very welcome. <laughs> Looking at the ceiling now, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, right, now listen, this is kind of like a collection of the favourites from Stampenders, isn't it, actually? It's a really, really popular collection. So let's kick off, shall we? And we'll start uh, with the bird frame. And these are all clear stamps, Maggie. Yes, they are. Um, Fran's designed a range of um, stamps with frames. The first one you've got there is the bird with the frame. Ooh, it has different stunning. sentiments that go with it. Um, she's also trying to encourage people this year to take up water colouring, colouring in your images. So a lot of her clear stamp ah. images now are designed. If you look at the clear acrylic um, yes. that's decorated, she's done it with watercolour. So it's all to Which help is with wonderful. That. So that gives you a little bit of a, a, a bit, bit of, of a head start, or you can go in a completely different direction. Yes. I mean, there yep. might be a little bird that comes and visits you, and you might think, right, that's yes. the one I'm, I'm replicating. There are some lovely sentiments on there as well, aren't yeah. there? I don't think you can see them all. We've got love you, we've got uh, it's your birthday, you're amazing, thinking of you today. Ah, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> <coughs> a closer look. Have a joyful day. May your day be filled with song. Hello, hello, dear friend, which is lovely. Um, a little birdie told me that's a good one, isn't it? I really it? like that one. Yeah. Do you know, at, at the moment, I think actually lots of people are looking for that sentiment that isn't necessarily yeah. always happy this, happy that, happy the other. Yeah, it's just, just do thinking you know what? I'm just, about you, yeah, but I'm, in a different way. I'm just dropping you a line just to say, how's things? It's quite nice to have a little card up, isn't it? It's quite nice. Yeah, that's very, very true, Lottie, actually. It's quite nice when the postman's been and it's not a brown envelope. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, dare I open that? Um, £11.99, and pence. this one, then 309988. We're going to make our way down a very, very long counter um, this afternoon, actually. We've got lots to get there. Next, we're going on our travels virtually at the moment, although really, hopefully soon. Again, designed by Fran, um, who is at, the CEO, is she, is yes, she not, she is. Maggie, the, of Stampenders? She's the um, director and owner of Stampenders. And do you know yep. what? I've, I have never met Fran, but I think you can see her personality in this, can't you, you? You can see her personality in all the stamps because she always has a lovely smile and a twinkle in her eye. They're very and, quirky, aren't they? They're very, yeah. I love this. This is very... Do you know what this reminds me a little bit of? You know, I Dream of Jeannie... Definitely. It's a yes. little bit like that, is it? Yeah. Did it? Did yeah. it? I can't remember the, the tune, but yes. you know what I mean? It's yeah. it's that very, you know, y you can almost hear da, 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 the girl from Ipanema in the background mm -hmm. as Definitely. this lady trots around Paris or Milan or Rome or wherever. Audrey Hepburn as well. Yes. yes. Definitely. You've got a lot of elements yeah. in this as well, haven't you? So you've got your your sort of uh, cityscape there. Um, and is, is, oh, actually, you've, you've got, got two, haven't you? Different cities, yeah. So you've got Rome at the bottom. And you've got Paris. And then you've got Paris. So I've, I've never been to Paris. Haven't you? No, I have <gasps> to. I went through yeah. it once from one <laughs> train station to another to go to Italy, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then you've got. Oh, okay, so in, in the Paris skyline, Lottie's dictating to me. The Eiffel Tower, obviously, I do, do recognise. The Moulin Rouge windmill. I've yeah. seen the film. Yeah. Come what may. Um, <laughs> and what else is in there? Notre Dame, is that in there as well? The bells, the bells. Is that the one? Esmeralda, yes. the bells. Now, what's this at the top here, Maggie? This is like a, some nice, is almost like the, star, star sickles, oh yes, I want to call them. Oh, yes, that's just little stars, just to um, add a bit of um, different elements to your images. Aren't they so cool? These and are really popular, this design. We keep bringing it back because people love it. I'm not surprised. And actually, you've got the little, I love this as well, because yeah. you've got them in French and, and we've got some Italian ones down there as well. So we've got bonjour and merci. That's as far as I got in French. <laughs> uh, and then at the bottom, we got Ciao. Ami. Ami? What does Ami mean? Does that mean Is love? It friend? Friend. Friend. Uh, ciao, ciao, that's hello, goodbye, and any kind of greeting, really, isn't it? It seems to be. Amica. And you've got yeah. uh, Grazie. Thank you very much for that ice cream. And what's the other one? Amica? Maybe Amica? that's friend. Is that friend? Amica? So we've got Ami and Amica. Oh, maybe that's boy, girl. Maybe. Could be. Yeah. Lottie's on the case right now. <laughs> but I love the imagery of the lady as well because she could be anyone. She could be anyone, but she's very much a character, and you could put her into lots of different scenarios. Yes, you could. even not necessarily in the the cityscapes that you've got here. Now, Amika is friend. Thank you, Lottie. And what's Ami then? 
Maybe that's closer friend. Shorter friend. <laughs> Short friend. Oh, so a me is love. Ah. Oh. Love and friend. Hello and thank you. Oh, amazing. Fantastic. 037109. Sorry, we could do this all day, <laughs> couldn't we? Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence. Let's um let's shimmy on, shall we? Next, uh, we've got some magical horses. Oh, now this is amazing. This is really, really good because this reminds me a little bit of, almost takes you back to your childhood, the imagery here, doesn't it? You know, those yeah. sort of pop out. And actually, when we have MDF elements right mm -hmm. now and you have to pop them out, whatever, there's a little bit of a nod to that, Maggie, here, isn't there? Yeah, because these are actually designed by Laurel Birch, who right. was a designer in the 60s. Ah. So, a lot of her images are very iconic. Stampenders have the license for them. Right. And Fran obviously adapts them for stamping use. Yeah. They're um, known for their very bright, ah. quirky patterns. She does cats, she does dogs, um, all sorts of different things. And this is her horses, but the stamps that actually comes with wings as well. And uh, you can make a little ah. unicorn if you want. Yes, yeah, so, so it can yeah. be become unicorn as well. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And oh, it also, I love that. also comes with a stencil. So it's got a stencil and a template. It's behind the set of stamps. It's a clear stencil for the oh, masks. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Hang on. Here it comes. Sorry. Here That's it, it comes. If I stand that to one side, there you go. You can see. So you've, oh. got, you've got the images of the unicorns. Yeah. So you can pop them out and you can use them as masks. So you can stamp a whole host of oh, unicorns perfect. or horses if you want. Then you've also got the background uh, stencils if you just want the shadow form of them. I love that. And, and that back to back to backs really, really nicely where, yes. where we've just been in the 70s as well with yeah. Ciao Bella, uh, which is uh, amazing. So 434931, watch as Derek drops everything now. <laughs> this is the bit where that happens. Um, and that is your magical horses. Uh, I was nearly going to sing Wild Horses in a Susan Boyle style, but I'll save you from that because it's only Wednesday. We'll do that do that at the weekend. Now, nearly a quarter of the stock of that one has already sold out and gone, so a busy, busy show already. Lots of you shopping ahead uh, as well. Right, we're off to the seaside now by the looks of it. Looks amazing. Do you know what? It reminds me of, oh, and I, I long to go back, and I, and I will, you know, when later, 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 um, Devon, Cornwall, down to the coast, yeah. down to see the sea. I can't wait. One of the things now about being able to travel that little bit further is that, I mean, I live in North Yorkshire and I cannot wait to drive to one of more the, the little more remote sort of beaches yeah. or coves up Whitby, Staithes, North Yorkshire. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Yeah. I'm going to have to wait for the fish and chips and everything else that goes with it. But yes. just to be able to breathe that air and have that wonder, um, I think this is wonderful. And I think actually this will be great for those people who were due to travel, yes. would love to travel, couldn't travel, mm -hmm. plans cancelled, weddings cancelled, just that kind of, oh, you know what, here's an image of what could be and what will be yeah. again. I think this is lovely. It's really nice and the tone of this is perfect, Maggie, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is, a, again, this is a new concept that Fran's been introducing this year. This is another part of her watercolour series. Beautiful. So this is like scenes that you can stamp. Yeah. But you can just go mad with them. You can do whatever scenes you want, really. And we're going to have a play with that later on in one of the other demos. It's so. brilliant. It's perfect. It reminds you of the seaside. It reminds you of the Lake District. It reminds you of your childhood. It reminds you of holidays. It's just, oh, I love it. It's brilliant. £14.99 for that one. 16 stamps on that one. 536144. And I love the fact that there's sort of that that nod to suggestion with the colour coloration on the stamps there as well. I think that's really, really good. OK, next up... One of my favourite, favourite, favourite. It's a rose, isn't it, peony? I yeah, peony is a is, is a is a rose, a form of rose. And so I watch Monty Don every Friday ah. night. I get to know these things I'm eventually. Um, <laughs> love peonies. This I is do. peony miracle. Even miracles take a little time. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. how how? how true. I mean, I don't know when when she designed that or when that sentiment came about, but. I think you, it was about um, December time. Well, listen, and, and who would have known yeah. in December yeah. that just a few short weeks later, mm -hmm. I mean, that could not be... More apt. Completely and utterly. Gosh, that nearly bought a tears away like that. <laughs> 565207, just £9.99. And, of course, in the stamp, you've got all of the elements individually. So the butterfly, the peony, and then the sentiment. And the sentiment, oh, my gosh... 
you're yeah. going to be wearing that sentiment that out, aren't you? one of the things Fran is known for because she does really different sentiments to everybody else yeah but they're always heartfelt and mean a lot do you know what that couldn't that couldn't be ridiculous stop it Derek <laughs> pull yourself together uh, <laughs> uh, but honestly yeah stop being a drama queen uh, but seriously that sentiment is just isn't it right now I think a lot of people are looking for that sentiment right let's move on uh let's go Ooh. Uh, let's go, let's go under the sea now let's go under the sea and have some fun and swim with the turtles now you are you are totally awesome love that absolutely brilliant um and what's that i see there a cruise ship that elsewhere i can't talk about at the moment yes. because it's not again something else that isn't happening um right now either but again that lovely nautical flavor this is great fun isn't it i mean yeah. where, the, where you've got the, the kids around at the moment the grandchildren as yes. well you know stamp these it's a coloring project it's something you can do yeah. together and can i say as well right now and it was it struck me when i was on the way down here today that actually all of us kind of owe it to the next generations to journal in some way or another yeah. what's happening right now because when you look back on 2020 in 2120 the pictures the yeah. sounds the feelings because we all won't be around to tell the story in a hundred years do you know what I mean like very few people are here to tell the story from a hundred years ago so I think we kind of owe it to the world to the future actually to kind of document in some way how we feel what happened what it was like write it all down write to each other keep the letters write to yourself write a love letter to yourself right now that says do you know what you got through this you know and on all of that kind of stuff i just think it's an amazing thing to do and never has it been more of an apt time Maggie, right. to do it yeah definitely it's lovely so, isn't it yeah. it's a way of kind of being kind kind to yourself and i think these are lovely images as well aren't they from stamp Ender. so uh 9.99 three stamps on there um, and again, got the kids, the grandkids with you at the moment, um, enjoying that. Love it. Right, let's move on. Uh, next we have the dragonfly stamp. Now, this is awesome. I love actually just looking on this sample as well. That's beautiful. Look at how, how simple and how sophisticated. I mean I, I, I mean, I don't know exactly how that was created, Maggie. Maybe you can sort of have that a... That was um, white embossing powder on craft card so detailed white embossing powder and then um, uh, sparkle pens glitter pens I think it's just honestly isn't that that's just one of the most wonderful images of serenity it's funny isn't it right now with 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 less traffic and less people going around all the rest of it, the wildlife has come out to play this year hasn't yeah, it definitely. so you're actually seeing more things like dragonflies will be on their way I guess they're growing up as we speak at the moment <laughs> but what wonderful sentiment and they're you know just frolicking around in the hopefully fingers crossed summer sunshine it's got to be a nice summer this year isn't it we we heck deserve it I nearly said a stronger word there uh, <laughs> 700 150 is your item number there one giant stamp there for you at nine pounds and 99 pence right okay listen um, we're already 14 minutes into the hour. It's already very, very busy as well. Sorry, Maggie, I need to walk into you there. Uh, <laughs> That's all right. You, I'll, I'll just I need to walk into your box, <laughs> and I should be social distancing yes. from your box. Right, OK, so uh, where are we? Are we here or are we here? Here, here, here. Sorry, I'm always in the wrong place. OK, right, so this is... Oh, my word, love this. L how fun is this, Maggie? Yeah, both of the um, under-the-sea scenes. Again, if you look at the expressions on their faces that is fran they twinkle in the eye big smile <laughs> but they i really loved coloring these in and i think if you've got grandchildren that you perhaps can't get in touch with at the moment you can't yeah. physically yeah you can't hug be and with them yeah. these are such beautiful images but also you know buy the stamp and you know get them coloring with you do it by skype so you're you're doing it together again again i have to say with this one i mean you, you don't know when the sentiments were sort of no. thought of created you know because there is obviously a there's a time lag between coming up with the idea and, and actually having the physical thing in front of you there. Treasure life. Hello. There you go. Who knew? 910-888 is your tel uh, telephone number. Your item number for that one. <laughs> £9.99. pence. Love it. Absolutely love it. You want to add a pirate to that. You want to try and draw your own pirate and add it to that. Uh, right. OK. Next up, we have your mirror stamping plate right okay um maggie 
Okay. Help. <laughs> okay. This is um, a very popular item. We bring it back all the time because people re request it. It's basically designed so you can mirror the images that you stamp. Okay. Because traditionally, if you just stamp one image, say you've got a bird facing to the right. Yes. When you stamp it, it's, it's facing to the right, okay? Yes. But there's no way you can use that stamp to make the bird face the other way. Right. Which is really irritating. Unless, so, unless you've had to buy another stamp facing the other way. So the idea is you stamp onto your magic mirror stamp. Yes. You need to use a wet, a slow drying ink, and then you stamp onto that, and then you straight away stamp onto cards. Which, so which you ink would you image. recommend? Versafine Claire I use because mm -hmm. I find that's um, nice and juicy and it takes a while to dry. So can I just can I just make sure that I've got the understanding here? So you stamp onto this stamp onto that and stamp from this to straight the next onto piece. the paper so you have the reversed image okay so it's the oh okay so it's almost like a sort of yeah like a stamp itself yes oh yeah. i get but, it um, gosh the, that's clever there's lo fran's done lots of youtube clips for this and video right. tutorials it works really well you do need to practice with it yes you will find some stamps work better than others yeah deep etched rubber stamps you get a fantastically crisp image mm -hmm. Some of them you need, it won't, all the images will be lighter than the original image stamps, yes. obviously. And depending on whether you stamp on textured card, smooth card, you'll get a different effect. But it's so versatile and it means that you can increase the use of all your stamps you've had for ages because you've now got two images. So how many people had that not occurred to, I wonder? Because if you have a stamp which is... Well, imagine it was a stamp of me. It never would be. But when I was looking that way, then you could... <laughs> yes, you could make one, Lottie, if you like. Yeah, we could have a Mama Makes <laughs> and Derek stamp. Yeah, you'd, you'd, sell, you'd sell literally single figures. Um, <laughs> so if you had a stamp of me looking that yeah. way, you could only stamp me that way. But yeah. if you stamp the stamp of me I then that put way... you onto the mirror plate. Onto this. Yeah, and then you Then do... I can turn that around, mm -hmm. and then I would have... Yes, or I could have me facing me. Yes, you could. Wow, what a so frightening about thought your that would water be. water reflections, your mirror images, um, yeah. all sorts of things. Let's never have let that. Let's never make that happen in my case. But um, <laughs> for all your other stamps, that's amazing. Now that's got a freedom price there as well, thirteen pounds and forty nine. Do you know I had never even thought about that? I just thought, okay, well if you've got a stamp, you've got whatever it stamps. No, and it only takes one to suddenly double the number of stamps yeah. in your collection. That seems very good value, considering that could double your stamp collection like that. That's amazing. I've got... Did Adam call me a gnome? Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah, I should be, I should be sat cross-legged on, on a mushroom with a short rod. <laughs> um, and, and here is, <laughs> here is the, the gnome stamps that we've got now. Now, these gnomes remind me of, and I think they're Scandinavian um, characters called Huga, which you All see right. at Christmas. They're mm -hmm. kind of like the Swedish St Scandinavian version of Santa Claus, as we would see him, is a Huga. Um, uh, and these are, these are like little mini Huga, uh, but they are wonderful gnomes. Oh, I love it. This is brilliant. So you've got one, two, three different gnomes here. You've got, is, is the one, oh, we'll wait until we get down there. Oh, you've got Hollywood there as well. Oh, imagine putting, so you're putting a, a gnome in the context of the Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, the Magical Palace, the, the Pyramids, the Statue of Liberty. There's a camel there. Mm -hmm. Oh, th there's a camel on his travels. Oh, this, see, we're talking travels again. So there'll either be a wish you were here or... Oh, well, maybe next year. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that would be the sentiment that goes with that. I love this. I love how you can um, mix the different iconic, and they're very different places as well. So you've got um, Hollywood, the uh, Pisa's, uh, the, the Pisa's? The um, pyramids. Pyramids of Giza. Of Giza. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and I put the two together and made Pisa. Who knew? Um, and you've also got the Statue of Liberty there as well, haven't you? Yes. And again, Franz coloured these as well to give you an idea, give yeah. you a, a, a bit of a guide and an inspiration. Of course, you could completely do it in a different way. And remember, if you get your um, mirror stamps, they would be very, very useful. 
Really, really good. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Sorry, Maggie, we won't we won't no, be it's long. Fine. We it's won't fine. be long. One more, <laughs> one more, and it's all yours, my darling. Right. Okay. So, last one. Butterflies. We all love butterflies, don't we? Uh, how many more have you seen this year than the average? Is it because we're spending longer in our gardens, or is it because there are actually more? I think there are actually more. I've seen butterflies that I've never seen in my garden before this year. Uh, it's amazing, and they kind of feel like you know when. You know when people say that if a white feather comes down and just lands in your path, it's kind of a message from someone. I think sometimes butterflies represent that in a way as well, because they carry through the generations, don't they, beautifully. Um, a birthday wish is sent your way. Thank you for your kindness. That's a lovely thing to do as well. Actually, a lot of people are, are writing thank you cards right now. Um, uh, if you're if you're doing something, you, you know, you're just picking up a bit of shopping for the neighbour or, or whoever it might be. There's a lot of people wanting to spend a lot of send a lot of thank you cards right now, um, for a, for a variety of different reasons. Um, I love this as well. It, it's almost like a there's almost an imagery of a, a looking glass there in the in the frame, yes, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yeah. This, so that this could complements be, the bird one as well. And yeah. that so that could be it could be reflection, it could be optimism, yeah. it could be, you know, it could be a lovely birthday, lovely neutral birthday, uh, without going too over the top. And the colouring opportunities there, yeah. you're gonna love it. You're gonna have great fun with that one. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, and there are five stamps in there. Right, that's the counter. Finally, 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 uh, we can go and have a little look at the web right now and you can see everything that is in the show. My gosh, um, I, we're definitely worth doing that, I think, actually, isn't it? Definitely worth having a look on the website. Um, Magical Horse is really, really busy. I mean, pretty much a quarter of the stock of that sold out as soon as we showed you that. The Peony is very, very popular um, as well. And the Mirror Stamping Plate, honestly, and, and we must revisit just how simple that is and I might have you got one Maggie as well okay Maggie's got one so maybe if that. if we get um, time during the hour let's exploit that and let and let's look at that because that for me is a complete revelation you know I'm brand new to the crafting world anyway and that's why I love being here actually um, because I can learn so much but I do know and I've often lurking in the back of my mind I've thought when people buy stamps oh that's that's in a way that's a little bit limited because you are trapped within that image every single time to be, to be able to mirror it and reverse it opens up your world completely and utterly and it is very very popular indeed does have reviews on it as well so again often when people review for Ho Chandra and thank you if you've ever taken the time to review a product because quite often you get inspiration from those reviews as well people will say I use this with so-and-so ink and I found it worked a lot better if I did this or did that or did the other that's how people get their inspiration so use the reviews not just to say oh is it good or is it bad you know it, it's one of those things where you can get inspiration from it as well which is amazing right Maggie the floor is yours okay cool so as we've talked about um the mirror stamp we'll just do a little demo with that so i've put one of um laurel birch's little horses on here and i'm just going to stamp it normally i've got versafine claire and this is quite a juicy ink pad because i did re-ink it so i'm just going to stamp the normal image like that okay so now this is my mirror stamp okay now I always keep mine just like this but make sure you have an acetate or something over the top of it just to keep it clean because obviously you want to put your image on there if it gets mucky a bit of warm soapy water you can just pop it back on again so that's my stamped image there now I'm going to take my unicorn again and I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to go straight onto my mirror plate and lift it off and then I'm going to go straight onto here pop it down line it up you will find that the image is lighter because obviously it's a, a second generation print um, and you will get slightly different effects so but that is a reverse image so there you've got both unicorns facing different ways could you use could you use one of the folders as well Maggie to to, to get yes, a, a, you, a, you a can. third print you'd have to you'd, you'd have to set it up yeah um, if you're using a stamp platform you need to set it up so that um, I did it so I had the stamp coming down and I have my mirror platform here yeah 
um, but I stamped that first. It was ju I just found it easier to do it that way. But really, because this is such a good product, I don't really think you need your... Um, no. Because you can't go back again afterwards because the ink's already dried, so yes. you won't get another image from it. But it's, it's just so versatile and it works so well. It's amazing. And doubles your stamp collection overnight. Yeah, it does. So it's, that is something to keep in your stash. There are other mirror stamps about. And they kept before Fran did them. They were tiny, about this size. Same price, if not more. And then the other ones they brought out weren't clear, which is completely pointless because you can't see where to line up on there. So good bit of kit. It'll last you a long time. Brilliant. Thank you. So that's that there. As I say, you'll get different results used depending on different types of stamps and papers. So we're going to fly in now with the dragonfly. And I've just stamped him out. I just wanted to show you. This is one of Stampendous's iconic images, really. Um, so we're just going to colour this in very quickly. And I'm just going to use some um, watercolour pens. So we'll just do a little mixture of some blues and pick up some water. Just mix this and we're just going to go in very lightly and I feel very um, strange today because I forgot my inky whiz with all my distress inks in and I always have it there and it's not there so no safety to blanket today no no so I have to bring it to remember to bring it right okay so I've done like a light wash so now I want a bit more depth and color so I'm just going to go in with a, a darker blue I love dragonflies. I think they're fascinating. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Have you ever had one fly right up to your nose? You know, like a, you know, like um, what do they call them? The um, hoverflies will sometimes oh, yes. fly yeah. right up to you, yeah. but they won't actually touch you. Yes. Well, I've had the same happen with the dragonfly. Yeah. Oh my word, amazing! They're they're just beautiful, aren't they? So I'm just, now I've just gone in. I've cleaned my brush, and it's still quite wet with water. But I'm just going back in, and I'm just pulling a little bit out of the colour out. Just give it a bit more dimension in the center so we're going to have a very very light wing you really don't want very much it's just like a shimmer isn't it through the it wing it is yeah. yeah and what you can do is if you had some iridescent medium which you can buy or just a glitter pen uh, you know one of the um, wink of Stella glitter markers just soften your ink down with that and then you'll have the sparkle in there automatically as you're doing it so we'll just go like that and like that. So that's very, very light there. Right, little bit of colour going in. I'm going straight in. Because my watercolour card isn't wet, I can go straight in with my pens. But I'm going to soften that down because that's quite bright at the moment. Just to let you know, there's a, just a short wait on the telephone lines there. It's just a couple of minutes. So I mean, if you can order via the web, then please do. But uh, if not, you will not be waiting long at all. Well, it sounded like an on-hold message then. You did, yes. Please hold the line. Your call is important <laughs> to us. Sorry, Maggie. Okay, so I put a little bit of, a few little bits of um, a red in now. Right, and then we'll just go back in. What do they call that plant? It's like a. Um, I think it looks like I'm probably cow doing, parsley. Yeah, it is, is cow it? parsley, is it? Oh, but good. I don't think it's yellow and red. But I just. Well, I think I, if we agree, then it must be right. It will just have um, <laughs> cow parsley's white, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It yeah. smells terrible as well. Ooh. Yes. So, okay, right now, do I want a little bit of green? Just put a little bit there. Sorry about the squeaking. Oh, it's gone right through me there. Ooh. It's like nails down a blackboard, isn't it? Ooh, I don't think it's quite as bad as that. <laughs> right. Okay, I want to put green down here. So, sorry, Derek, close your ears. That's all right. Okay, so I'm <laughs> going to take a wider brush. I'm going to get it nice and wet. Okay, so there's hardly any there. And then we're just going to go in. Normally I say don't have your brush too wet, but we just want to go in just to give a little subtle bit of colour like that. Okay, so now I've got some... Duralar matte here, which we do have on the website. Okay, it's a different substrate that you can colour on, but it's trans, it's um, opaque. Uh, okay. So, so what we're going to do is, I'm just going to go in very lightly on the wings. And then I'll pull the colour out a little tiny bit. So 
and now I'm just going to look on there so you'll be able to see that yeah you will okay so I'll just splodge some water there so we'll just give this a little blast with the heat gun just to dry dry the watercolour on there oops it's flying away okay let's give that another little dab there okay now because this is translucent let's stick this one onto here if you've got your wink of stella pens things like that you can pop them on the leaves on the wings it will give them more um, luminosity and dimension right okay so this is my dragonfly I'm going to bend his wings up and pop that on there so I'm going to put him on there so you can see the body underneath so I think I might still add a little bit more colour to the body just a little bit darker but we can pull the colour out find our pen that's it, just move it down there and with Dural Eye you can paint on both sides so it's, um, it's perfect give him another little blast Okay, now, I want to stick him onto there, but if I use normal glue, you're going to see it. So I'm going to use Artist Tack, which again is something we've got on the website. It's a permanent adhesive. Okay, and the beauty of this is that you can take the, take the backing off. Okay, and one side is all little tiny sticky dots. So I'm just going to pop. When you say it's permanent, it's okay for you to touch it though, is it? You're yeah, not going to yeah, stick yeah. yourself together, are yeah. you? Well, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's acid-free as well, so it's perfect for journaling, um, oh, brilliant. scrapbooking. But what I really like about this, so we'll take this off here, we'll pop this onto here, and then you can just bend his wings back. But actually... Oh, that's nice. Because it's funny, isn't it, when you, when you look at a real dragon, if you can get that close, the, the, the texture is of the wing is almost yeah. like paper, isn't it? It is. I um, actually rescued a dragonfly when we were on holiday. Did you? Yeah, it was a, we had a real, a lot of rain and the dragonfly, its wings got so wet that it yeah, couldn't, couldn't fly. Yeah. So I put it in the sunshine and it still wasn't doing anything because its wings were stuck together. Oh, right. And I thought, oh, that's it, because they have to wait for them to dry, don't they, when, they're, when, they're, when they emerge. I don't, know, I don't know with them. Um, but, but, but anyway, yeah. and it was huge, it was a big one because we were on holiday. Yeah. Anyway, um, I gave it some water and sugar to I just looked at it and I thought I wonder and it let me just separate the wings without tearing them and it sat in the sun for about a minute and then it just flew off oh wow so but this is why so that's um the effect that you can get you get a really lovely effect this is such an iconic image it is absolutely beautiful so isn't it stunning it's a beautiful stamp um, and that's why it's one of our favorites so so that's that one. It's wonderful. Do you, want, you can roll on, Maggie, if you want okay, to do another one. Okay, I'll just carry on, shall I? Okay, well, I think we'll have a little play with um, the watercolour stamp, shall we? Yeah. So let's turn that over there. Um, stamp pad. I find it easier, if I'm not using a stamping platform, to have a stamping mat underneath. Mm -hmm. You've just got a bit more give. So we'll take these stamps out. And this is the scenic... Um, scenic set. Like the sailing set, isn't it? Yes, yeah. It's like so we're off to Lake Windermere or... It is. Yeah, definitely. Or Rutland Water, which is nearby. Yes. So be, I've never been there, actually. I must pop in lovely. one day. But I remember it before it was there. So. Oh, is it, oh, is it a man-made lake? In the, yeah, it's is it, is in it? the... Was it the 70s? Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is, so it, is it lovely? Do you see dragonflies and lots of wildlife there as well? I've never been. There's, it's got a wildlife end, yeah. It? So it's got lots of birds there and things like that. Oh. So have a little play. When you get your um, scenic one, just have a little play to see what all the images are like, okay? Um, there's a fence here. So when you stamp your fence... Don't just think, oh, it's got to be like that. It hasn't. If you turn it up the other way, you 
can get more depth and dimension with it because of the way that Fran's drawn it. Oh yes, yeah, so you can have a little, so, little bank or a little slope yes. to that, couldn't you? So you just, just get the feel of your stamps and just have a little play. See, now that could turn into a winter scene now, yeah, couldn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's that there. Um, see how the hills and the trees work? It's all about getting used to things and seeing how they work work for you so you could run them along like that if you wanted to me that looks too um too organized if that makes sense <laughs> so just keep going so here you've potentially got your that could either be the edge of the lake or it could be a road so we'll just now we've put that there and I've had a little play yeah I'm going to go on to piece of watercolour card okay and I think what I'm going to do is probably I'll probably do a, a fence along here so we'll start with that sorry can you see okay yeah Okay, so that's our fence there. And then I'm thinking, right, I might put a tree in here. So it will pop. It will pop a tree there. And I might just take the top of it and just put another little bit. I don't want the um, base of the tree there, so we'll just mask that over. And we'll just have another little bit there. Like that's showing. Oh, just peeking in. Yeah, just peeking in so you can just take your time and build it up. So that's that there. Um, but now I'm looking and I'm looking at where the, where the, um, what do you call it, fence was. So take a little bit of copy paper. You can really play about with this and do it as much as you want. You don't want it on that tree there. So we're going to ink it up, have a little play, and we'll just run it along there. another one there turn that round and that's there okay so you just keep just keep going so now I think I'm going to have something over here so I'm going to have a lake over here so this is just a cliff edge that's the trees my lakes going to be there so now I'm going to take some boats And again, stamp them out first of all to see size-wise and also perspective, because this is a bigger one, so you probably want that one nearer the front, really, so you're looking out. But then your perspective would probably be better. That would be too big if you put that on there. So let's take a smaller one. Okay, and that's better. So you can have those closer in, and you could pop... And this is why it's good to have a good play It is. Just, first. just have a play because you need to yeah. know how everything works. Your fingers will get really inky and if it's versifying, be careful because you can put your fingers down Yeah. And, y and you get quite inky. So that's that there. So now I'm thinking, okay, what else should we do? I don't want a balloon in there, but I might put some birds in. Now the birds are all together here. You might want to snip them and separate them. quite a big bird so we'll take that big bird off and we'll just put that one there I want another smaller one and have your images coming off the edge as well they don't have to all stay exactly where they are that's it okay so I think we've probably finished with a few flowers carry on I'm just going to put a few flowers up here okay so that's that right so we'll move all this mess out of the way now so now we're going to have more squeaking now direct oh that's all right that's fine okay I'll put the finger in, in so my ears I'm just going to move this 
right to the end. <laughs> so, right, that's there. So, now we're going to be brave, so we're going to do our green first. Just give it a little blast with the... Because my ink pad was a very new, squishy one. So just... Because at the moment, the boats are just, um, well, in the middle of, middle of the air, really. So we'll take a green. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> and as, right, as right. I said, if you look on YouTube, Fran has done loads and loads of um, watercolour tutorials. Does, does she squeak? No, she doesn't squeak because she <laughs> she's very good because she uses um, actual watercolour, you know, um, out of, oh, a, out like of a, a tube thing. Oh, ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now we need a darker. Well, that's going to be lighter. So let's have, put that one in there, mix it with it. Okay. So it wants to be dark around here because you've got your tree there. And this is on um, Bockingford watercolour card. You can use Pink Frog watercolour card as well. You need a good quality one. Watercolour is very forgiving. And as long as your card's not too wet, you can go back in, move the colours around. Just keep doing it so you start to get your depth. Can I ask a quick question? Yeah, um, far away. So when you are watercolouring yeah. um, onto card, because I've got some... Um, a friend gave me some of the pens which have a watercolour tip, you know, oh, the yes. brush yeah, at the yeah. tip. And so I've started having a little dalliance, mm -hmm. like you do. Um, so is the rule in terms of um, if you're using uh, watercolour, the more GSM, the better? Or is it the quality? No, it's the quality. Right. Um, Bockingford is hot pressed, um, right. which makes it smooth. I have no idea what the hot press means, and lots uh -huh. of people will know. But I find for the watercolour, it, it, you have much more control with it. Uh -huh. Pink Frog isn't hot pressed, but it's not quite as smooth as Bockingford. But it, it does seem to take the watercolour really well and move around. Mm -hmm. um, okay. um, if I was teaching a class, I yeah. would always teach them the using the watercolour card that I used because it's not mm -hmm. fair to use a a cheaper project because you won't get the same result. Does and that guess, make sense? Yes, and I and I guess when you're starting out, um, you're probably a little bit more over ambitious than you probably need to be when you're starting out, and then you yeah. learn to, to develop yeah. texture. But, I suppose, but it yeah. is such a forgiving technique. Yeah. That um, I think sometimes people are too hard on themselves. You yeah. can spend hours doing a watercolour image. Yeah. I mean, I can spend hours colouring one stamped image in. Yeah. And I could spend five minutes. Yeah. You'll get different results, but you'll still get the shading and things. Yeah. So it's really dependent on um, on how you are, how people are really. Right. We're going to go in. Sorry, more squeaking. I'm going to go in with the C now. Um, what I'm doing is putting the basic bits in, and then I'll carry on building it up. So. Get it nice and wet. Turn, turn your um, paper around when you're working, or your project when you're working, because it's easier. Okay, okay. So we're going to start and just put this in. Now that looks a horrible mess at the moment. So you just keep going. Turn it round so you can see. And you're going to start to put your horizon in. I'm using quite a big brush here, but you can use a small brush. It's really what you're comfortable with. Right. Pick a bit more colour up because it's, it's not moving as I want it to. So a little bit more colour. That's it. It's starting to look more stormy. And then where the sea meets the sky... It's not always a straight line like that, is it? It's you, yes, you can see your horizon, but it's not. Um, it's not as defined as that. So give it a little wipe out. So you can already start to add more texture because you're lifting some of the colour out. Mm -hmm. So it's really just, it's just playing and taking your time. So our sky is going to be a different colour. It's going to be a very. Woo. Right, we'll go because this isn't wet. You can go straight on with your with your pen. If the paper cardstock was wet, you'd have an awful job moving it. Okay, so now I can go in and just start to move it. 
Okay, so it's, an, so it's almost a, an, an ombre down yes. up to the horizon yeah. and then an ombre yeah. up into the sky. Yes, but you can carry on doing whatever, really whatever you want. As I say, it looks a mess at the moment, but you need to just, just stick with it yeah. because it will... Start coming together. Yeah, yeah, okay. And you can add so many colours up into the sky as yes, well, can't you? Yes, you can. You can have your mauves in there if you want. You can have <coughs> your... You could do it as a sunset in the horizon. Um, but now I've sort of merged all into one. You can see there. So now we probably do need to go back in and put something else in. So we'll just put a little bit of... You really don't need very much. Just take your time. Just so it... Get a different bit of definition. Okay. So just give it a little blast. It's a bit... And I like this because there's almost like a pinky purpley in the middle of the sky. You'll see it in a minute. Right, let's just dry it a little bit. So there's a little tiny bit of, I don't know if you can see it, a little tiny bit of purpley. Oh, I can see it yes. here just in the middle there. You can there. see a little dash, okay, yes. So we're yeah. still building it up. So now we've got our flowers and things here. This needs sorting out here because you've got a gap here. So go in, pick up a little bit, just pull it and move it along. And I don't know if you can hear, but I can hear it. But I, when my brush is exactly the right um, amount of wetness, it sort of like almost goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh on the cardstock. It sounds uh, really dark, okay. and then it, but if you really start to hear it, then you need more water in it, right. if that makes sense. So okay. we'll go with the smaller brush now. And we'll just pick this up here. So we're just going to go... I love how this comes together. But and actually, the stamps, for those people who don't consider themselves, and I, I am one of these people who don't consider themselves at it. all artistic, it gives you, it's like the skeleton, isn't it? And you yeah. then from there, you cannot really go wrong, can you? No, you can't. And really, if you're worried, just practice with a tree to start with. Yeah. Or just, just a boat. Um, so, um, Maggie, uh, we've got another couple of minutes because then we're going to need to do a quick run down the, okay, run right. down the counter before the end of the show. Okay. Can I ask you, just, just from where you are there, yeah. just maybe spend a, a minute or so just talking to us about the colours that you would then add into the sky that you personally okay. would add yeah. up into okay. the sky right. on that That's one? That's cool. Yeah, okay. Right, so what I'd do is I'd carry on with the tree and I'd make the tree quite brown and, and pull out the colours here. The seagulls I'd do with a light grey. The flowers here I would probably do with um, sort of like a soft orangey yellow and then the boats I'd have a pop of red for the sails or possibly for the um, maybe the red in the background there and then possibly on the actual boat base there I'd have the reds and I'd have a blue there and then what you could do is um, you could go back in although this is dry you could go back in you could do a blend of um, a red and orange and a yellow which is your sunset coming through. I, it's that wonderful. one you need to practice with. But yeah. it's, it, this is such a beautiful stamp set to learn with. Because as it is right now, that's a bit of a moody day, isn't it? Yes. But yeah. then you could completely transform yeah. that into height of summer day, Definitely. couldn't you? Definitely. Just, just play with it. They're designed, she, as I say, she's really keen to get everybody watercolour in. I love it. So just and, and do you know what? And I think that, that demonstration there has given a lot of people the bravery to go, yeah. do you know what? I am going to give it but a go. You, you can do it. It does yeah. take time. I mean, you know... I would do a lot more with that, but just play with it and enjoy it. Fabulous. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you. Um, when, are you when are you back with us? I'm back tomorrow at 11 o'clock with Impression Obsession. Some more favourites, fab cover of cards. And then I'm back Sunday at 2 o'clock with a special Cool Cats Craft Chef. Fabulous. Mm. Thank you very much Thank for that you. demo as well, because I think that's Thanks, absolutely everybody. amazing. Uh, I shall put you back into your... Uh, into your box right now. We're going to yes. go back to the web and see everything that is in the show. Um, there are a lot of stamps as well, which you only got a brief glimpse of uh, right at the uh, very, very top of the show. And they are amazing. I will try and go through as many of them as I possibly can because they are incredible. But have a more detailed look on the web um, and we'll particularly home in it. So let's start with the bird frame, uh, which is uh, amazing, which is this one here. Um, again, Fran has actually added colour into the stamp for inspiration for you as well. So it gives you a little bit of a guiding, a helping hand. So if you're new to watercolour, 
you know, actually, you may have started this hour new to watercolour, and by the end of it, thought, actually, you know what? I was watching what Maggie was doing there. It's it's the brush, it's the colour, it's the it's the blending, it's the playing with the stamps and everything else. Those all together as building blocks. You'd be an artist in a couple of hours. It's amazing, isn't it? 309988 then. 12 stamps in that one there. Lots of sentiments in that one as well. Uh, 3098, sorry, 309988. Fantastic. Don't, don't come to me for numbers, by the way. Just go by the screen. Uh, 037109 is the next one, and it's Sassy Travel. Now, we had emails coming in about this one. So, oh, so people were talking to us about the translations. Annie... Oh, Ami. Ami is French for friend, and Amica, is the other one Amica, is Italian for friend. Oh, well, you see, thank you for that as well, because uh, the Italian um, phrases are at the bottom of the stamp, and the French ones are at the top, uh, because you've got bonjour and merci, and you've got grazie, and Amica, and ciao. So Ami is one of the French ones. French for friend. Oh, bon ami. Bon ami. That's good friend, I suppose, isn't it? Is it? Oh, I've opened up a whole new can of worms there, haven't I? Let's move on. 0371091199. We haven't got time for that kind of cogitation right now. This has been really, really popular, actually, this stamp. This is the Wood the uh, Magical Horses, um, which are brilliant. Half of the stock has gone as well. Remember, this has uh, wings and it also has the stencil as well. How Derek can wreck every time I'm in here, it can wreck things completely and utterly, but it also has uh, the little stencil there as well, which you can use as a mask as well, which is brilliant. And not that kind of mask. £10.99, 434931. Then, put that down there, Derek. There you go, that'd be the way to do it. Right, next one is the one that Maggie was just demoing. So this is the one that you need to get hold of. You were inspired by Maggie's demonstration there. And you see in the example here, it's a completely different look. It's the same stamps, but it's a completely different look. There are also um, sort of guidelines there in the stamps of the watercolouring that you might use and the way you might shade that watercolouring as well. So it really does hold your hand every step of the way. If you've never really tried these before, then give it a try. £14.99. 536144 is the item number. Next to the peony, and I'm speeding up my speech because we only have two minutes left. So it's peony time right now. So the peony, the butterfly, and even miracles take a little time. Love that one. 999 565 207 is the item number. Next up, we have. Which one was it? Oh, turtles! We're going under this... No, I'm not allowed to sing that, am I? No, don't sing that because you'll owe somebody money. Uh, this, is your, this is your getting down with the turtles little set. Real great fun. You're totally awesome and swim at your own pace. That's me right now for the next minute and a half. 447777 is the item number. That's lots of fours and lots of sevens. Uh, next up, we've got the dragonfly for you. Uh, again, you saw with Maggie's first demo on this just how versatile this is, just how many different mediums you can throw at this, and how many different mediums you can use with it as well. 700150 is your item number then, £9.99. Uh, right, next up, we are going back under for the pirates now. Um, this is brilliant. So the pirate, pirate has got the treasure, the seahorses down there. There's a little kind of sea wormy thing there as well, all sorts. You're a treasure and treasure lifer in there as well. 910888 at just nine pounds and 99 pence. We've got three to go and 40 seconds. That's not gonna work. Three into one doesn't go. This is really, really, really popular, is the mirror stamping plate. It practically, any stamp that faces one way, the mirror stamping plate allows you to mirror it and face it again the other way, which is brilliant. Which, for a lot of stamps, it doubles your collection. It's brilliant it's been so so popular it does have a freedom price there as well at 13 pounds and 49 pence 912 516 i got most of the way there didn't i thank you so much for your company thanks to lovely maggie as well who is back with you tomorrow at 11 o'clock in the morning and i'm back with you in uh, oh it's gonna about be about three minutes Because in a change to the listing magazines, we have a happy hour coming up next for you, which is brilliant. And then your friend and mine, Adam Humphreys, will be here with Leone for a brand new La Blanche one day special. Brilliant! Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion, and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. 
We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on her Chanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch her Chanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on the Chanda. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. On the Achanda shows, we'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows on Achanda. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made of the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. looks like a little person's ear trumpet now, doesn't it? Do you know behind me, this? This? <laughs> Sorry. That's what I was doing then. I was trying to... Hello? Can you hear me, Mother? Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to 
in a change to the advertised programme, so I'm so sorry if you bought the TV Times, going to say something completely different. Other listings magazines are available. Um, because we're having a happy hour. So, first of all, rules of happy hour are, one, you need to be happy. So, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Thank you. Um, and <laughs> also... And also, what's the other rule, Lottie? Oh, yeah, the other rule is all of the prices will go up at the end of this hour. So happy hour is happy hour and until it's not happy hour anymore, and then the prices will go. So shop ahead on the web because there's a longer, longer counter than we had in the last hour. Can you believe it? It's one, two, it's three trestle tables worth. Oh, amazing. If this was your village hall, we'd be half the way down. Uh, right, so... Here's everything that's on the web, by the way, so you can shop ahead. Now, the great thing is, because this hour wasn't, um, well, all, everything you're seeing right here is discounted, which is brilliant. Now, my mom's going to be after that MDF storage system, just to let you know, the ribbon holder one there. She won't use it as a ribbon holder, but there are a million things you can use it for, of course, decorate it and use your papers. Those um, Loxley Amos glass deco kit, the colours on there are brilliant. And I must remember, do not touch, because they're still wet. Um, and we've got canvas boards as well, really, really good. Now, do make sure, the, probably the best thing to do, the things that are later on in the hour on the web, uh, they're the ones going to take me a little bit longer to get to. So if you shop ahead and check them out, then they're safe before we even got to them. If that makes sense? Does that make sense? Any of that makes sense? I don't worry. Don't worry, the professional presenters are all back in an hour's time. It's fine. You've got Adam and Leone. I know, together. Brilliant. Uh, right, let's start then with a leather swatch collection because it's it's what everybody needs really for their elbows. Do you know what I mean? For elbow patches, for clothes. Because I think that that is going to come back again. You know the old university lecturer look. Do you know what I mean? Where you have a, a patch of leather. Um, yeah. It can be quite sexy, Lottie is saying. Well, wow. was, was that, did you say that after I put this on my, on my elbow? Right. I, I say I need long sleeves to do that. Now, listen, the thing is, for £12 here, and this is why happy hour deals are brilliant, you are getting, how many are there here? Right, we've put them in three rows, but there, there, actually there's 40 here, and they are 12 centimetre squares. Now, 12 centimetres, can I have that in old money, Lottie, as well? I think that'd be about a five, it's about a five inch square, it's about a charm pack size, isn't it? Is that a five inch square-ish? 4.7, do you know what, and they say men can't guesstimate. They also say that men always overestimate as well. And I, and I, <laughs> right, anyway, listen. Happy hour could go too far, you know. Uh, 12 pounds, which is brilliant, and you're getting 40 squares. They're all this lovely, deep, rich chocolate. And this is a genuine leather as well, yes? Yes, ge genuine leather. Um, and actually, if you think of all of the different applications for that, in fact, half of the stock is gone, so you're going to have to look lively. Do you know what? If you've got some dining room chairs that are just fabric-backed, you're going to have to imagine them, because they're going to be... Well, let's imagine the fabric is this colour for your dining room chairs. Actually, you could do a stripe of these up the middle of the chair, couldn't you, and add some sophistication. Or you could do, instead of doing a line, you could do the bingo on your chairs, couldn't you? Do all the four corners. Okay, I'll move on. Get my coat. Get my coat. I've got short sleeves on already. It's cold. Uh, right, 971258. When's the sun coming back out, by the way? Oh, I've had, oh, is it out? Oh, it wasn't up north this morning. It needs to come back. It really does, honestly. Right, let's do a leather journal now. Do you know I have never, ever, ever embarked on a journal? Um, I mean, I've, I've read other people's diaries, but never done my own journal. So maybe it's time. I love, love, love this, um, because this is so sort of cute. It's almost like sort of hidden treasure, isn't it? Almost looks like something you've had that's been sitting around since the 1600s. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those wonderful wonderful aged look to it so this is how it comes so it already comes with the wonderful kind of little um sleeves and again if you want to incorporate more of the leather back into it you can as well so you've got your little um pockets there at the front plus your your map of the world so it could be uh, journaling an actual journey it could be journaling a mar a, 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 a um what what was i trying to say there a uh, moment in time you know, we were saying in the last hour as well, we should really, we owe it to ourselves and future generations to document 
the story of 2020 and then just put a big old lock on it and like that close it up and forget about it and let and let future generations read about it because we are living history right now do you know what i mean all the things that we're going through now, all the wonderful things that people are doing for each other and, you know, just pictures of this and that and just capture an essence of that. And that becomes a living history book for the generations of your family, something tangible as well, something that's not necessarily just digital. Or it could be now is the time where, I don't know if you're like me, I've got a little carrier bag of stuff from loads of different holidays but never done anything about it. You know, like guidebooks and train tickets and a bit of this and a bit of that and, you know, a feather from somewhere and a, a something from somewhere. Now's the time to do it, isn't it? £29.99, and pence, bound in genuine leather as well. And I think you, you'll agree that that really is. It's the real deal, isn't it? It's lovely. Um, and it's also half of the uh, uh, usual price tag there as well. In fact, that's limited already, just so that you know, 29.99. It might just be, now is the time. Now is the time to move it on. Right, lace ribbon we have right now. Ooh la la, madam. This could go with the merci and um, bonjour that we had in the last hour. Bit of Chantilly lace. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, it is, isn't it? Now, if you are upcycling, if you are recycling, if you are costume making, I've got a friend of mine, in fact, um, a, a lady I work with, um, Emma on another channel, Talking Cruises, her little girl is really into princesses. And so now she finds herself in this time of, uh, you know, uh, being together a lot, um, making lots of costumes. Today, mummy, I want to be. <laughs> There's any any number on that list, isn't there, of characters and things. Um, but actually for your crafting, for your journals, what a wonderful way to trim, to finish, to decorate, you know, let Leone loose on something like this. Actually, if you think about everything that we saw in the two o'clock hour with Chow Bella, do you know what, that, that wonderful soft influence of the Sicilian and Italian um, elements to that, they're beautiful. Isn't that amazing? And you get 10 metres on each. It's 13 millimetres. So um, 20 metres of that for just £14.96. It will go up by £10 at the end of the hour. So if you want it, grab it now because 40% uh, off. Sale must end at 5 o'clock today. So uh, take advantage. I like that. I've never got one of those voiceover jobs apart from cashier number two please i wish i was that person i wish i was that person anyway let's move on yeah i might get a train job one day now same kind of thing oh no not same kind of thing actually completely different because this has got a wired edge so it's got a nice structure to it so if you're like me and you cannot tie a bow for toffee without it falling apart and looking ridiculous this would be absolutely brilliant shall i have a little go with this one so you get it well let's show you what you're getting first of all so you're getting three different well so it's assorted sizes there so you've got um are these the actual ones Lottie, yeah, these are the actual ones. So that one looks to be, I, I don't have a ruler here. Right, 32 millimeter. Ah, 38, 32, oh no, right, 50, 38 millimeter, 32 millimeter. There are the three sizes, sorry. We, uh, they came into my ear the wrong way around, but it's fine, it's not a problem. Right, so. Now, for those people who are, I mean, I, I, honestly, I cannot tie a bow, but when you have got, um, oh, yeah, no, you do it like, hang on a second, you can do this, Derek, you know you can do this. It's two loops together, and you cross one over the other, don't you? That's it. And then you can just, you could just wire the rest over and, you know, and, and, and make the best of it. But see, the great thing about this, and I don't know what kind of job I've done there, but you can, you can zhuzh it up because you've got wire in the borders of the actual hessian. And isn't there something about the aroma and the smell of Hessian? Doesn't it remind you of, I don't know, it reminds you of lots of different things in your life, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? I love it. Really, really good. Uh, yes, this would be great for vintage weddings. It would be great for um, decorating displays of organic materials around the top of a, a, a lovely jam jar or if you make your own chutneys or marmalades or, ooh, chutney. Oh, marmalade, uh, caramelised onion marmalade. Oh, 
Oh, I wish I could make it. Anyway, those three together, sorry, I could display those a little more elegantly, couldn't I? Let's do that. So you've got 40% off of these, the three different widths, remember, 50 millimetre, 38 millimetre, and 32 millimetre. Heaven knows how I've remembered that within 30 seconds. Uh, but there you go, all three of those, and they are, what, does it say how much you get on a reel? 10 metres, 10 metres, and these two, the larger ones are one metre. Are you sure they're one? No, they must be longer than a metre. No. No, it's way longer than a metre. Look, this just goes on and on and on and on and on. That'd be a metre, because a metre is about half a derrick, isn't it? Because <laughs> I am the smallest presenter here. Uh, you see, normally, I live, in the, uh, I live in the cupboard normally. It doesn't give you any measurements on that one, actually. Oh, yes, it does. I lied. 50 millimetres by 9 point one meters so and that one and that one is also nine point one meters and that one is ten meters so you get just under 30 meters in total there for you for just 1558 right time to move on time to move on right okay now next up we are going to melt art now this is the set that Maggie was talking about earlier Maggie has a set. Maggie that was uh, here in the last hour, um, a lovely Maggie Moore. She's bought a set of these just very, very recently and loves them. Now, these are your Heat It inks and the accessories there. Now, there are 20 pieces in total. Now, Lottie, because this Hat It Happy Hour was a late addition to the schedule, I have never encountered Heat It inks. So, is it as easy as it suggests on the tin? So, it's a colorant for ultra thick embossing enamel which to me is just words at, at the moment I have to say so you've got an applicator there as well which is for smooth blending for applying your inks and your paints and more it says then the the inks itself which are a heat safe ink so you've got wonderful there's a red there's a yellow there's a lovely deep blue there and if you want to heat up those um, mediums, so add the inks to other mediums, and that makes those other mediums heat safe as well. Is that right? Have I interpreted that correctly? You colour them. Oh, to colour the mediums. I see. Right, OK, because, yes, and you can heat them too. You've got your glues there as well. So you have a stick glue, and you also have a liquid glue there as well. And is this the third one? Oh, it's a mini mister there as well for spritzing. So you fill it with water to spray over your inks as well to sort of distress them in some way. The paper that you get with this as well, oh gosh, it's lovely and glossy. It's a specialty stamping pack. It's very, very nice indeed. It's matte coated cardstock. It's fantastic. It is super smooth. It's wonderful. Well, to me, it's super smooth. It is, it's lovely. It's got that lovely sort of eggshell kind of texture or sort of feel to it, not the texture necessarily, just the feel. Well, I think I did marvellously there, don't you? Uh, £19.99, so that's for the entire bundle there. Uh, so that's £27.39 off the price. But only until... Oh, it's 5 o'clock, isn't it? I was looking at the clock and it says 16 and I was thinking 6 o'clock. So it's f uh, 5 o'clock, the happy hour. You can enjoy 60%, nearly 60% off of that price tag. 203-115 is your item number. Next up... Next up, oh, now this is good. This is something I just know that I need in my life. Definitely, I need in my life. Uh, this is your uh, Zutta collection. Corrugated boards, tab file covers, coveralls, and page protectors. There are 22 pieces in all, which is amazing uh, for Zutta. A lot of you have been actually been um, shopping ahead on this one as well. So these are your lovely uh, boards. You can do shabby chic with this, you can uh, punch through it as well. It's distressable, it's paintable, it's inkable and terrible. And you can trim it to any size there as well. It's brilliant. If you've got the uh, papers from Chow Bella today, the 12 by 12s, they are going to fit onto your 13 by 13 absolutely beautifully and give you a border for a frame as well. You've also got index tabs here and the good strong ones quite often when you see um, sort of tab files or index tabs, they're kind of, you know, kind of not strong enough for the job. You know what I mean? There, there, there are some things that you want to keep that are, maybe you're somebody that stuffs every drawer full. 
Oh, okay. Um, technically sold out because they are all allocated uh, in baskets. So um, good luck. Good luck. Do check out your baskets. I'm not. A, well, listen, nine pounds ninety. You just would, wouldn't you? You just you just would, wouldn't you? Uh, nine pounds and ninety pence. Right. Next up is the glass deco kit. Now. This allows you to make stained glass by yourself. Now, who had the MDF this morning? Was it our Catherine who had the MDF sets where you could... Oh, no, it was Janice this morning, very early this morning. Yes, yeah, she had the MDF kits with the um, cathedral windows and you could punch out the windows and make stained glass with them. Well, this allows you to do um, exactly that. So, apply glue to fix the clear vinyl sheet on the pattern draw the outline as the pattern let it dry apply the colors inside the lines dry completely and peel off your work stick it onto glass mirror or files there's the easy steps let me show you the palette and apparently i'm not to touch these because they might still be wet so these are all the different colors so basically you draw with your um with your sort of pens, I guess you'd call them, wouldn't you? The sort of like little icing piping pens, sort of, aren't they? But don't eat it. Thank you. Um, draw the outline. Fill in inside. Allow to dry. And then you can um, apply it to glass. Oh, so you can make your own glass decorations. You know, if you've got your favourite tumbler, or at the moment, in the workplace, this is Leslie's tumbler. then that would be a good way of, um, I'd, um, of um, you know, doing that kind of thing. That's a good idea, isn't it? Really, really good idea. I love that. What is it, 11 99 Do you know that would be something different to do with the kids as well at the moment? Maybe you have the pencils, the pens, or the paint brushes. Yes, homeschooling as well. Also, maybe for doing your, your rainbows and things on the windows as well, he says. Spot the man with no children. Uh, 038213. I, I am the only child in my house. Uh, £11.99. pence. See, do you know what? That's much more, I think in terms of entertainment, that's much more than £11.99's worth of entertainment. Do you know what I mean? That's like not even... That's about two cinema tickets, isn't it? And that's, that's going to go a lot, a lot further. Oh, is the cinema more expensive than that? Eleven one ticket. Is it? Is it these days? Oh, it wasn't like that in my day. Mind you, the last time I went to the cinema, I'm not good with the cinema. I always fall asleep. It's the comfortable chairs and the darkness that does it for me. So I get through the opening titles, then that's it, I'm gone. Next thing, <laughs> dribbling. No need for popcorn, I'm very cheap. And then I wake up for the closing credits, and that's it. Right, OK, well, I've had a nice comfy seat for a couple of hours. I'll go home now. Right, let's do canvas boards now. I know my mum's well into her canvas, canvas boards right now. Absolutely loves, loves, loves them. Um, they are brilliant. I mean, really, really good. When you think of how many businesses there are out there who do personalization of things onto canvas and the, the associated cost of those things, I'm not doing any of those businesses down, um, but you think, I can do that. I can do that. And you can make your very, very own artworks for your home. They are brilliant. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different sizes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it is nine, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, for £20 and 89 pence, I think that's really, really amazing. Don't you? Because you now can create your very, very own artworks, which is, you know, amazing to do, isn't it? Um, and it might just be, funnily enough, when I was working for another channel, I know there aren't any other channels, but when I worked for another channel before, I actually bought some very, very small pieces of gemstone, and I literally, I arranged them, and I stuck them onto a piece of card, I put that in a frame and called it art! I could do the same with this. And that, I think, is brilliant. And you know what? If you've got a card that you've been making, a, a card, and you've thrown every medium at it that you've got, and you think, I like that, I'm impressed with that, don't send it as a card. Get it mounted onto a canvas board. Get it framed. That's the thing to do, isn't it? Uh, £20.89. Now, the sizes vary. I haven't got the sizes. Uh, well, hang on. I have. Hang on. Are you ready? From the top. There are two five-inch squares, that's those two there. 
there's one which is 8 by 8 which I think is that one. Two 8 by 8 canvas boards, which will be two of those three, <laughs> I'm guessing. Two 12 by 12 canvas boards. One 12 by 12 stretched canvas. And that's your lot. Yes, so I actually think we've got too many in the display there, haven't we? So I think we should have that, shouldn't we? Is that right? There you go. I'll have that one. Don't worry, I'll take that one home. It's fine. I'll pop that in my pocket now. I'll give it to Adam. He can sneak it into the dressing room. Oh, I can't, can I? Social distancing. I'll cut your head off if I threw it. Um, so let's not do that. Uh, 303951. Listen, I'd be... I'd be... Oh, OK, right. So I've... Honestly, because you know that I can talk a glass eye to sleep, I've taken that long to get down the counter that I can't even show you all of this wonderful colour leather and doodah swatches because they're, they're all in baskets. So if it is in your basket right now, please do check out that basket. Now, listen, in a moment, we're going to link up with Alex. And I believe I'm, I am Alex today, I believe. I am, believe, yes. These heels are lovely as well. I think they've just given me that extra couple of inches that I needed. Um, anyway, let's look at the seven-day savers. They're on the web at hochanda.com. Now, these are the deals, as the name suggests, that are seven days in length. Now, today, just to let you know, today is Wednesday, folks. Who knew that? Uh, and these deals always finish on Sunday morning because we launch new ones. So, this week, we've got punch sheets and foam pads there at £10.49, big bundle there. There's a mill shop, 100% cotton regal fabric, um, or something there. Uh, Low-tack tape, there's a nice bundle there for 11 99 It's a different colour. Usually it's red, isn't it? And that's purple. We like purple. Um, super smooth white card collection. You get a lot there for how much, was it? So you get, oh, hang on, let's go through that. So 150 sheets there of, uh, that's really good, that's 300 GSM as well. Very, 9.99. Right, so get onto the website and have a little look at those. Oh, and the MDF rainbows and the thank you messages, they are brilliant. You could use those with your um, glass deco as well, completely. You could use those as a template. La Blanche, of course, um, they are here with us in, ooh, less than 40 minutes time now with a one-day special, but there is also a seven-day saver from La Blanche there as well. La Blanche. Uh, and a bit of crochet yarn. Uh, oh, they're like jelly rolls, aren't they? They look like jelly rolls, but it's um, crochet yarn. And what do they call them? Carousel Chunky. What were the names under there, Lottie? Scroll down, 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 down. I said, King Carousel. Choose from Speedway, Ferris Wheel, Waltzer, Helter Skelter, Ghost Train, Roller Coaster, Twister, Spinball, Teacups, or a mixed pack. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Cake style yarn. See, it wasn't far off. Layer cake. Right, marvellous. Anyway, right, okay, time for me to not say some words now, and time for the real Alex to address the nation. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, 
then it's there. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, member's badge and a member's newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. You so should as well. Listen, I mean, I, I, that's not a loaded opinion in any way, shape or form. Um, but it does make so much sense because once you start shopping, there ain't no stopping. Definitely. Um, I've got a sellout to talk to you about first and it is the leather swatch. Well, it is 40 pretty much five inch squares of genuine leather, all in baskets, all gone. Congratulations. In fact, you love the swatches because there were some more leathery, colory ones and they've all gone. And I think you've been, have you been grabbing for both? Oh, now, and, and so is the journal now. That same has happened to that as well. There's a bit of a leather thing going on today, isn't there? We call it Leather Wednesday. Uh, now remember, the sale must end at five o'clock this is it Wednesday? Because every day feels like Sunday at the moment, doesn't it? When Wednesday. Right, you've got 34 minutes left in the happy hour. So let's move on. Bit more lace now. Oh, madam. Um, we've got two 10 metre, it's two 10 metre reels, isn't it? Yes. Of beautiful ivory lace. Gorgeous, isn't it? One says white and one says ivory. Now, let me put that against my skin tone. I'm not sure what my skin tone is these days. They both look very, very similar, don't they? But that one, I think, is slightly darker, slightly creamier. So I think that's the ivory and that's the white one, I think. Spot the difference, Lottie. Yes, I would say so too. If I need to put it against a darker background, let's try the hairier bits. What do you think? Well, I would do it against my shirt if... If I have no, I have no sleeve. Come in sleeveless. <laughs> it's no good, is it? <laughs> sleeveless. Fancy a boy coming in sleeveless. Honestly, ridiculous. Especially with arms like that as well. I didn't even need to comb these either. They just naturally sit that way. Anyway, listen. If you would like these, if you could concentrate on the deals, please. Uh, <laughs> very much more popular after the, uh, after the, uh, yeah after the shirt shot, uh, saving £10, £14.96. pence. Gra <laughs> grab yours quickly while you can, £14.96. pence. Right, next up is your Hessian. For people like me who cannot tie a ribbon for toffee. This is really, really good for gift wrapping. Do you know, if you've got something, I need a box. Not to stand on, Adam, thank you, cheeky monkey. Uh, it's to uh, wrap a present up with. I've got a book here, that'll do. So if you're, if you're like me and you cannot tie a bow for toffee, this actually, this makes it really, really simple. I want to cut a length off, really, but I won't. Um, I'll just give myself enough so I can, I can tie a little, tie a little bow. I've only got one side there, that's the thing. But if you're, if you're, right, I'm just going to do a little rudimentary demo. If, like me, you cannot tie a ribbon for toffee, because this is wired on either side, it gives it that structure. So no matter how wrong you get the knot, you can also make, always make the finished piece absolutely beautiful. And of course you could, oh, do you know what, that would be brilliant. For winter gifts, you could tie a nice knot with the hessian, couldn't you, with the wire, and then you could add some little berry beads to the centre of that. That would be amazing. Now, there are three different widths and two different lengths because in the 50 millimetre, you get 9.1 metres in length. In the little, in the little diddy one, uh, no, that's 10 metres. The, the 32 is the middle one, and you get 10 metres of that. Oh no, 38 that, isn't it? 38 millimetres wide, 10 metres long. This is like the uh, airline demo again, isn't it? And the exits are here, here and here. In fact, there are more exits now since, all, since social distancing because the exits are there, there, there. And please make sure uh, that because the nearest exit may well be behind you. And the 32 millimetre width is 9.1 metres in length. 
Wow, that felt like a lot of numbers. Anyway, listen, that's a lot of hessian, which has been wired, so it has that lovely structure to it, um, for just £15.58. Well, listen, better 15 58 than 25 58 but only for another half an hour. Let us move on. Now, this is your heated ink bundle from Melt Art, um, your Ranger bundle. So this is the inks itself, it's your applicator, it's your glues and your little Ranger spritzer, plus your super smooth card there as well. So let me try and explain this again. Let's hope I got this right this time. So if you, um, if you are using in your mixed media projects, you are using a number of different medias that are not necessarily heat safe, then you can add the no. How does it work? I knew, I knew that was wrong. So if the medium needs to be heated, for example, an embossing enamel, this can be added, and this is also heat safe. OK, good. But you can add it to pastes. Can you add it to your Mod Podge and things like that as well? Just give it a different colour. Yes, yes, you could. And, and here are all the different coloured inks uh, you have in this one as well. You've got the ink, uh, the blending, the blending tool there as well. Plus you have got your, um, your glues there as well. So you've got a wet glue, you've got a, a stick glue, and a little mini spritzer, plus some super smooth, gorgeous paper to go with it as well. It's been very, very popular uh, this hour, despite my incredibly hideous descriptions. Uh, 203 115 is the item number. I need to see a demo of that. I need to see a demo of that. Oh, OK, yes, OK. Let's have a little look, because your Zutter that we were about to get to, that's gone, that's sold out, so I have to skip over it by looking at that. So here's the, here's the MDF storage. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Oh, yeah, this is the one that my mum was... Oh, yeah, we didn't. We haven't got one of those in the studio, have we? My mum will be after that. It's the Crafty Devils MDF storage system. So this is your ribbon holder. Really, really clever. So you put all of your ribbon reels on. It just keeps them all together. Imagine decorating that up as well with the, um, with the Chow Bella from this afternoon, with the 70s vibe going on. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? 134686 is your item number. It's just £9.99. It's even got the little doodars at the back so you can screw it straight to the wall. That's clever. Very clever. £9.99. So a nice £3 saving there, but only four. And I was just glancing up because we've only got 27 minutes left of this happy hour. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. I love this. I didn't have the first clue. Just please understand, one, I'm new. <laughs> I'm going to carry on using that excuse for at least a year and a half. Um, so I am new to Hojanda-ish. And uh, secondly, this hour was, was added at the last moment and the products were added to it after I'd already started. So there's my second excuse. So I didn't know what this was before I came along. So this if you have a look at the colours here, and I'll show you the little swatch of the colours you've got, what you do basically with this is you draw outlines. So what you can do here, what, this, is, this is what it says, how to, to make a, a glass deco stained glass piece yourself. So it says apply the glue to fix the clear vinyl sheet onto the pattern. Then it says draw an, an outline as a pattern and let it dry. And then of course you will apply the colours inside, so that's where you will flood your designs like the ones they've suggested on the front could be anything that you've got you've actually got and then you let it dry and then you peel it off and you stick it on your window and you've actually got so you've got a little magical castle there you've got a lovely um look at the princess there with is that a prince and princess yeah um you've got the flowers there <laughs> i wasn't sure who had the dress on there was he it was just very flowing his uh, costume there isn't it it, it'll look different when it's coloured, I'm sure. Uh, and then you've got your... Uh, oh, now that changed there like magic, didn't it? When I flipped it... Oh, there you go. So you've got... Oh, now look, there's a... Um, not that one, this one. What's this? Is that an ostrich? It's an ostrich, isn't it? There's a big sunflower there. There's a, a little cowboy with his... Um, what do you call it? Um, 
Is it Cock Horse it's called? Ride a Cock Horse to Banbury Cross. Isn't that, the pictures of that always have like a, a horse on a stick, a head horse on a stick kind of thing. Sorry, I've turned that, I'm turning this into a horror film now. I do apologise. Now you've got the, um, the little teddy bears there. You've got the, is that a little wood? Hobby horse, thank you, Andy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andy, for putting my, my train of thought back on its track. It's a hobby horse. <laughs> wow, how wrong you can be. I love this fish. I love this fish. And then you've got a little, a little kitten. It's a hobby horse. <laughs> it's a puppet. Uh, so, anyway, just in case you've just joined us and you're thinking, what are they talking about? This is your um, glass deco kit. So basically what you do is you draw your outline in the, in the black uh, and then you let that dry. Then you colour it in with the other uh, paints there, let it dry, peel it off the acetate and then stick it to the window. That's clever. That's brilliant. Never mind for kids, I want one of those. <laughs> I want two of those, in fact. £11.99. pence. Right, let's go on to your canvas next. So there are both canvas boards here and stretch canvas as well. Now we've got the sizes sorted now as well. So you get a stretch canvas, you get two of those in a five inch square. You get two eight inch canvas boards plus a stretch board. And plus you get two 12 inch canvas boards and a stretch. So you get, I've, I've, yes, 12 inch stretch canvas, you get one of those and you, and you get two 12 inch canvas boards. I'm doing the same thing backwards now. Two eight inch canvas boards and a stretch and two five inch stretch. There you go. And a partridge in a pear tree. Thank you very much. Won't be long till Christmas. Don't even think about how many days there are. I don't even know which. No, I do not want to know, Lottie, at all. No, it's happy hour. Don't spoil it. I don't want to know how many days there are or aren't. It's still Sunday and it's still February to me. No, to me. No, I realise it's not Sunday. No, I know it's, I know it's Thursday today or whatever day it is. Uh, no, really? Wow. Do you know what? We've got, you, that can't be right though, Lottie, can it? We've got this way through, right, if you don't want to know this information, press mute now. How have we got this far into the year, a different year, I think we'll all agree, and there are still 225 days, how many? 223 days until we can have turkey. Well, there you go. Never let it be said that this is not an educational channel that you could put your children in front of. There you go. 303951 for your um, canvas boards and your stretch canvas there as well. It's a lovely connection uh, as well. Three different sizes, the 12 by 12s, the 8 by 8s and the 5 by 5s as well in stretch and canvas board as well. £20.89. Now listen. I think in this hour, making all the savings that you have, there's a possibility that we could be, with your order today, we could be tripping into the territory of a flexi order. And listen, what do you mean you've never heard about a flexi order? Oh, you must pay attention to this then with Alioni. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. <laughs> You see, poor Kirsty, my uh, my floor manager is uh, at some distance beyond where you can see, having to shimmy everything 
this way because as the as the happy hour goes on uh, less and less and less is available in fact we are drafting I think we're trying to draft in a seven day saver to help us otherwise I might have to start singing you really don't want to hear that anyway listen do take advantage if you're shopping on the web with us right now if you're taking advantage of the flexi order as you were just hearing there with uh, Leone um, then you have got coming up to 19 minutes in this hour to make the savings um, I have to say the price tags are brilliant. Let's go back to our, our lace. Let's think of our application for our lace as well. Um, I think lots and lots of people now are upcycling and recycling and changing the function of, if you've got something like um, a photo frame and you just want to change its use, you want to change its look, you want to change its feel. And of course, these are amazing, these um, lace ribbons. Um, you could be adding them to existing decor, you could be upcycling, you could be recycling, you could be changing the very, very nature of these as well. If you're lucky to get hold of the leather journal earlier, you can dye things like lace as well. And the great thing is, is you're, you're not having to, I mean, I remember the first time I saw lace, I think I was in... Um, <laughs> That's, that sounded like it was going to be such a wrong story, didn't it? Right, the first time I saw... It's not going to sound any better the second time, I'm afraid. First time I saw lace, it was available in a craft market, and it was in Belgium, and I was a, I was a schoolboy on a school trip. And the point I'm making is you'd spend quite a lot of money on buying local handicrafts of something that you would then treat as very, very precious. With something like this, one, you've got a lot of it, Two, you can do a lot with it as well. You can decorate it, you can change it, you can dye it, you can you know, mix it in, you can cut it up. There's all sorts you can do, and you've got 20 meters of it. Now, there is a slight color variation between the two. I don't know if it's so, so obvious um, to you on screen. Um, maybe let's try something darker behind it. This book, let's try this book, because one is, one is ivory and one is white, and I think this is the, this is the ivory and this is the, um, the white. But either way, 10 metres of each is pretty good going, isn't it? Pretty good going. I might take that book home, actually, in case I ever need to do a television interview, because you need to have books behind you, don't you? Apparently. Whenever you do an interview, you need to have lots of books behind you. It's an amazing price as well, isn't it? Um, again, 14.96 versus what it will be in about 13 minutes' time, which will be 24.96. Right, let's move on. This is my favourite product of the hour. This is my favourite product of the hour, I have to say. It's really, really good. For, for those of you who are like me, who cannot tie a bow for toffee, um, this is brilliant because this isn't just hessian webbing like a, like a sort of, you know, handbag strap material. It, it has that lovely strength, but the difference to this is that it has wire built into the edges here, which gives it structure, which means that you can mould it, which means that you can shape it, which means it keeps that shape as well, keeps that form, um, which is brilliant. So if I take, actually, why didn't I think of this before? If I take one half from there and one half from there, then I should be able to make a bow, shouldn't I? <laughs> Silence reigns everywhere, as everyone says, well, I'd, I don't know, Derek, you, you give it a try and see what happens. Um, I can't remember quite how to do it, that's the only thing. Is it something like that, isn't it? Well, ish. Do you cross them over? Anyway, listen, however you tie a bow, you might be awful at tying bows, but actually that's, that's now half, hang on, it will be half decent because even if it looks rubbish, which right now it does, yes, but because you've got the wire in the actual hessian um, ribbon, you can give it more structure, you can give it more some, I really cannot tie a bow. What's wrong with me? How have I got to 26 and a quarter <clears throat> plus VAT uh, without being able to tie a bow? It's like tying a shoelace, isn't it? Isn't it? It's just like tying a shoelace. Yeah, well, let's, let's have another go, shall we? Right, so I'm going to tie it like I would tie a shoelace, which will end up looking completely like a dog's dinner, I'm sure. But see, the great thing is, well, it doesn't look too bad from there. Oh, we, we've got reminiscent of a bow now. We're almost looking like a bow here. If I fold that bit up and look even better look at that look at that and because the wire is in the hessian as I keep saying you can foof it up and you could look at that now that from someone who couldn't tie a bow not one minute ago like out of ten please 
Lottie gives it a generous four. This isn't come dine with me, Billy. You've not had my macaroni cheese. Wait for that. Right, anyway, three different sizes, nearly 30 metres in total of that as well there, uh, in 50 millimetre, 38 millimetre and 32 millimetre width. And now it looks like a pile of bandages, so I'm going to move on. 496944 is your item number there, £15.58. <laughs> okay, third time around. <laughs> Let's see what we can make of this. This is your Ranger Melt Art Heat It inks. So if you've used mediums in your products and projects that are heat safe, but you want to add some colour to them, you can add these inks and they will also be heat safe. Whoa! I think the boy did it, you know. Wow, he knew nothing at four o'clock. And now I know that much. Um, colours in this one, you've got a lovely deep green. There's a wonderful deep red. I know it's difficult to see. It doesn't have a little sort of palette or anything. So if I tilt those forward a little bit. So you've got a lovely deep green. Uh, there's a red. There's a, a very, very dark blue. There's more of a royal blue. A very bright sort of banana -y yellow. And a bit more of a cherry red in there. Now with that, you get an accessory kit. So you've got an extra um, pad there. You've got like a, a blending tool there your ink applicator tool, and you can buy the extra foams for those as well. So you can apply inks and paints and lots more uh, with those with that little tool. You also get some glues with this as well. So you get a wet glue, um, and you, uh, so a glue and seal, so a little bit like your Mod Podge uh, for your mixed media, and your collage glue stick. So we all know what a glue stick does. Uh, and you also get a little spritzer as well, which is very, very handy. You also get some sheets of super smooth card stock and I think there are 10 sheets there of A4 which looks very very bright I feel like I need my sunglasses to look at that picture 203115 is your item number then it has been very very popular uh, despite me having no clue at all whatsoever 19 pounds and 99 pence this now this this is a different this is a oh hang on a second and something's been added to this something did I have that all the time? Was it always there? I'd never referred to it. Did I? I've read the instructions, but I'd never seen that little... I'd never seen it. Sorry, Kirsty, it probably was always there. Right, OK, so here's how this works, because I, I read the instructions, and they are very, very simple instructions. Look, five-step instructions, dead easy. So you apply the, the glue to uh, the clear, a clear vinyl sheet on the pattern which is the patterns are here, by the way. So you get quite a few different pictures um, and images that you can make. This is for making stained glass windows, by the way, that can genuinely go on your windows. And you get lots and lots of different images there as well, including hobby horse, hobby horse it is. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Something else is being added now. Here is, here is, here it is. We've been missing this the whole time. Oh, I could, I could actually do one now, but I won't. So. Basically, you outline your image in the black onto the, the little sheet there. You let that dry. Then you colour in um, with your different colours. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, that many pens. <laughs> different colours to fill in the gaps. Oh, heck, I'm going to do it. Why not? Oh, uh, apply glue to fix the clear vinyl sheet onto the pattern. That's why you need the glue. Do I want to use a pattern? No, I'm going to use a smile. No, I'm going to freehand. No, it's not going to dry in time, but hey, we'll have had fun. So, stained glass project. So what you do is you do your leading first. Oh, let's do a nose. Very, 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 very easy to apply. Don't forget, of course, it needs to be within a frame because you need to be able to sort of take it off. So I'm going to do almost like a, I know it's nowhere near um, Halloween, but you know what? We're closer to Halloween than Christmas, as we just found out. So make sure you do a nice outline. Then you let that dry. Wow, this looks great, doesn't it? It's like home baking this. So as it's pumpkin, and I'm going in too early, I know, but what you then do is you... See, the great thing about this is you can pile it all up and then you can sort of flood it, can't you? A little bit like with a, with a stained glass project. You can flood it completely. So I'm just going to do Essence of Pumpkin there. You let all that dry. You peel it off the, um, off the plastic there at the back. And Bob's your uncle, Fenella's your aunt. You stick it on the window. 
you stick it on the window. So it means I can do, for, for eyes, I can do big old blobs there, and I've got some white as well. I'm gonna knock those down like dominoes, you just know it, Kirsty, don't you? So I can so I can make them nice big oh nice big friendly eyes. How cool is this? I need some teeth. I've got a different colour here to do teeth. Adam's uh, picking up some tips now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Leone, step aside. We're, let, we're letting the gnome loose now. There's the teeth. Hang on, a bit of rouge for the cheeks, I think, because e even the pumpkin needs a little bit of... Uh, uh, <laughs> and anyway, so... What you'll do is you'll, you'll create your, your masterpiece or mistress piece. It's completely up to you. Obviously, <laughs> it's now turning into an episode of Killing Eve. Uh, <laughs> so leave that to dry, won't you, on a flat surface for some time and then peel the whole thing off and stick it onto a window. Thank you. Uh, up the, oh, amen. 038213 is your item number for just £11.99. I'll probably get my coat now. I'll probably get my coat now. That next up, that one day special, you'll be starting it early, by the way. Um, so, next up, do you know what? It might be to display your proud <laughs> efforts. Doesn't that look like the, the logo for a, for a new charity of some sort? <laughs> Help Derek get some work. Right, okay, so... This is your canvas board and your stretch canvases. Now, here's what you're getting. Don't worry, I've got it in my head now. So, two five-inch square stretch canvas. You get one eight-inch square stretch canvas and one 12-inch square stretch canvas, and that one will stand up of its own accord. You also get canvas boards as well. You get two eight-inch and two 12-inch canvas boards um, as well in this collection. And all of that for 20 quid and 89 pennies. That good, isn't it? Really, really good. So if you are creating your own artworks, which oh, I can feel myself leading in that direction uh, after today, um, then this is a way of uh, doing it, isn't it? 303951 is your item number. Congratulations. That's it. It's time now for a seven-day saver. It is wonderful. And it is cardstock. Super smooth. White card. What? What's gone? That's gone. That was, my, that was my one and only other thing. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, let's go to the mill shop online. Oh, how we miss Joe and his shows. They'll be back very, very soon. I absolutely know. Um, they are amazing. They are so passionate about their fabric. This is brilliant. Now, are we getting... We are getting all three of these, aren't we? So this is a fabric trio. I tell you what, I love this. Half a metre of each of these three fabrics. It's super, uh, super sort of heavy weight um, as well. Really, really nice. Really kind of lovely density to it as well. I'd say definitely beyond quilting weight, way beyond quilting weight. 54 inch in width and half metre. Isn't that lovely? Do you know what that would go really, really nicely with as well in your mixed media projects? If you like using smaller elements of fabric in your mixed media projects or your canvas boards or things like that, would go amazingly well with the Chow Bella that we saw this afternoon. Really, really nicely. But actually, if you want to upcycle, if you want to recycle, if you want to re-upholster, you want to have a go at re-upholstering, maybe you've seen one of Joe's demonstrations and he's shown you just how simple with a staple gun and some fabric, you can change that grotty old dining room chair that sat in the corner and it only comes out at Christmas when you desperately need it could actually give it a grandiose affair well that's it I'm done possibly for my entire career so thanks so much for your company make sure you check out your baskets because you uh, you have just a five minute five minute window now of opportunity to check out all of your savings in fact most of them have sold out anyway I don't I don't know why they needed me it didn't need me at all I could have just shown you the products couldn't we it had a camera just going down the counter. Um, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. Stand by though because there is a brand new one day special. Look after yourselves.
So it is your friend of mine, Adam, and our lovely Leone with a brand new La Blanche One Day Special next, and it's a two hour One Day Special. Fabulous. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexibuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. We sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite-style flower beads and we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings. And we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks. And we also have our range of laser cut, uh, some catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and looking forward to seeing you on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Cathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Cathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. <laughs> 